and we are live. I think we're live. Good afternoon, everybody. Or good morning if you've got up early to watch this. Um, thank you very much for joining us. As always with these live streams, please let us know if you can hear me, see us, etc., etc. I'm joined today by Alan. You can say hello. Oh, hello. Yes. <laughs> Luke. Yeah, and, folks. and Andy. Uh, uh, we're going to be doing what is my number one most anticipated board game for the last two years. Um, I've been waiting for this game to come out for a very, very long time. And the reason why it's my number one most anticipated <laughs> game is I absolutely love the computer game that it's based on. Uh, and I was professionally involved in this project in that they asked me to do the rulebook for the game. So I do have a lot of knowledge about how this game works. Um, and yeah, having worked on the rulebook and working with the Glass Cannon Unplugged and working with Adam Kropinski uh, is brilliant. The game, the, game is, the game is great. But we're going to be showing you how it's played today. We're going to be doing a full playthrough. We're going to be teaching you how to play as we go. This is not going to be a full rules up front. We are going to be explaining it as we go along. Uh, we've got people from Glass Cannon Unplugged uh, in the chat. So if we do make any mistakes, we will be keeping an eye on the chat. And hopefully they, they will yeah. spot it. Um, saying that, it can happen that a mistake is made during the game and it isn't picked up while we're doing it live. In that case, uh, let me know afterwards. If you're watching this back afterwards and you spot something that we did wrong, let me know. And what I will do is I will add some Klingon subtitles into the video. So if you're watching this back afterwards, I would strongly recommend you turn on the subtitles, change it to the Klingon channel, and then we'll, we'll pick up anything in there. We're not going to make any mistakes. No. Well, no. In, in the heat of the moment, certainly. Yeah. <laughs> was, that, was that a pun on the game? Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> if, if this was me playing solo, there would be approximately 100 mistakes a minute. But hopefully with the four of us, we, we will catch anything. Um, <laughs> another couple of things before we start. This is a sponsored video. Big thank you to Glass Cannon Unplugged for, uh, for sponsoring this video. But also a big thank you to all of my Patreon supporters that fund the channel. Um, yeah, if you like the content that I create and you want to support the channel, you can do so at patreon.com forward slash gaming rules patron supporters get exclusive access to behind the scenes footage such as paul learns how to play frostbump which i spent all day friday doing um so yeah if you're interested in that kind of content then then yeah right are we ready so, so what is, what is frostbump Let, let's have a read of what the game actually is for those people who don't know it is a cooperative tabletop game for one to four players set in a cold post-apocalyptic 19th century world that's basically it. It's based on a very popular computer game. Um, but what's happened is there's post-apocalyptic. The, the winter has come. Um, everything's got very, very cold. And I believe the people who lived in London have left and they've gone north. Because it's much better up north. It's not grim, <laughs> as the story said. No, north is where all of the coal is. Um, so everybody has basically left southern England, headed north. Uh, and the only settlements that are in existence are surrounding these generators. Um, these generators are a technological achievement, and basically you fuel them with coal and they provide heat. And without that, well, it's the only place that humanity can survive, because outside it's like minus 20, minus 30 or, or whatever. Um, this is a very grim, dark game where we're going to be struggling to survive. If you don't like your survival games, this is not the game for you. I'll get that out right at the start. But if you like your games where every turn you are lurching from, we haven't got enough food, we haven't got enough coal, everybody's dying, people are angry, <laughs> we're losing hope, and it's the feeling of despair um, is basically like living in Columpton. So <laughs> for me, this is just like normal life. Now, we all like this kind of game. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like a nasty game. So, so, so this, this is ticking all of our yeah. boxes. Um, how does the game play? Well, the game plays in a series of rounds. Each round is divided into a whole bunch of phases uh, and we're going to be explaining those phases as we go but overall to give people a an idea is this is a scenario based game and we are playing the initial scenario which is called a new home and even that initial scenario has multiple map settings we're using the crater setup which is recommended for your first game there's also multiple difficulty levels we're playing on the standard difficulty level so what you see here is the standard setup that is all recommended for your first game. Uh, the scenario we're playing is scenario number one. Andy, do you want to read the introduction for the scenario? Hey, civilization has fallen. We, the survivors, travelled in a convoy that split into several groups to increase the chances of reaching a functional generator. Our group succeeded. What fate has befallen the others? Lighting up the signal to guide the last souls will help answer that question. So essentially, one of the goals for this scenario is, because if you notice on the round track here, 
let's just press the right button it's this one so one of the many boards included in the game where's my pointer by the way have we got my pointer? i've not got my pointer i'll have to get that in a minute that oh there, there it is yeah, yeah. Thank you. so one of the many oh, boards included in the game is this this is the round tracker we start off in round one and the scenario has told us to place one of these event triggers on round four so when this round marker gets to round four something happens now andy's got the scenario card and we actually know what happens on round four do you want to let us know yeah round four if the beacon is built we read section a, a. otherwise b and b's bad yeah now but is b get b's not game over is it no uh b is is we'll gain an apathy and place a scenario six card face up in the scenario oh, okay so our initial objective is that we kind of want to build the beacon by round four but if we don't we have a little bit of a branching storyline for me i don't want to know what happens if we don't build the beacon on round four mm. maybe, <laughs> I mean, not today maybe yeah. in another playthrough <laughs> But I'm suspecting today we probably want to try and build the beacon by round four. Yeah. Yeah. What does the beacon do? The beacon will allow us to send out scouts uh, and we can go out scouting because, as the introduction says, there are other survivors elsewhere and we need to we need to get in contact with them. Uh, right. So um, other things to set up um, in a four player game. Well, it, no matter how many players yeah. you are, you have advisors. And the way that this game sort of does the multiplayer is that each of us has a particular advisor and that player has responsibility for a certain area of the board. So I'm the generator advisor. I'm responsible for keeping track of the generator. Uh, we put coal into the generator. It moves these markers around. And I'm, I'm here to remind everybody that certain actions you will take in the game will be either heated, which means we don't get sick, uh, or they'll be cold, which means we do get sick, or it'll depend on the heat level of the generator. And that's that's kind of one of the areas that I'm responsible for. Andy, you're the foreman. Sorry, Alan, you're the foreman advisor. <laughs> I am the foreman. Do you want to let us know what you're responsible for? Uh, so I'm basically responsible for the scouting and the expeditions, yeah. which we can't do straight away until we built the beacon, uh -huh. I believe. Which we could build it on round yeah, one. We could build it on round one. Yeah, yeah, we could. Um, but then I'd have to do more work. Yeah. So, I'm yeah. the so, so we don't need you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So <laughs> yeah, I'm going to just disappear. Yes. <laughs> uh, then I'm, I think the main other thing I'm doing is narrating the... Uh, the dust cards and the supply as well and the supply oh yeah, yeah. i am doing yes. the supply yeah <laughs> so, that is important so we have a supply board here this tracks a few things first of all it tracks how much wood we've got and how much coal we've got in our supply it also will track how many steam cores we've got which is none at the moment over here this is the available workers that we've got so these brown ones these are workers these are engineers and these are children meeples so these are are basically these are meeples that we're going to be placing on the board to perform actions we also have a corpse track so one person has died. If that gets to 10, we lose the game. I like that that's not considered part of the resources. It, it is. It is. <laughs> and also not my fault. <laughs> so we what, start with that one. So one of the things in this game is is we don't right, we don't know right now how we win this scenario. No. Okay? But it is basically by surviving until the end of the scenario. If we survive till the end and get our way through the scenario cards, we're mm. going to win. But there are multiple ways to lose. I think there's six ways you can lose the game. Oh, awesome. yeah. <laughs> and, and one of them is that another nine people die. So in this scenario, we start out with one corpse. If we get more corpses, uh, yeah, if we get a total of 10 corpses, we lose the game. But also, as Alan says, we have these, these Dusk cards. So this is a big narrative part of the game. Uh, and we're going to be going through that as the game goes on. Over in the top right, we've got Luke. Luke is the health advisor. And Luke is responsible for this track with lots and lots of information on first of all uh the top part of this board is the population track and it tracks how many people we have living in our city of the three different types so we we start the game with 22 workers 12 engineers and eight children those numbers have been decided because of the society card that we chose to to use i'll show you that in a minute the three markers that you see stacked up on the left hand side they are the sickness markers so right now we have nobody's sick it stays that way and and let's hope it stays that way but as people get sick we will move those sickness markers up the track uh, and when they get when the marker flips over that means that they are gravely ill or one of those citizens is gravely ill so right now for example that means we've got 12 engineers six of whom are sick and one of those is gravely ill and if the marker ever flips over from the school side back to the syringe side that means somebody dies and then that will go down one and the other one will go down one as well and then the corpse mark. And then the corpse mark will go on. 
On the bottom of the track, we have this. This is the, the food track and the hunger track. Right now, we have eight food and we have no hunger. So hunger is how many people from the day before didn't get fed. If you ever don't have enough food to feed all of your people, they get hungry. And then if you don't feed them the next day, then start they start to get quite angry. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, so Luke's going to be keeping an eye on the sickness and uh, telling us about that sort of stuff. Andy, meanwhile, is the social advisor. So I'm responsible for the mood of society. I'll be tracking our hope and discontent. Uh, this is forward bottom for hope. Yeah. If it goes to zero, we're dead. This is our discontent. <laughs> if it reaches the end, we're, we're dead. dead. There are more ways we can Many ways to die. Um, yeah. So um, and also the round track. Yes, I'm also keeping track of the round track, and I'll be reading out the uh, morning cards and scenario cards. Yeah. So the start of each round, phase one is the more is the dawn phase. Um, and then phase two is the morning phase where we're going to be revealing one of these cards and he's going to be reading it. There's going to be some narrative. There's going to be some difficult decisions to make. There's a big pile of cards there. So the variability in the game comes from the setup, which I haven't mentioned really that that was variable, but also these cards that come out here. And he's also going to be responsible for the laws. So we've got, we've got a pile of law cards here. Eight of them are fixed. Four of them were chosen at random. So we've got 12 law cards. Um, and yeah. And he's going to remember which cards we've got, and we're going to be enacting those laws, which are going to which are going to change what we do. Now, I've mentioned this starting society card a couple of times, so let's just put it here and show you what this is. This is the card that we've chosen to start with, and it is the one that recommended for your first game. It is society one normal difficulty level, and this shows a little bit of flavour text, but it shows everything that we start with. So this says we have twenty two workers, none of which are sick. Twelve engineers, none of which are sick. Eight children, none of which are sick. No automatons. We start the game with two discontent, one of which is active, two hope, what two of which is active, and one corpse marker. We start with eight food, four wood, five coal, and zero steam cores. That's all this card does. We do not need this card anymore, but late, other ones that are more difficult will have fewer supplies or more dead bodies on. Now, let's talk about the hope and the discontent. If we go over to the hope and discontent board, Andy. Just show us the two bags. We've got two bags full of tokens. Uh, and as I mentioned, for this society card, we start with two discontent, one of which is active. So if you want to draw two tokens for us out of the discontent bag, this is the deluxe version, by the way. We've got the Frostlander expansion. This will be the active one. So the active discontent is, I believe that's greed. That is greed. So our people are greedy. And the inactive one is apathy. So, and that is apathy. So this active is white side up. Active means stuff can use it and bad stuff will happen but there's a little bit of apathy at the moment as well yep. in terms of the starting hope we start with two hope both of which is active at the start of the game okay so we have a care and we have the uh, motivation okay there's three of each type in the bag so and we could get up to three of one there's three, three, types, types. three types three and types three of each type in the bag yep. so that is our starting hope and our starting discontent other things that's useful to know at the start. Can you pass us that social dispute card? I can indeed. So mm. the social dispute cards look like this. They've got a yellowy background and there are, I think 11 of them included in the game or 10 or something like that. Um, but what you do is you shuffle them and you pick one at random. And this is the social dispute card which starts off in our dusk deck. This is gonna come out at some point. And the game recommends that all players look at this because we know this is gonna come out at some point so we can prepare for it. Now, Alan, yep. you know you know about this, so we're leaving that responsibility for you. Excellent. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Does, does everyone else know about it? I think so. Yeah. So. Yep. Okay, so what's going to happen is the one social dispute card that has been chosen to start with gets shuffled in with a dusk card called the inevitable. That is the starting dusk card. So you've got to shuffle those two together. <laughs> I mean, it's good because I'm a bad shuffler. There you go. Bad, it's only two. It's two cards. Yeah. And that is our starting dusk deck. Other cards will be added to the dusk deck as the game goes on. The dusk deck is one of the cool ways that the game evolves based on the decisions that you make. Um, so you will see as the game goes on, decisions that we make will be adding additional dusk cards into that deck. Off camera, Alan has got a big pile of dusk cards and every so often we will say, Alan, could you add D17 to the dusk deck? And that is a consequence of, of some of the decisions that we've made. Right, map setup. I mentioned that the map setup is variable. The way that it works is the game comes with these starting wall tokens. They're quite tiny tokens, but there are seven of them included, I think. Yeah, there are seven of them. Two of them 
are wood, two of them are coal, three of them are blank. You mix them all up and then you nominate one of the corners of the map. And Luke, you did this on Friday night. He said this one. So I drew a random token and it was wood. We then go clockwise round from here and you keep going clockwise round until three resources have been drawn. That's it. There will only ever be three resources on the outer wall. As it was, it came out that all three came out here. <laughs> but that one might have come out there, for example. We, we don't know. So it was random in which they all came out. Don't think the map is always set up like this. And and in some games, does that mean some games will have two wood deposits and one coal? Correct. And some, yeah. right, okay. it, it, you keep going until you've drawn so three of the tokens. Which three do we have here? Let's so we've got wood here, yeah. we've got coal here, yeah. and we've got wood here. Yeah. Okay. This represents that there is an infinite supply of wood here and here, and there's an infinite supply of coal here. Now, what you do at the corners of the map, which were, which don't have resources, you place uh, what's called a far tile. And then between the far tile and the generator tile, you place a near tile. And then you populate those with resources. And this is the biggest, one of the biggest variabilities in the game. The game can be very, very different depending on which tiles come out. So I played a practice game of this on Friday. I got no trees whatsoever <laughs> yeah. and i got no steam cores and i just got loads of coal and some extra food and various other things in this setup we've got lots of trees um now that might seem like a good thing but until we've built the sawmill we can't actually chop those trees down <laughs> but these steam cores are quite rare and we've actually got two of them so that that is going to completely change the way that we approach this game based on what we've got also somebody pointed out that if you look at the top down view it actually looks like a jack-o-lantern <laughs> which, yeah. which considering it's halloween tomorrow yeah i like it um, you didn't play with the special orange board yeah yeah <laughs> we like paint this orange <laughs> right final things to do in setup are we need to choose a start player so if somebody wants if you just give me all your advisor cards yeah. so right. each round of the game one player will be the leader and they are ultimately the player that makes the final decisions um because whilst it's a cooperative game we might not necessarily agree on what we're going to do right one, two, three, or four? Three. One, two, three. The foreman advisor is, is the leader for round <laughs> one. Ah, we're zoomed. <laughs> Although we're zoomed. I like the fact I've got four skull and crossbows. So first item, I mean, yeah, no I'm, pressure. I've got four ways we can die. <laughs> first item, mutiny. Yeah. Let's kick Alan out. Yeah. <laughs> Agreed. See you later. It's been a pleasure, everyone. Yeah. Right. The next thing to do, and this might be the final thing to do before setup, um, let's just explain a little bit more of what we got. We've got four technology cards here. Uh, there's a whole bunch of technology cards included in the game. You shuffle them, you pick four at random. These are the four technology cards available for our game. If you've played the computer game, you will know that you've got access to pretty much all of the techs. But in the board game, it's only four of them that are chosen at random. We also have some starting expeditions. We have three potential expedition cards. They've all got an A on. Um, and in the top right is what you're going to get when you get to the end of it. There are other cards off camera. We've got uh, another set of A cards. We've got a B deck and we've got a C deck. We'll go into those a bit more detail later on. We've got the weather cards that are shuffled here. We've got the morning cards. I think that's it. I think that's pretty much the setup done. Mm. So, citizens. Each player gets four... In a four-player game, each player gets four citizen cards. Now, one of those cards we have to basically discard right now. And I'm just going to show my card on... Camera. Uh, I'm going to show the one that I'm going to discard on camera, which was this one. So if you look at these citizen cards, there's a bit of information on them. Uh, this is the type of worker that that citizen represents. This is the action that you can do. But what we're interested in right now is this thing in the top right. This is what's called a starting cost. And this is only relevant during setup. So basically, I've got four cards in hand. I have to choose one of them. And this is a penalty. And I'm going to have to pay that penalty. So I'm going to choose to get rid of this citizen, which means we have to spend one coal. So Alan, you're responsible for the coal. So one of those coal is gone. Okay. Andy, which one are you going to pick? I'm going to pick this guy. Okay. So we will lose one wood. So we spend one wood. No, I mean, leave me something. Yeah, I'm just going to keep yeah, these cards in hand for now. Luke. Yeah. I'm sorry, Agnes, but you got to go and we got to spend the coal. Oh spend my coal. God. Right. And Alan. Well. I mean, you know, I don't know if you mind a bit of discussion, but I, I was <laughs> going to play one that removed two coal from the map. 
Okay. Are we are we fine with that? Given that we removed choice. coal and everything, yeah, we yeah. move some of these on the edge. We won't get too soon. Maybe. Yeah, go yeah, on then. That works. Let's sure. remove two coal from the map. Okay. These two. Yeah. Yes. So we've lost three engineers. And so we lost a, We and lost a lot of coal. Base to build something early on. Oh, you option. could actually clear that yeah. coal and that coal. Yeah. Yeah. And then we've got two spaces to build. Things. I think that's that thing that could be very useful. Good yeah. idea. We got, enough, we got enough next door to get yeah. coal. Yeah. It, I mean, it, it makes it less efficient for a gathering post here later, but. You know. But then the gathering yeah. post here, for example, is. Yeah. Really Should we do these two then? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Give us some building spots. Okay. Um, so the those. reason I'm saying we keep these cards in hand is because we're all supposed to decide that simultaneously. And if it turns out that right. we can't do it, mm. like if you said, if you had a card that says, you know, spend four coal, yeah. and I had a card that spent, said spend three coal, yeah. we can't both do it. Right. At that point, we need to decide between us, yeah. or randomly, who gets to do that card, right. and the other player would have to choose a different card. So, so that, that bit can't be done cooperatively. cooperatively. Sort, of, sort of. But what I'm saying is, yeah. you, can't, you can't go, oh, let's all do this and not pay the penalty. Yes, that, that, right, that initial penalty must be paid. Yeah. So I actually really, if I'd picked that one to start with, I couldn't then change it after I'd seen yours. No. Right, yeah, yeah, right. Okay. yeah. yeah. So it's so supposed to be all with on... bad thing. Oh, look, all of us spent coal. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. Luke, if you can keep the citizens in a discard pile somewhere off camera, or or even next to that one, we should. Yeah, that one's fine. We yeah. need to we need to like have a memorial for, yeah. for those we lost. Yeah. Well, no, they're not dead. They're just very very tired. Right. <laughs> <laughs> they're just sleeping. Yeah, is sleeping. is that everything? Are we ready to start? Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm now going to show you this is the round sequence, okay? <laughs> you will be tested. The dawn phase, the morning phase, the generator phase, the weather phase, the preparation phase, the action phase, the dusk phase, the hunger phase, and the night phase. There you go. Yeah, now repeat. The game, the game starts off in the action phase. So we're actually not going to explain these at all. You skip those in round one and we go straight to the action phase. So in the action phase, the first thing that we do is we check that the number of meeples we have is correct. Now, I know it's correct because I set it up, but let's explain why we have five worker meeples, two engineer meeples, and two children meeples. And that is because. I it looking a little bit like four children meeples. That. You're not going to let that go, are you? So, <laughs> if you look, uh, if Luke, if you can point to the worker token, you see we have 22 workers, but just look above it where Luke's covering over now. There, five. So, what you do, they are, they are those. Tokens are basically in sections. So if you have 22 workers, that means that you have five meeples. Because essentially, each meeple represents about four workers, is, is, is what it's doing. We have 12 engineers, which means we have three engineer meeples. And we have eight children, which means we have two meeples. Basically, the more citizens that we get living in our city, the more meeples we'll get, and therefore the more actions that we can do. That's the first thing we do at the start of the action phase. The next thing we do is if we had any spent citizen tokens, we would lose some of the available meeples for this turn. We don't have any of those yet, so I'll explain those rules later on. And then the next thing we do is that actually the bulk of the game is that we take it in turns to perform actions. Alan is the leader this turn, so Alan will take the first action, basically pick one of those available meeples and perform an action with it, and then it will pass to me. The exception is right now, we cannot use the children meeples. The children meeples are children. We cannot use the children at the moment unless a particular law comes into play. And we'll keep going like that until all of the meeples have been used. And then that's the end of the action phase. In terms of the actual actions themselves, I'll cover very briefly what, what the actions are. The first action to explain is removing snow. This is basically exploring the board. We put new tiles on. We add some stuff to it. Um, constructing where we can construct new buildings from the buildings board we can put them on here uh, we can deploy scouts but we cannot do that at the start of the game we can only do that once the beacon has been built uh, you can use buildings so you can use existing buildings now at the start of the game we actually have three buildings already on the map we have the cook house which is here uh, we have the generator building which is here and we have the platform here so there's already three buildings on the board at the start of the game that we can use and gathering resources. Gathering resources is a default action that we can do, which is basically sending out uh, an engineer or a worker to one of these spaces mm. with resources on, and we collect those resources. Before you continue, are we yep. missing an engineer meeple? Oh, yeah, we should have three. Ooh. Uh, that's the children engineer. Oh, yeah, special. that's special. Yeah, well spotted. Mm. I don't know where they were. <laughs> Agnes, get back here. <laughs> um, now, we've had a bit of a discussion 
downstairs over dinner while like, I, I call it lunch or lunch yeah. sorry, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I went all northern then for yeah, a minute yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> about what we should do because we've already seen this setup we've seen our technology cards we've seen the board layout and we've had a good 15 minute discussion about what potential things we might do at the start of the game mm -hmm. shall we just summarize that for those people <laughs> watching i think so um well the first potential one we were talking about was the laws wasn't it mm. what we were going to do with the children laws what we were going to do mm. with the children so one of the laws in this deck is child labor yeah um and if we enact child labor if we allow child labor to come into play it means we can then use the children meeples. That basically gives us an extra two actions every round. So that's one of the things that we discussed. They're slightly limited actions, aren't they? They are limited actions. Yeah. But the way that these laws work is that the eight starting laws, which are included in every game, they're in pairs. So law number one and law number two are paired together. If you enact law number one, law number two is removed from the game and vice versa. So the children law is, do we want to put them to work yeah. or do we want to look after them? And you can't do both in the game. You either do one or the other. <laughs> I mean, a bit I of a spoiler, a spoiler alert, <laughs> but my, my first move will probably be to enact a law. So we might be having that conversation. Well, shall, shall we do that? Shall we, shall, do shall that? we act yes, jump in? Yeah. Yeah. So, so to I'm enact a law, it's this building here. This is the platform. And I'm just going to zoom in on this here. Okay, so this is the building that we're going to be using. And if you notice on the left-hand side, that is the engineer icon. That means only engineers can use this building. So you cannot send a worker there. Um, so if you want to pop the engineer on there. And each building can only be used once unless it's a large building, which can be used twice. And the action of this building is to enact a law. So propose which, which, which law do you want to enact? Well, I think <laughs> I want to act, enact either the child labour or the child shelter. So we're talking no. about law L1 or L2. Andy, do you want to go through... The benefits and the disadvantages of both of those okay, options. options. Child labour. So first off, when it happens, we will lose one hope and gain one discontent. So that's bad. That's a bad mm -hmm. thing. Um, but it will allow us to use child meeples during the action phase to do the gather resources or to use gathering posts, but at a less efficient rate than a normal okay, worker. So we can't just use the children for anything. Yeah. We can only use them, as you say, for a limited... Only gathering and gathering posts. Subset of actions. Okay. So the disadvantage is we lose hope, we gain discontent, but the advantage yeah. is we can use extra meeples. The alternative law is child shelter, which will gain us a hope. That's good. Uh, unlocks the child shelter building, which costs two wood to build, and I believe it can hold four children shelter or when and we get can, to the night phase and can yeah. we build that instantly on playing the card yes, yes. as so soon as that law comes in you yeah. immediately build that child building shelter becomes available. by paying its cost oh yeah. oh so as soon as we enact yes. the law yeah. we get so that build. gives us yeah. a kind of yeah. a free one third of a build action as well yeah and the and the child shelter every night will house four kids yeah with yeah. right okay yeah and it's orange level of heating if that is relevant as well okay sheltering needs so that, that seems and, good. And, and the disadvantage have, of that, there isn't a disadvantage of that. Is the uh, lack of we, yeah, we don't we don't dare to use them. Yeah. And that's and that's it. We can never use the children's work. And we, which one are you thinking that we go for? So do you also get dust cards added in with one of those? Yeah. So with, with either of these two cards, every yeah. single time we do a law, Andy off camera has got another deck of cards. This is called the law consequence deck. And every single law in the game has two law consequence cards associated with it. So, for example, L01 in this deck, there is an L01A and an L01B. Mm -hmm. Whenever we introduce a law, Andy will find the two law consequence cards, shuffle them, pick one at random, and yeah. it goes into the deck. And this is what I'm saying. Uh, this is what I was saying earlier on. But every decision you make in the game will have consequences later. Yeah. But thematically, you can imagine the child labour. The card that gets shuffled in is likely bad. Yeah. Like one of them's <laughs> fallen off a stone and broke his ankle or something whereas the child shelter one Probably. is likely to be good yeah so if you enact the 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 bad laws yeah. then you're going to get negative consequences later yeah. so i suppose do i do i stand you, up and make you my stand point up and make your point. <laughs> and the fact that you are currently the leader yeah. effectively you can do what you want and ignore our oh well the, let's just skip with what we us vote against him then yeah that's good that, but, but, you, you don't know what yeah, sort of leader yeah, i am do you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no so i think i'm 
heading towards child shelter because a the it, kids of the future the kids of the future think of the children <laughs> exactly it gives us another hope yeah and the social dispute card that we've got in our deck mm -hmm. is the hope or discontent marker that has the most active type gets activated so you want extra hope i quite i think the extra hope could be useful because the hope if it's the most does good things obviously the discontent if that's the most it does bad things mm. so that's a little extra bonus yep. um i mean it, it helps us um Probably shelter puts a good card in the uh in the put, deck. puts yeah. a good card in the deck helps us sh shelter all of our children although we've only got two so it's inefficient Wait, to start yeah, with but yeah but if we're going to do one build action later for three more tents for example that covers everyone except one meeple if we just get that little extra building yeah. for the child shelter so that's that's my arguments for it i'm obviously happy to i think luke's got a different point of view. <laughs> <laughs> he's just itching for it as well isn't he is that it can be bad but yes. you know actions are a good thing to have the, the we're not going to get through this bleak cold future well as short as our future is mm -hmm. it's not the future the future is not exactly bright and beautiful is it but, uh, <laughs> Yeah, we need You're it. saying there is no future unless we get those kids down, I'm, I'm, down the coal mine. I'm, <laughs> I'm saying that for survival, everyone's got to pitch in. I but, suppose the other, not to argue against my own point, but, <laughs> you know, as I did, but I have got two child citizen cards. Now, if I if we don't put the children to work, presumably those we citizen can't cards use those citizen are cards. unusable. Well, except to two these. child citizen cards. Okay. Same. Uh, okay. <laughs> So actually, if we don't enact the child labour law, we're potentially missing out on six of our citizen cards. Twelve, yeah. citizen which cards, is quite painful. Which mm. which could be a swinger. So just for yeah. those people watching, I mentioned yeah. that the citizen cards all have an icon in the top left. You can only play the citizen card when you are performing an action with that particular type of citizen. So the fact that between us we have six children's citizen cards if we don't enact child labor as you say we will never get to play those cards mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. well that that's that's pers i was leaning i was on the fence yeah and that's persuaded yeah. me to go down the yeah. the child had, had i like kept the engineering like ditched the child earlier that would be a slightly different decision because the arguments for the shelter are good i'm not going to deny <laughs> those are some good arguments as the social but, advisor, I cannot, in a clear conscience, send kids to work. So I'm <laughs> child shelter. I so, suppose, as the former advisor, I need all hands on deck. Mm. So, as the current leader, mm. yeah, what is your decision? <laughs> so, I mean, are we actually voting at the moment? You're for labour. I'm, I'm for child labour. So well, keep I, the help in check. Yeah. I am for labour. This, this isn't going to trigger anything on a YouTube video, is it? Saying I, I, I hope. Well, the, al oh, the algorithm is having a field day with this yeah. already. <laughs> just, just, uh, Paul Grogan yeah. says, yeah. 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 we saw some Charlie first. Take the kids down the cold. We're going to have some police knocking on our door any minute now. Yeah. Um, and Andy, you're for the I, I child, child shelter. See, I, I think I'm, I'm, I'm going to swivel based on the citizen card and go child labour. Okay. I've, I've, I've so, gone against my own... So that's what sort of leader I am. I'm changeable. I listen. And I get to say I told you so. Yes. <laughs> so here's here's the law card. And Paul gets to say yeah. down the corner. So a few, bits, <laughs> a few bits of information on here. This is what I was mentioning. Because we are enacting this law, mm -hmm. we remove L02 from the game. So the child shelter law, which is L02, that is removed from the game. We cannot have that now. Uh, and what it does is it decreases hope and it increases discontent. Andy's going to explain to us how that works in a minute. We have a little bit of flavour text, Alan, if you want to read it. Oh, oh sorry, should I leave it in there? Go on, leave yeah, it in there. Leave, if you leave can it read there. it. Sorry, yeah, I can, my eyes are just about good enough. Uh, there aren't enough hands to do all the work. We'll allow children to be employed in certain workplaces. Yeah, so as it says, in the action phase, we can use child mm -hmm. meeples for performing the gather resources action and using the gathering post buildings, mm -hmm. but of three resources. Right, consequences. So this is L01, so... Yep. Andy, you've got the two L01 cards. Yeah. Give them a shuffle. They're not even technically in the mines, they're just on the surface gathering bits <laughs> over here. You know. There you okay. go. Choose the consequences of your action. Indeed. The children are tough. They can So that yeah. that just gets put on top. Oh. Because in the dusk phase it says shuffle the dusk deck and then draw one. Right. So you don't need to be constantly yeah, keep shuffling it in. Fine. Excellent. Right. That is our first action done, but we do need to do this. So Andy, do you want to explain what happens when we lose hope? Yes. So now if we lose hope, we have a choice. We can either remove an exhausted token from our hope display 
or we can turn an activated one to the exhausted side. So we can't choose the first option because we don't have an exhausted one. Yep. So we're going to flip one of those tokens over to the exhausted side. Yes. And what have we got then? We've got care. We have care, care and, we have and motivation. motivation. Ooh. I'm going to suggest it activated is when you turn it from exhausted to normal. Correct. Yes. yes. I do have a I do have a child card that activates one or the other. Care or motivation. Oh, okay. okay. So whichever one you flip over, I do have somebody who can okay. just. It's not going to matter. Over. Actually, we'll we'll deactivate. Providing we've got a medical person infirmary on the board. Right. Uh, yeah, see, I think I've will. got a card that needs that as well, a medical person or infirmary, so that could be a good building. And then the second out. effect of the child labour card is that we gain. We gain a discontent. So we have a choice. We want a new token, or we could activate our apathy. I vote new token. So do I. Mm. <laughs> um, any any okay. other? So we get a new token. I'm bigger that no, as well. Good. Yeah. Uh, it's an anger and that comes in exhausted anger. right and as i, I mean yeah, some earlier, people are naturally angry yeah. that we're getting children to work. <laughs> if we ever get a sixth token on this strike we lose immediately it doesn't matter if they're active or inactive as long as if as soon as the token is placed there we lose the game they'll come around mm -hmm. yeah <laughs> right there we go we're done well i was persuaded out of my own decision well done everyone yes. <laughs> so now that the kids can go to work oh there was one thing we forgot to do oh Yes, there was one thing we forgot to do. I, I failed in my responsibilities. <laughs> yeah. So using a building yeah. is either a hot or cold action, depending on the position of the of the generator stuff. So if you just have a quick look at this board here, uh, we'll yeah. explain this in a bit more detail later on. But this is the setup at the start of the game with these three things here. Now, these are bits of wood that move like this. And this is one of the trickiest concepts in the game to understand. So it's very thematic and it's very logical once you understand how it works. Right now, this heat marker is at the bottom. That means we haven't put any fuel in the generator at all. And this is the sort of how cold it is. Now, because the, the heat marker is here, vertically, it is below all of these, which basically means everything we do, apart from the actions that are always considered heated, is a cold action. And whenever a meeple performs a cold action, one of those uh, people get sick. So at the moment, Alan wanted to use the building on the board. Using a building, if it isn't warm enough, it's uh, it's a cold action, which means that engineer will get sick. Now, we can avoid that by basically putting coal from our supply into the generator. And I would suggest that we do that. Mm -hmm. So if you spend one, one coal, yeah. we spend one coal, and that moves the heat marker to here. Now We technically at, did that before. We I did that before, that yes. So Rewind. the heat marker is now here. What this means is two things. Every building which has an insulation level of red is heated. And also every building which is on the generator, oh, sorry, every action which is carried out on the generator tile itself is also heated. And that building was on. The fact that it was yellow doesn't matter. It was on the generator tile. Therefore, we'd put enough coal in the generator that this generator tile itself is heated. If we had a red building over here, that would also be heated because of the insulation level. So basically, if, if a building is either of the right insulation level or close to the generator, it's counted as heated. So we did that before, and that means that the engineer didn't get sick. Right. My go. Now, we're a bit short on coal. <laughs> Can't imagine but why. we need wood. If we're going to be doing lots of building, we only have three wood. Can, can yeah. I ask a quick question yes. before we move on, Paul? Sorry. The generator. Yeah. Can we choose to top that up at any time? Yeah, yeah. pretty start, much. Start of any turn. Start of any action, and also um, before we resolve the sickness things, because people right. are going to get sick based on how cold it is. Yeah. So it's it's almost at any time. Almost at any time. Fine. So I think what I'm going to do is, unless anybody disagrees, I'm going to send some kids to this space here and gather some of this wood. Yeah. Come on, little Jimmy. And that's heated. Isn't and it's it? heated because it's on the generator tile. Now the gather resources action is really simple. You select a space. And a space is basically a half hex, and you get two resources from that space. So there we go. There you two see. Perfect. Thank you. Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch some wood. <laughs> <laughs> My action was much easier than yours. Indeed. And yeah, less yeah. controversial. Indeed. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I'm going to send someone out into the snow exploring. Okay. Uh, I think we'll have a worker for that. Uh, do, do, do. A worker for that. And that goes. So, yeah, yeah. The, the remove snow action is actually you don't send them on the board itself. What you do is you place them on there. Yeah. And the remove snow action is always cold. So that means a worker gets sick. So we, we notify Luke mm -hmm. and Luke moves that to there. So and we I know. Curse, and I curse you for yeah. dare making my impression. We now have sick. 
Yes. Now, when you choose the remove snow action, you've got two choices. You can either um, explore two near tiles, and a near tile is anything within <laughs> one hex of the generator. Uh, so two near tiles or one far tile. Which would you like? We need a little more info. We'll go for two near tiles here and here. So what you do is you put them face down, or at least allocate one to each space, okay. and then you flip them face up. So we have some coal and some wood Ooh. and then we ask alan to populate and how much coal and so we need wood. two coal. oh right okay. we have the opposite three well, coal the opposite three opposite, yeah ah, okay so it's there one and two yeah. and two and one well that's not a bad result is it Any, anything with yeah. some coal in it is yeah. never a bad thing <laughs> okay you know our deserters at the start of the game ran off with half the coal okay. mm -hmm. right luke all that all right what are we thinking of building first lads <laughs> Wow. Well, we do have five wood. Yeah. Now, when you construct, you get three construct sub actions. So we can build three buildings with one action. I mean, we need to have a think about what we're going to build. We, we yeah. need to make sure we're building all three. Yeah. So we might want to yeah. send the child out gathering first. Do we have enough wood to build the three things we want? Yeah. What, what do we want? We wanted a workshop, likely, which was one wood. Yeah, the workshop building is going to get the technologies in place. So the earlier we build the workshop, the earlier we can start yeah. getting these technologies in place. I also As like the idea. I'm sure you want to get some shelter so yeah. everyone doesn't get sick. Some, some tents. <laughs> yeah, just so skipping ahead. Bad thing. <laughs> For those people who who don't know the game, which I assume is a lot of people watching, uh, later in the round is what's called the night phase. In the night phase, all of these meeples that we have are going to have to find somewhere to sleep. For everyone that sleeps out in the cold, they get sick. Currently, we have zero houses. So right now, if we don't build any shelters this turn, we are going to have what one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. A lot. We're going to have <laughs> we're going to have ten sick people by the end of this round. So building shelters early on is is one of our one of our primary objectives. I think five five wood can get us two tents in a workshop. If you want better tents, then we need a bit more wood first. I'm quite happy to go with ordinary tents. Yeah, to, I I don't mind ordinary tents. No, I, they, they... I vote against ordinary tents. Right. Okay. Only yep. because I know there is a storm coming. Yeah. And the tents just become. And, and I know what happens when that <laughs> storm hits. The yeah. tents are going to get wrecked. However, they are they are cheaper to build. See, I, yeah. I'm I'm happy just enough throw to go people with, the buildings board with tents. Uh, the cost to build is shown in the circle. So everything in that column costs one. Everything in that column costs two, three. Everything in this column costs four and a steam core. Everything here costs five and a steam core. Uh, the tents cost two, bunk houses cost three, and the houses cost four. If you're wondering what the icon is in gold, that's the cost to upgrade them. That we'll see. Uh, mm. That we'll see later on. Yeah. And all of the buildings do do various things, but the shelters are what house the people at night. Now you can yeah. dismantle buildings. You can. You don't get anything yeah. back. You don't get anything back. No. You don't get you a wood. Also, build them on top of a resource if you like and remove it. Yes. yes. Yeah. We. So. Yeah. Yeah. So every resource is precious. So what? So, so that we could go two tents and a workhouse, and that's five. Yeah. Or I gather some wood now, and mm. then the next person to construct can do bunk houses. Do, right do we want to get mm. a gathering post? Maybe if we were to stick well, one, say here, we could get quite a lot of resources off that. Yeah. I mean, and if or. I mean, we're if we're here. looking at building a gathering post, do we want to try and explore a bit further first and see if there's anything that's going to come up? Yeah, because if we were to build tiles. a gathering post here, yeah, if we had when we use the gathering post, we get resources from everything adjacent to it. Yeah, so it makes sense to explore those areas yeah. as well. Yeah, I mean, I'm think if we were going, if we are going to build the workshop on round one, then. Two tents in a workshop is five wood. We have five wood. Yeah. yeah. So we we could do that yeah. right now, and at least four people have got somewhere to sleep. Today. Yeah. Which is which is uh, doing it sooner. I want to gather two wood and then build bunk houses and workshop. Mm. Uh, We're the tech to lose. Uh, we've got. I like we can build on the inner ring, can't we? Yeah. So this is the this is a a space that you can build on. This is a space. This is not a space. Workshop's red. That's not. So it would make sense to put two tents on the inner ring and the workshop on one of these spots, mm -hmm. possibly here. And save that one maybe for I mean, we could even could we could we send someone first to gather the steam core so that actually you've got a space all the way out here and actually a red building out there could be a good use of a yeah a far away space true because the red red ones are easy enough to heat red ones are easy i mean do we have plans for that steam core because that steam core um, is going to open up i mean could be the workshops that uh, don't you need you need once to, you've got to the workshop, you can use workshop to upgrade things with steam cores. To upgrade it, yes. I mean, the 
factory, which we probably weren't doing, was a steam door. It's mm. more if you want to upgrade stuff, stuff like that, yeah, some of these true. like cool buildings. And don't forget about things like the hunter's hut, which is a regular supply of food. Yeah. And also the mm. I'm thinking not just upgrading, just yes. what to build. So yeah, so actually the steam and the medical core... post to heal those. And your beacon's going to work. Oh no, that's free with us. If yes. So the steam core early on isn't that useful. No. I don't think so. No. So actually, taking a move to get it just so that we can build. The yeah. red well, building. Having a workshop on the on that ring is not necessarily a bad thing. Yeah. <laughs> I like I, the idea though. I like the idea of putting the 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 insulated buildings on the on outside because then all we need is a little bit of coal. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and having a steam core in the, the bank for when we need, need it. Is it. Nice. Yeah. And worst case to worst, it could be used to completely clear out the generator as well. The yeah. Steam core, mm -hmm. couldn't it? Yeah. But then if we end up doing the gathering most here later on, you can get yourself a steam uh, core. Cody says, I believe we have too too many children meeples. No. So the children no. meeples. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The, ch the children meeples. That that's one meeple. Even though visually it looks like two children, uh, that is actually just one. One meeple. Mm. Yeah. Sorry to waste your money there. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you for letting us know. And all, all advertising revenue from this video and all Super Chats go to charity. So thank you very much, Cody. That's a, a little bit of extra yeah. money raised for charity. <laughs> I think the charity for I, this month might be Save the Children. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Just to clear your reputation of I the, so. the Save YouTube the children who went yeah. for the money. <laughs> I, I think we can wait to get the... Core. Core. There's going to be enough spaces for us to build on a yeah. port. Yeah. Okay. So to yeah. use a whole turn to grab it, the tents on the inner ring are going to be nice and warm I, like I, most I, of the time just because they're right next to a giant furnace. I'm happy with the tents on yeah. the inner ring. Two, I like two that tents in workshop sounds good to me. So though. we're doing the build action? Yeah. yeah. So, so we uh, so so worker we can, engineer. Uh, that could be, could be either. So a worker. So the construct action gives us three construct sub actions, each of which can either be used to build a new building or to dismantle an existing building. So we're building three buildings. The cost of that is five, five wood, wood, so we'll spend the five wood. All your woods, Milton. Yeah. And where are those going to go? The uh, workshop can plug over here. Yeah. As far out as it can go. And then your two tents can go right next to the so, giant As Andy says, you can you can build them on a space that had resources, but you will lose those resources. Um, you cannot build them on a space that has a meeple on it. So if a meeple has gone to that space this round, uh, you cannot then build a building on it because kind of everything's happening simultaneously. They won't move. <laughs> now we've also, thankfully, Glass Cannon and Plug sent me the uh, the miniatures upgrade for the game. So Luke, if you can get us two tents and a workshop. One and two. Thank you very much. And two two tents, tents. Very nice. Workshop. Yeah. This thing. <laughs> you can... uh, uh. So that's going to show. Yeah. Uh, that's it. There we go. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Now I'm, I did mention that buildings have actions. These shelters do not have actions. Okay, you cannot go to the shelter as an action, but the workshop you can. So we now have a new action available to us. And there is a special thing. Whenever the workshop or whenever your first workshop is built, we get to choose one of these technology cards and start working on it. So now which, the point of discussion. Which yes. of these techs do we want to, uh, to use? I mean, we were talking about the heating lamps, but since we've already started going out and removing snow. Well, once. <laughs> we might, but we were talking about yeah. the wood processing just because mm. our board has loads of trees on it. Yeah, that could be useful. That is going to give us, and it's going to take ages to get that in. Mm. So, are we thinking that one, or are we thinking? Well, that the, I'm... the carrier sledge could be good with the children. What's that do? Whenever you perform the gather resources action, you may take up to three resources, and you may take them from any space on the tile in any combination. So we've got children that can only be used to gather resources, and each time we use a child, it gets one more resource it's, for us, and we can take it from either. It's bit. whether we'll have that many children for the whole game, and if we start once we've cleared some of these resources off, how much is there going to be to gather, needing that whole mixed combination? Thing? And it, and it is a five. I I yeah. vote for the the wood bonus mm. from the sawmill because we're. Now that is a six. That yeah. is the longest it's, one away. But we've got a few turns before we're going to be yeah. doing that. Because I know I focused a lot on the heating lamps before because I thought if you're going to uncover half the map and no one gets sick, fantastic. And not to be biased as a health advisor on that front. <laughs> but yes, that wood processing is a very nice one too. Yeah. I would have said those two rather than carrier for a kickoff. Fair enough. I'm happy to be over all I, you are, any I'm still <laughs> leaning towards the heating lamp just because I know we're going to be exploring a lot of the map. Mm. And as, as we said... One, uh, one extra wood is... Cool. Every time we do it, but we can still at least get a decent amount of wood, and it's two. Was it two rounds less time, effectively? Mm. So yeah. does this? Does this? This goes 
six turns six ahead turns of where ahead we actually of are. Yeah. Right. Okay. And by going on to the workshop, we we get two workshop actions, one yeah. of which can bring a development marker back mm. towards us. Right. Because this was the other thing. If we do the heating lamps, the combination of bringing it out, mm. going there and accelerating it, and then just general round progression brings the heating lamps out. We, much we could get that next one. to... Not not round one. End of round one, sorry. We'll End of round. Uh, start of round two. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Split names, but yeah. we, we we would have to use the workshop again in round two to get it. Oh, it does. That's fine. If we did that first, mm. it and doesn't then, just naturally progress. It right? will, but it, it's going to go on five. Yeah, it goes four right. rounds ahead. So we bring it, it there. to oh, three. <laughs> our round advances to two. So uh, my vote is for that one. I'm going to go, heat, gonna go I, heating laps as well. I'm not the leader. You know, I've yes. convinced me. Yeah, Heating yes. lamps it is. Right, well, let's go for the carrier sledge then. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I like the idea of the heating lamps. Okay. And actually, it might work well with the carrier sledge yeah. if we choose to do it later. There's the number four on it, which means we give we'll up. Have we'll, have we'll, have lot, we'll have a lot of stuff. We'll have a lot of uncovered stuff for free. Mm. Yeah. So when the round marker hits that development marker, mm -hmm. we return that marker to this and flip it over, and that means we have that technology. We have lamps. We have lamps. Right, so <laughs> that is a thing that happens Star as soon Trek. as you build the workshops. <laughs> What's the requirement um, for building the beacon, just out of interest? Uh, yeah. The beacon is we would, we would. And if the would. double space buildings... So yeah. both spaces need to be clear. Bearing in mind our scenario yeah. goal. We do need to keep Which won't in. be a problem going yeah. those out. It's just a case yeah. of whether you want to put on the outs. Because what is... Oh yeah, it doesn't need heating because it's a white building. Heating. So... It can go anywhere, so yeah, great to put it on the outskirts, but then the outskirts have got trees, which yeah, makes yeah, it easy to move. So you're yeah. probably more than likely sticking it on the middle ring, in which case I'm pretty sure we'll clear these so in no time. I'm yeah, just going to that. check a rule. That's getting cleared. Yeah. What's so the gathering post cost to build? Only one wood. One wood. Ooh. They're cheap, but they're also yeah. not very well insulated. So constructing buildings. Um... <sighs> Where is it? If you place a building on a space with resources or trees, okay, so yeah, resources and trees, you can. Oh, okay, we can just bulldoze. Down you just the tree, bulldoze yeah. down the trees. You don't get the wood from them. Yeah. So, but from somebody who made such a big deal about, yay, we've got trees, <laughs> so suddenly then bulldoze them down. Yeah. Seems like a one eighty. Yeah. That was Luke's. That was me. Construction yeah. action. So it's it's back to the back leader, to you. our almighty leader, who has been overruled on every decision he's made so far. <laughs> you weren't sincere about that first one. <laughs> <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Um, so I think I'm going to go gathering with uh, the Kiddlywinks. Okay, where? And I, I think I'm just going to go here because yeah, it's insulated yeah. and we don't want sick kids because when sick kids die, it's worse it's than when others yes. die. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, I think I'm just going to go <laughs> there. Don't wiser agrees, no yeah. sick children. <laughs> no sick children. Day two, Cole. Until we've given them heating laps and then... Yeah. <laughs> Actually, no, he, children can't remove right. snow, can no, they? No, no, unfortunately. So on my go. They can't give me given the shot. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, no, I can't. What have no. you missed? Oh, an action. No, I could potentially have used the workshop twice this turn, which would have allowed us to get that, but I can't. Um, well, jog into experience. <laughs> so, uh, could I have an engineer meeple, please? Yeah. That engineer meeple is going to go to the workshop. Ooh. So the workshop, I just... Can you see it? You can't see it. Hang on a minute. Actually, no, a child must be able to remove snow because one of my citizens allows it. No, I think that's 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 the advantage of that citizen. Right. Oh, right, you yeah. don't need to actually there send that. So there's the that. workshop. There's the workshop. So, again, only an engineer, and it allows me to do two either developments or upgrades. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place the engineer meeple on there, and do I want to push that back twice, or do we want to push that back once and do a upgrade. I don't think we've got anything to upgrade. No, actually, we, well... No, the, well, the workshop itself, and I'm not even sure there is an upgrade for it. Mm. It doesn't seem to suggest anything different. Yeah, than okay, so I'm going to push that and marker back twice. Places. We need lamps. There you go. We need lava lamps for mm -hmm. everybody. Gone and done some research. Excellent. Andy, you're up. Okay, <laughs> before this happens, lamps were a thing <laughs> of the future of Star Trek. <laughs> so, we're a little low on wood. We're either going to have to go exploring in the snow or collecting some wood. Hmm. See, I I think if we potentially heat, uh, heat the, the generator one more, that means we can everything within one hex of the generator yeah. is also heated. And it means that come the end of the turn, we don't get a sick child. Yeah, at the moment, we're going to get a sick child and a a sick yeah, worker. Okay. If yeah. we spend two good, more coal, we won't get any. Because we're probably going to do a bit more gathering at this rate. I think we are. Yeah. yeah. So I think I think potentially we could heat it up to one more to make these spaces, and we could start clearing off the. Yeah. 
Same with the wood. I think so. Okay. Yeah. So one more coal. One more coal. Which means that goes to there. So let's just have a look at the generator board again. So yeah, so now that the uh, heat icon is there, you can see here, everything that is red or orange is heated and everything that's on the generator tile or within one is also heating. But anything yellow or two away is currently cold. So yeah, that's how that works. Okay. Yeah. Right, and what are you going to do? So what have we got left? We've got three workers and one engineer. Yeah, so we're going to clear these two. Worker out to there. Nicely heated. Yeah. No yeah, problem. Have some wood. Now each of these spaces you can only gather from once per round. Mm -hmm. So right. all of these spaces where we're sending uh, meeples to gather resources, we can only do that once per round. Yeah. Yeah. Which is side. Uh, right. Are we, we got, got are we gonna we've got three actions left? Yes. Because removes because what was it? Oh yeah, the remove snow, yeah, we want the lamps so first. We're, just, we're not gonna remove any more snow no, yet. Oh, so we just that. need to just need more gathering then. Yeah, gather two lots of wood and then last person build a load of tents or something. Yeah, that seems right. Yeah, pass me it's a not bad considering yeah, yeah, we've done that. Yeah. Yeah. Pass me a worker, let's go clear this tile out because we also that. have the cookhouse. Oh yeah. It is a it is a building that we can use. It's spend three food to add hope or remove discontent. Ooh, I like. Is it an engineer only building? Or it is, is it? not. Oh, I like that. Considering what's coming up in here. When's that trigger? Uh, when we got when three it cards. Out. When it comes here. out. When One it comes out. Cards. One in three chance. I'd say so. gamble on it coming out later. Okay, right. Mm -hmm. So let's well let's let's gather some wood and see what we're left. We'll build this tile because then it's available. Yeah. Yep. For okay. a nice peak. And again, that, that is heated. Yeah. And that was your turn. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to take my little work and I'll help. There's, like, there's two wood there. Yep. Any chap That's puns are going to be in bad two, taste this time. Two coal right? here and two coal here. Now we probably want... What turn do we need to have built the beacon by? Four. Four. Okay, so... Because obviously I'm conscious that we're going to need a double clear space at some point. Well, we have one. We have one if worst comes to worst. Or that might be a good place for a gathering post potentially. But I think I'm still going to go here yep. and clear out that two wood. Okay. So the last action of round one, we've got an engineer spare. The options are gather some more resources, mm -hmm. potentially go and use the cookhouse. Or if we construct or it, build where tents. have we got room Oh, we'll build something. Tents. Yeah. We're talking about building tents. Yep. Yeah. Any of these three spaces? Okay. Three spa I can't say. No, we no, can't, we can't, can't build where there's a meeple. I thought you where. could build when no. there's a meeple. No, because the meeple won't get out of the way. Okay, in which case, lose a coal, build one here. I mean, you sound the space out, so he's on there, we can build on that one. Correct. Yeah. yeah. Right. So, we, I mean, we could build in these three spaces and we're losing perhaps one wood and one coal. Yeah. So we'd only be taking two of the available free actions. How many tents have we got? Two more. Two more. So we've got five, we've got six wood. Six wood. So I mean, we you could, could build, build bunk houses instead if you really wanted. We could build two tents and what else? Um. Well, we've only got... Uh, well, we could have three spaces. Oh, you see, there's, there's a one wood. Yeah. 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 Hunters, yeah. Hunters, yeah. hunters yeah. huts, maybe the gathering post that you. Well, I mean, the gathering post is going to be a bit redundant if we cleared all the things off. Yeah, but we've got now. We've got two cards that use the medical post. What about the infirmary? infirmary which is what about building yeah. a sawmill? Well, Ooh, sawmill yeah. at the moment. Yeah, will only get trees from its tile, mm. but. Yeah. We were planning on getting a steam core yeah. and upgrading it, yeah. but the sawmill is best placed here yeah. or here. We don't need a steam core to upgrade, do we? No, uh, not that one. Sawmill. Just yeah. wood. Just wood, isn't it? It's a medical post. We've all got lots of stuff. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah. The, it only needs wood to upgrade the sawmill. Oh, right. And so, the so, medical post was because two of us have got, um, yeah, we've got lots cards of that, to use that. Yeah. that use it. I mean, to be fair, two of my cards actually require a medical post. Hey, I'm, oh, wow, I'm okay. really not comfortable with losing resources. <laughs> <laughs> that is fair play. <laughs> so maybe I mean it's not like we need the medical post like now. I'm not uncomfortable with losing a coal to build two tents. There and there. There's a decent amount of coal on the map still. That's not including anything we uncover mm. as we start going. And we're gonna, we're, but we do have lots of trees. And so may, yeah. maybe it's okay. And we're going to yeah. be exploring a lot, aren't we? Hopefully, yes. with these heating labs. Okay. Can you pop that engineer on the construction? Yeah. Let's go build some more stuff. So, how much wood have we got? So we got six. 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 So, medical post we could or go, hunter's hut. We could go house and tent. I mean, that, no, that, I was thinking of building three. Yeah. And even then, and even then, houses. I'd rather have, mm. well, we've got the mm. fire tiles I mean, to build on. Tent, tent, tent and. Gathering post, do we have a good spot for that? Well, the gathering really? post, well, I mean, the gathering post, I mean, those are going to yeah. be gone. Well, I'm, I'm thinking tent, tent, and hunter's hut. 
The hunter's hut is a tempting one because it is more food. Yeah, we're going to need the medicine. Food the medical later. post is the fact that we've got yeah. three or four cards between us that require one in order to I play. Reckon, yeah, I think and hunter's hut this hunter. round. Yeah. Okay, so if you can spend us five wood, mm -hmm. or do we want to go six wood and just build one tent, one bunkhouse, and one hunter's hut? To be fair, if the storm's coming, we don't want just tents. Mm, I don't know. I'm almost. No, I'm half tempted to just go. If we've got, we built some tents, I'm half tempted to go in on all in on tents to get the shelter early, and then. Well, we can we can do both. It's just the cost of one wood. One wood to upgrade to a bunkhouse. That might be worth it. I'll I'll, I'll abstain yeah. from this vote. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna do that. I'll spend okay. all of the Let's wood. Yeah. So okay. one tent, one bunkhouse. That's it. Pass us some buildings. No, no, we're gonna lose. Cold. Yeah, no, so we're going to build over yeah, resources. The oh. punk house, which is a severe upgrade from a yeah, ten. building over resources. <laughs> if we look at the building, these these are lost uh, resources. Hunter's hut looks like this yep, giant chimney. Gone. So tent. They, these are all local. Uh, yeah, usual tent, so an usual bunk house. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so, I feel I feel that, that some people are getting a little bit. Um, the construct action, by the way, is always heated. I don't know if I mentioned that earlier on. Uh, the hunter's hook can go. No, Paul, no point there. did he forget to mention that. <laughs> there. And, and the hunter's hook does that get us some passive food and yeah, food when we go to it? One yeah. passive food. No, one passive food in the weather phase. Yeah, yeah. And, and then four, four if you when we it. go to it. It's right, we're done. Four if we go to it. One Whoa. passive upgraded, two passive, and heated. Easily. That's the end of the action phase. Right. So now we move on to the dusk phase. This is where it all gets a bit miserable. First yeah. of all, <laughs> if there are any scenario cards or event cards on display that say in the dusk phase do this, we do this now. Right. Mm. We don't have any. Nope. Nope. So we now can. what we do is we re reveal and resolve a dusk card. So Alan, I'm just going to zoom in on your board. So we now take the dusk deck, but we shuffle it. First. We shuffle it. Again, it's pleasing. There's only three to shuffle because I'm a bad shuffler. We're going to go on random. Mm -hmm. yeah. And this could be the social dispute card. Picking it random. It's hard to be truly random when you've only got two or three cards. <laughs> <laughs> what have we got? So we position. Uh, yeah, let's pop, let's pop it on. Yeah, it, is, it is the social oh, dispute. Social. Card. Okay. Get out, means, get out early. Oh. Which means we get to explain how the oh, social okay. dispute cards work. Because, um, yeah, they work in a different way. So, do you want to read it? Uh, Can yeah. you read it? Uh, Shall I do the flavour text as well? Yeah. Yeah. Do, do these have to happen in this order? No. Uh, ooh, I don't because it will actually. matter if the anger triggers before the care. Yeah. Oh, that's a good question. Well, I, I don't know. Um, Derek's in the chat from Glass Cannon Unplugged. I don't know if yeah. he... Uh, I would say... I, I would naturally just assume they were done in order. But yeah. it doesn't say that. Mm. Well, if, if they are done in order, I would love to know I'll, the reason. I'll, 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 ra I'll browse through the rule book yeah. to see if I can get an answer to this question. Yeah. While you're well, I'll, I'll yeah, very slowly read yeah. the, uh, we're, the text. We're teaching as we go. Yeah. Take a while. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, happening in order is good for us at the moment. So it's no. fine. I Always don't good. think we should tell them what we're going to do in advance. Long stop. Let them think and worry. Nice. Because yeah. we the don't. type of leader we are. Yeah, because indeed. we don't exactly know what it is. Yeah. <laughs> so, if you have any active hope or discontent for your most common active token, or for all tied for the most common, perform the corresponding effects. Yeah. So basically, if we have a look at this track, the, the one that we've got the most of is care and greed. Yeah. Which means we are resolving the greed followed by the care. Yeah. Well, we're doing one of the two. Yeah, we don't necessarily know yet if it's that order. We're going to do it in order. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I think that's so. <laughs> it actually doesn't matter. For each active greed, increase hunger by three. Okay. <laughs> so we look at the hunger track. So hunger has gone oh. up by three. Yeah. All right. You greedy brave old care. Wouldn't have happened if it didn't do child labour. For yeah. each active, <laughs> yeah. for each active care, cure two. Okay. So we can only cure one, which it's is a shame. Good enough. So a cure effect is very simple. It is. Move token back along the track. Yeah. So, so we that... had cure two, we only needed cure one. It's all right, we got these great scouts who can go find us now, food, right? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so a social dispute card, what happens with this? It it triggers a reshuffle of the discard pile. Yes. So if there was any cards on the in the discard pile, yeah. this would trigger a reshuffle. Yeah. But then this gets removed from the game. Agreed. And we get a new social dispute card. Yeah. So do you want to put the new one on there? Indeed, because we're meant to know it in advance. We are meant to know we? that this is coming. So, so that we can come in is it. confusion. If we can't convince them, we will confuse them. 
So if you have more hope tokens than discontent tokens, so that's not active, that's just tokens. That's just, that's yeah. just tokens. Uh, you may exhaust one hope token to perform the corresponding action. To do something action. good, yeah. If you have fewer hope tokens than discontent tokens, the most common active discontent token... Uh, something bad happens. Something bad happens. Yeah. Uh, and if you're tied, activate one hope, activate one discontent. Right, okay. So we know that's coming. Yeah. That gets shuffled into the dusk deck. So at the moment, we are going to have the bad effect mm -hmm. from yes. that. Because we've got more tokens. We have more discontent tokens. Yeah. yeah. And it's all because we sent the first one. Indeed. Indeed. <laughs> so if we get the choice of flipping... You have to suffer early for, for good results later. So if we get the yeah. choice of sort of either adding a hope or flipping, we, we might want to add. add, 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 add yeah. Or vice versa with the discontent. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Okay. So, <coughs> what's next? Was that the dusk phase? That was the dusk phase. Is there nothing else that happens in the dusk phase? Not so the and resolve the dusk card. Right. So now we go to the hunger phase. So the first thing is, and this normally does not apply in round one, mm -hmm. uh, is yeah. we need to deal with the people that were hungry from yesterday. Mm -hmm. Now, normally, as I say, in round one, that's zero. However, if we just have a look at the population track you will see that we have a hunger of three so we must spend three food if able to deal with the hunger from yesterday because those greedy kids yeah <laughs> <laughs> no hang on okay no. one right. attack <laughs> yeah so you've done that so we spent the three food that does decrease the hunger so the hunger now does go down to zero if we weren't able to do that you see the penalty that's printed below we would have got that if we weren't able to deal with the hunger that that would have happened there you got a pointy stick. Yeah. Um, but as, as yeah. it was, we, we were able to deal with the hunger from last time. Then we resolve and reset the hunger marker, which we've done. And now we need to feed the citizens. So the feeding the citizens is one of those rules that you just need to get used to. If we look at the round board, you will see that at the top of this column is the children icon. Top of this icon, uh, top of this column is the engineer icon. Top of this column is the work column. That shows the type of citizens that need to be fed this round. So in round one, we only actually need to feed the kids. So if we go back against the population track, we have eight kids. We need to feed those eight kids. Off you go, Luke. <laughs> we have five food. So we are three short, which means we get three hunger. Because those kids stole the bread. <laughs> yeah. So there we go. We're, we're back on three hunger. The difference is we have no food. Instead of the eight that we had earlier, we now have no food. Now, the bad the bad thing doesn't happen. Ah, the storm should be on round nine. Thank you very much for spotting that. I put it on the wrong one. There we go. Fixed. So the now. bad thing at the bottom doesn't happen now, does it? No, it happens no, no. if we can't. It's, it yeah. happens if we don't deal with yeah. that hunger at the start. Yeah. Of and you wanted to put these thieving kids in shelters. <laughs> you know. Right. Final <laughs> phase of the round we, is We wouldn't have had that free hunger. <laughs> we would, those kids would have stolen regardless. <laughs> right. the final phase of the round is the night phase where we return uh, any spent citizen tokens and meeples. We didn't have any spent citizen tokens. Uh, we now need to uh, return the meeples. So all of those meeples go back. And then we need to work out how many heated shelters we have. Every single one. So I two, think four, so. Six, so eight. everything adjacent to the generator is counted as heated. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So eight of our meeples have somewhere to sleep. So definitely the children. Um, I don't know. Should this be penance for their <laughs> feeding <laughs> sins? <laughs> well, I think. Uh, what do we reckon? So let's. I mean, they're all on zero at the moment. So until yeah. they get past. Yeah. I mean, all do, the... we, do we push the engineers and the 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 guys up relatively? Didn't we? One it, of each. We'll give it, I mean, bear yeah. in mind, you, yeah, you've got a lot more workers than you have. Yeah, that's fine. In your zone. One of yeah. each. One so of each anybody each. that doesn't have a heated shelter to sleep in gets sick. So we need one sick worker and one sick engineer. So, right. And then they just come back. Yeah. Nope. Um, and that's it. That That is the end of the first round. Okay. Only another, only another how many rounds? <laughs> I think that one over. We're teaching, yeah, but that I mean, was a yeah, tutorial round. If you're, if you're round, watching yeah. this, we, we've been teaching the game as we go, and this is not a light game. This is a complex game. So, round two, we start off with the dawn phase. The first thing that happens is the leadership marker passes to me, but that only happens 
until the leadership marker reaches the player called Paul, at which point Paul keeps it for the rest of the game. That's what that's what mine is. <laughs> uh, at, least he, at least he was willing to abstain. I'm not as convinced. <laughs> round marker moves on. We advance the round marker. If we did not reach the tech. We did not reach the tech. We didn't reach the storm marker. But we also Will. did not reach scenario trigger. Tech. Right. Okay. So that's it. Now we go to the morning phase. Fantastic. So Andy gets to read the morning card. Okay. Unequal treatment. There is a conflict between the workers and engineers. They each think they are treated unequally. A few fights have already happened. What should we do? Unless the fighting arena is built, gain one sick worker and one sick engineer. Okay, so a worker and an engineer have, have, have beaten each other. <laughs> now we have a choice of three. We either favour the engineers, which gives us one spent engineer token and adds an event to the dusk deck, or we favour the workers, in which case we put spent worker instead mm -hmm. and add another card to the dusk deck, or we say sort it out yourselves and we put an entirely different card mm -hmm. in the dusk deck. Which is probably a bad card. Uh, who knows? Well, there's probably a good and a bad for either, all of them to be honest. Yeah, I no. think they're all bad. So we favour the engineer. Yeah. At which point we lose a worker for this round. Yes. If we favour the engineer, we lose an engineer, engineer for the round. Yeah. We lose an engineer. Yeah. If we favour the worker, we, we lose, lose a worker for the round. round. Mm -hmm. Or, or we which is the third the option, which means we don't lose any We don't, lose, any we don't lose anyone for the round, no. but it's probably worse. Yeah. I, I vote it's for, another card. I, I vote for not that. I reckon that might put a bad card in. Because it's the only one that doesn't give a disadvantage now. I reckon yeah. we might pay for yeah. that later. Mm. Now, engineer-wise... We've Do got we two buildings that? that we definitely want this turn, I would the say. Workshop. 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 Uh, and in putting a law in. I'm yeah. a big fan of putting laws in. I might be outvoted uh, on that. But... We, are, we are dangerously low on food, so presumably we're going to need the... Um... Somebody's going to need to use the hunter. Is that, that's not an engineer, though, is no. it? That's what right. I mean. The hunter sat in the cookhouse. Do they require engineers? No. I think we can handle not having a third engineer, yeah. can't we? It's okay. only... Cause we're not I, I was thinking of doing that. It's yeah. only if we build the medical post yeah. and use it this turn, but we're probably not Let's going to. Not, 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 so. not the, I mean, there are the more of them, and they're not scrawny people. We, we're yeah. afraid of them. Yeah. yeah. Building that is great because of our cars, but yeah. we don't necessarily need to use it right now because no. we've only yeah. got a couple of sick people. Yeah. So, so I'm, I'm going favour engineers. So we favour engineers. I thought we could favour the workers. Which means we lose an engineer. Well, it's but it's favouring engineer to get a spent engineer, isn't it? Yeah. 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 That's a bit. It, it, out of the ones that we want spent, engineer yeah. was the one we were looking at. Yeah, yeah, we can afford to. Yeah. So what we do is off camera, there are some spent citizen tokens. We need to take a spent engineer token mm -hmm. and we're just going to put it here. And when we come to working out how many meeples we should have, we're going to have to put one of the engineers on here to say that we don't have that meeple okay. for this. So we have played with the engineers. Mm. Now, now the people under control. Uh, is, 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 is D061. Yeah. Right. Let me just have that yeah. card. I'll just show that card on. <laughs> Your kids have already great. stolen my bread supply and you've had a fight break out already. So <laughs> here's, here's, here's the flavour text. Uh, and because it's got these three, no first of all, this happens, but then we have the three numbered options. And you see this icon here, that means that this card is removed from the game. So no matter which option we chose, all options lead to the card being removed from the game. So this card has gone. That won't come back in ever again. And a card has been added to the Dusk deck. It's D061. And we don't read it at this we stage. We don't read it no. at this stage. <laughs> uh, Favour the engineers by letting them rest. Add D061 to the Dusk deck. Right. Uh, that's the morning phase done. That's all that happens. Now we have the generator phase. Okay, so the first thing that happens in the generator phase is we may, if we want to, put some extra coal into the generator. Oh, can I ask a question? Yeah. Should we have done that sick thing by now? No, I mean, that's what no, we're that's about what to do. Okay, fine. Yeah. So, yeah, so we can, at this point, fuel the generator. And you might think, well, what's the point of fueling the generator at this point? It's because the next thing we're going to do is we're going to gain sickness based on how many icons are between the heat marker and the cold mm. marker so if we, if we don't put a coal in then one of our workers is going to get sick i think keep the sickness i think keep the sickness only because if this round there is any chance we're going to build that you're happy to I have an cure, extra sick worker because yeah. one of my cards can cure free of okay. a type of citizen so if we've got a bunch of sick engineers boom cure so, a bunch so of that, engineers. that's what we do we gain one yeah. extra sick worker, worker because, in this case sorry not because there's, there's one icon because right. i think my reason for it so i think Yellow buildings insulated at the moment. No, no, no. But because but they're right next thought, to the generator, yeah, yeah, but every good. everything yeah, next yeah. to the generator is. It's like, yeah, I'm just a little tent, further, but there's a yeah. giant furnace so, right next to me. Game <laughs> thick citizens. Now we get the cool bit. Now we get to drop cubes into the tower. 
So what we now <laughs> look at is By the number we mean here. Mm -hmm. uh, this is number two. That means I'm going to take two cubes. Which was my main reason for not putting it back up. It oh, if we put it back up, it would have been the, three. Yeah, okay, yeah. so I'm going to take two cubes. And I'm going to drop these. Yeah, we're not dropping a deluxe coal in there. Into the, <laughs> no, it doesn't work. Yeah. Uh, into the generator. And then some of them might fall out. That didn't sound like that, any fell out. Like trap. But I'm now going to open this drawer. And there's none in here. Ooh, like so it. those two coal got kept inside, which is good. It's clogging up the arteries. Because any that, <laughs> any that fall out get placed on this stress track. And when the stress track is filled, then the generator malfunctions and if that happens twice in the game we lose the game so that's it we got looking now there are two it coal worked. in there they may fall out later on <laughs> with the table <laughs> Can the generator break, break, now we reset the heat marker that's it that's the generator phase done now we get to do the weather phase which is also me so okay. in the weather phase what we do is we reveal the next weather card which i will put on this camera here so we have a few things that happen in the weather phase first of all it tells us which of these tokens to advance. This is then a reminder that we get one food for every of these symbols. This is the Hunter's Hut symbol, so we're going to gain a food. Then we're going to get three points of expedition movement if we had any scouts. And then the cold marker is going to move up by one. And these are done in this order. Mm. So the first thing is... Sorry, not the cold marker, the storm. Storm marker. That's how far the storm advances. So the first thing is uh, we move the cold marker one up. This is basically going to go up and up and up for the whole game, and it represents the ambient temperature around us, how cold it's getting. Next, we're going to move the yellow marker and the orange marker. So this moves to here, and this moves to here. So it means that we're going to have to spend more coal to heat these buildings as these markers move up. We gain one food for the Hunter's Hut. Uh, we get three expedition points, which, Alan, you can spend on the scouts. <laughs> Done. And then the storm marker moves one space towards us. That's it. That's the weather phase. Done. That's just, good for our yeah. tents, the one... Well, one storm yeah, marker. we would have resolved yeah. the storm if the storm marker had have now been the same as the round marker. Now we do the preparation phase. So in the preparation phase, we choose which one of us is the advisor mm -hmm. for the round. Now that's a separate thing to the leader card, and it's basically we've each got an advisor card with a special ability on it. We'll just go round the table and explain what our abilities are. I'm the generator advisor. Uh, and if we use this ability in the preparation phase, we have to exhaust the hope, any hope, we exhaust it, and we can remove three cubes from the stress track. So I will suggest that I'm not the advisor for this round. <laughs> I'll second that. So yeah. mine is, if we exhaust justice, which we don't have, then we reveal three dusk cards, put one on discard pile without activating it, and put the other two back on the dusk deck. That's quite a, that could be quite a good one. Mm -hmm. We're building yeah. up potentially. However, we don't no have justice. Justice. There's no justice no, in this society. <laughs> Hence, thieving kids. <laughs> not letting that go. <laughs> Health advisor, the most boring written card there. It's literally cure two, i.e. Cure, cure, cure two workers. However, it requires us to exhaust care, which we have. Which we do. Okay. Mm. Which, which cure our engineers down, saving the other three of those for the card. Mm. And it wouldn't matter for our social dispute card either, because that's just the most token. Yeah, it doesn't care whether they're so exhausted that could be quite a good That's a possibility. Uh, what do you do? Form an advisor only if you exhaust motivation, which we don't, we don't have. have. Is that the one? Is that, that is the motivation. One that it's it's not activated. No. Yeah. Uh, place one near tile. If all near tiles have been placed, uh, place one far tile instead. So we only have one of these advisors that can even be physically used, yeah. so regardless I, of so whether I, there's I an argument. We go with the health yeah. advisor for this round. And then we look at our sickness coming to the end. Hi, Dr. Kaufman, and, I guess. And, all, and now <laughs> we have to use this now. No, it's whether we now use it or yeah. not. Uh, but but is, does the decision have to be made now? It has to be made yeah. now. Right. It's in the preparation phase, which is where we are. I, See, I, Dr. Dr. Kaufman would like to hear <laughs> the two engineers. <laughs> I, I think I quite, given that our dispute card is the most tokens down doesn't care whether they're i quite or not. like it i i think i think use as long as we don't have to lose of course one. if we have to lose one and we've got an active one we get the option ah, to that's flip the it yeah um Let, let's go for it yeah i think go for it. so we're going to use it yeah. Yeah. health Special advisor treatment. has been used we get cure two mm -hmm. you're so going to cure the two engineers yep because if we if we do get that most out and play the card then the free workers will get right. hit there <laughs> okay now we need to go back to the population tribe because at this point in the game we need to resolve the sickness markers. So for each sickness marker from left to right, we resolve the effect that's printed below it. Mm -hmm. And as you can see, there is no effect printed below it. But if you just want to move that sickness marker two to the right, 
Just for example, if that sickness <laughs> marker was there, you will notice that there is an effect printed below it, and that flips a sickness marker over. Now, when the sickness marker goes from the syringe side to the skull side, that's okay. That just means one of the citizens is now gravely ill. But if it ever flips back from the skull side to the syringe side, that means the citizen's dead. So as it is, we only had three sick workers. So we suffer no effects, no bad effects from the sickness token. Right. And that's it. We now yep. go to the action phase. So at the start of the action phase, you two need to double check that we've got the right amount of meeples. Nope. <laughs> no. Well, we yeah, do, because it's the same as before. Yeah, except for... Except now one that, of the engineers has to go onto this token. Yeah. 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 Right. Off we go. Actions. Yep. Starting with me. Mm. And yes, we have two pointy sticks. <laughs> yeah. What are we doing? Well, I'm, I, I'm always keen yes. on getting the law out. Early. Workshop. Workshop. Oh, yeah. Workshop. Workshop. Yes. We need the lamps. Yeah, right. But do we have a second action for the workshop? Yes. Upgrade. Oh, no, we don't have any wood. Yes. So we want to do gathering before we do. And it's cold. Have we got coal? Yes. We have the coal. Right. So let's put... chuck it in. Uh, two in? Yeah, it's going to have to be two in now. So we're, we're running low on coal. Yeah. One so coal. two in. And can have some kids. Yeah. And I'm going to send the kids to. Here, yeah, to gather those two wood. Two wood. So, brilliant. Okay, so I guess we can do the workshop now. So you're doing the work. If that's what you want to do, might as well. well. Over to... So we've got two workshop actions. One of each. One of which can bring that back. So that goes. Yeah. Yeah. Which means we have now got that technology. So that flips over. We now have that. Which means for the rest of the game, the remove snow action is now heated. Oh, that's a game changer. That is. Yeah. Absolute game changer. Yeah. Um, and the second action can be used to upgrade a building. So we've not, we've sort of touched on upgraded buildings, but all of these buildings that we've got on the board, um, they can be upgraded. The upgrade cost is... Whatever it is. Pictured. Yeah, print, printed on here. So which of those <laughs> buildings do you want to upgrade? Right. What do we um, got? It's only the Hunter's Hut. The Hunter's, the Hunter's Hut is a nice one. Hunter's Hut. That is the only one we can upgrade because you can't upgrade a tent, can you? No. No, no it becomes in fact, in degraded tent. Upgrade but, the Hunter's Hut. So yeah. we flip it over. Hunter's Hut then and reduces... And costs us a wood. It costs us yeah. one wood. Gives you extra food when you activate it and more passive food as well. Yeah, yeah. two yeah. passive food. Two passive food. Five around. food on activation to the four when, and it's more heated. When did that passive food come in? Weather We've phase. already done that. At that was in the weather phase. Yeah, this this lovely like bit of cheese that we got there so at this There's point Luke, you need to be telling us we need how much food there. we need this round so have a look we've got three hunger mm. so we need three food to deal with the hunger from yesterday yeah. this round we are feeding the engineers we have 12 engineers mm. yeah. so actually we need a total of 15, 15 food, food. <laughs> and we have one yeah, yeah. But we don't we don't need 15 food we need we need three, three. Yeah. yeah and as close as we can get to well, the additional as many as 12 possible. the better <laughs> So oh, we're on yeah. round two, yeah. and food is a massive problem. problem. Due to these kids. And then at round three, we're feeding the workers, aren't we? Which is 20-odd, and that's when it starts. Uh, the old workers always get sick. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. So Andy says it go. All right. So now, we can, so now we can flip tiles without a problem. Yeah, we can remove snow when it's, yeah. it's heated. Just check that those actions we did were... Fine. Yeah, we're fine. That one was fine. Workshop. No, no, no. No, oh, red building. Ah, red, red building. building. Yes, yeah. we're fine. Red yeah. building's fine, and that was close by. And for those of you that have been watching this from the start, you've heard a lot of rules. You probably know more than half of the rules of the game now. There are certain things we haven't seen. We haven't seen the expeditions yet. No. Mm. But you okay. kind of just learn it as you go. No, hang on. You've, you've seen pretty much everything else. Yeah, yeah, you would have. Yeah. You've seen technologies. You've seen social dispute cards. You've seen morning cards. Mm -hmm. You've seen hope. Yeah, you haven't yeah. seen the expeditions, yeah. but you've seen most of the other stuff. Yeah, and the advantage of playing multiplayer is that you do have one person on the station, so it's not like you have to memorize every rule exactly. in the game. Because if you forget how the generator works, there's somebody who's telling you how yeah. it works. Eventually, eventually, eventually. eventually. yes. <laughs> yeah. Eventually, he'll tell us it's about to explode. But... Yeah. Oh yes, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> so, by the way, it's uh, this strange clunking noise coming from the generator. <laughs> right. I got two choices. One, go to the hunter's hut because we need food. Apparently. Yeah. <laughs> Otherwise, remove snow, and it doesn't have to be the type of person on the card, right? Yes, it does. It does. Oh, it yeah. does have to be a child. Yeah. So that's that's quite that's quite good. Because I thought children couldn't remove snow. No, they but... can't. But clearly, your your card lets. Should we put it down there? So, well, I I'll, I'll have a quick look at that in the rules because yeah, you're right. Children can't normally remove snow, so I just want to. So unless that's rules. a special child. 
Rafael three. Let's go. Let's go three bar tiles and place each. Rap holes and Derek in the jar. Oh, we should start developing another technology. Absolutely oh. right. Yes. Yeah. I was as soon ahead. as one technology is developed, the other one starts. So if you want right. to pick which one, see. Uh, see. I, we the, see. The wood is dead, but yeah. I think the carrier. Now I know I've been, you know, Mr. Carrier Sledge, but it does. I think individually, the wood processing is definitely better. That carrier sledge could work well with the fact that we can go exploring into lots of different places. That is fair, and we are strapped for resources. Again? Yeah. So it's basically I'm that. Fairly happy is it mainly that we can just gather free yeah, things? Because I'm not that fussed about the second part of it. No. We're getting three for instead of two. Yeah, but I kind of feel like we should be moving up and using gathering posts rather than just randomly picking stuff up. That is true. It is the least efficient method of getting Fair enough. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy to go with the wood processing. I, I, my vote would be for wood processing. It's, it's yeah. not, a, it's not yeah. a hill I'm willing to stand and die on, so let's go. So that, that goes six rounds ahead of where yeah. we currently are. I only heard that One, phrase on two, Friday. Three, <laughs> yeah, it's like when Paul used it, I was like, what are you on a pass? <laughs> right, so the ruling question. Uh, if you use a citizen card, yeah. then it says the citizen card's main ability may allow you to use a meeple that you would not normally be able to use for the chosen action. So, so, you, so with this card, yeah. you mm. can use children to remove snow. So I think that's a really good use. I was going to say because uh, the two considerations just said that, yeah, because yeah, the two considerations is get food because we need it. But if you have no intention of using the child or not desperate to use the child for gathering, yeah. then that's a use. That's a different use for the child, allowing other things to be done. Yeah. So you're revealing three tiles and placing each on either the top or the bottom of the floor. So we're not actually getting any new tiles. Oh, well, you are because of, you're doing remove snow. No, no. It replaces no, no, no. the entire action. action. Ah. ah. So you don't get the action. You don't you get, get it. Yeah. We get to choose what, yeah. what tile. I mean, it could be useful if we're wanting to put a gathering post somewhere or if we're planning on building a sawmill here and upgrading well, that's the sawmill. Thing. We're definitely yeah. doing far tiles. Yeah, this, it but... kind of helps us think, okay, well, we can guarantee I mean, that we get some trees there. tiles here and here, it'd be very useful to... Oh, so you mean to yeah. get trees. Yeah, because if we could get trees if you, there... If we can get a tree tile here... Yeah, build yeah. a sawmill in that middle. A sawmill one. here, we'll then get all of those trees. Yeah, yeah. an upgraded sawmill there. I mean, it might yeah. be worth doing that to be able to kind of... Right. Yeah. You know, Derek's kind of already... Yeah. The, the other thing is you know do we want to push that hard for the sawmill now or can we just focus yeah. on getting these inner tiles done yeah and exploring and well, everything Derek says, yes with that card you can remove snow yes am i just yeah that's what i just said yeah. oh so we are actually doing remove snow as well as that then or is it no just... no no you know, it means, I see it means you, you are allowed to play yeah. the card yeah so if if we're willing to take the chance sorry take the time to be certain of what we're getting on the fire tile then cool so we're gonna do it Tricky one, isn't it? I like the idea of knowing ahead. Knowing ahead, and we can get a sawmill. You know, we can set up. I, a saw I feel mill. like it could wait. Around. I, I think it could wait yeah. around. Yeah, I think so. I think it could. Def I think we've got enough stuff to do before without then. before then. Okay. And in then... which case, pass me a normal worker. Normal worker. I would like to shove him in the hunter's hut then. Can we get him? Right 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 yeah. Because <laughs> because we're starving. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's it. That's our only way of getting food this round, unless we build another hunter's hut. Yeah. How much wood have we got, um, Mr. Supply Man? We have got one wood and one coal. So <laughs> Hunter's Hut is only one. The, the, the cupboards are bare. I, I'd uh, said I mean, downstairs yeah. earlier on today that we'll be fine until we get to round four or five and then we'll start to run out of resources. <laughs> yeah, then we're on round two. decided to, to yeah. steal my bread. Wow. <laughs> right. Um, I'm, oh, sorry, is it my go? Yeah. Your? It is. All right. I'm going to go Lauren. Oh, you know, I am. because you love, love, love a law. I, I highly recommend picking something which won't stitch up our hope and discontent. I, I'm, I'm agreeing with yes. that. So no. Either give us another hope token or get rid of a discontent. Yeah. Which, which law? So yeah, what, do what, you, you know what you want to enact? Yeah, yeah. What, remember, there are eight starting laws which are included in every game. Then there are four additional ones at random. I took photos of the four laws and sent them to everybody before the stream. So everybody knows, apart from me, because I didn't even look at the photos, but you all know what extra laws are in the game. Mm. So ones that I mean, I suppose I suppose I'm not committed to this move just yet, am I? I'm I'm gonna see yeah. that one. That care house looks good. So you unlock the care house building. The care house costs two wood to build. Now we might want to go gathering first so that we can because build we it get a free build. Yeah. What does the care house do? It it cures the care house. If you visit it, uh, I believe that is to it's cure two. Cure two. 
And then it says plus three. Yeah. Oh, what? Cure another if you three. Exhort, and you, exhort, yeah, you, exhort, you get yeah. another three. Yeah. If we don't have a care yeah. unexhausted yet. Now, I also like this one public council. So we lose a discontent. We lose a discontent. Oh, yeah, that's good. So yeah. the, care, the care house would have added us a care. Yeah. So we would have drawn yeah, a token a from one. the bag. Yeah. And, and, the, the, and, and done that. And that's, that, that. That so that's a good. double bonus for that. The public council, we lose a discontent, yeah. which is good for our. Yeah. Social. If they're equal, we get the and it says whenever yeah. you increase hope slash discontent and choose to draw a token, you may choose a specific hope slash discontent token to draw. Okay, and I like that effect. I feel like that could be, if we knew what we we're doing, that could have some very good combinations with yeah. other things on the board. I'm thinking more the on the basis that we don't necessarily <laughs> know what we're doing. Maybe the blanket approach or as much jiggery puggery with the tokens as we can get. <laughs> Um, so Peter's asking, are there buildings to get food? So the only building at the moment which can get us food is the Hunter's Hut. We could build more Hunter's Huts and use those, but there is a more there is an advanced building called the Hot House. I'll just show you the Hot House on the buildings board. The problem is the Hot House costs four wood and a steam core to build it, mm. but it is really good. Um, it's just a little bit. However, younger. given that the Hunter's Hut gives us two passive food and five food, that's a Hell of a cost just to get two extra food. Mm. What what did the care house do again? Sorry, I was too busy. The care... Cure two, yeah, or cure five if we exhaust care. Right. Okay. Which Fine. the reason reason that could be a thing is that if we're going to have a problem with food all of a sudden, there's going to be sickness all over the place. <laughs> yeah. Well, I tell you what, I might do to give us an option. I might I might sort of not not do not that. Do maybe that get the wood first and go looking for some wood first, maybe. But we've only got a one wooder out. Oh, no, we, we need to look at some more tiles. Yeah, we've, so we've I'm going to go. go I'm going to go right. tile so, looking. Yeah, so I'm going to go here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, if we don't make use of those lamps, that's going to make yeah. <laughs> that all come too near with. or one far. Um, well, it, I think if we're planning on doing our little trick over there to sort out a good sawmill place, ones. I might go for too near. So pop them where you want to pop them. It's also a little bit easier to heat them. At the moment. Yeah. yeah. Now, do we think sort of here? And I'm thinking. Yeah, there. Well, uh, only because there's some resources we here. We kind of know could what's do a gathering post. There. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm probably going to actually. Uh, I I agree with you. So. Yeah, of course. Yeah, I think over here and here. Do we think? Okay. Yeah. I think. Yeah. Let's go for that. So then now we flip. Now we flip. Oh, oh. food. Food and a steam. Core. Oh well, there was nothing then. Yeah. And four coals. Okay. Okay. Is that an instant food? So that is yeah. instant food. Instant food, good. So we found some lack of wood, bad. <laughs> we found some uh, cans of um, those cans bean, of, cans beans of with sausages. <laughs> Freeze dried beans. Dead rabbit in the snow. Yeah. Right. It's only Speaking one way to do a pair of what, what are these hunters hunting? Everything is frozen out there. <laughs> 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 Don't, <laughs> Don't ask. Yeah. Yeah. Don't ask. I brought you fish fingers again. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's an, another steam core. Yes, yeah, that's the goal, but we didn't things. find any wood, no. <laughs> which is a problem. <laughs> because we were hoping to at least just get at least a couple of wood. Yeah. I mean, it's all right and good saying we've got steam core, but unless you're... I mean, it's great. We've got all we need to build... Up... Oh, no, the beacon's wood. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, so I will do the same again. Because mm. that is... Yeah, I'm, I'm going to remove snow again. The steam cores are fantastic. You just haven't got used to them yet. So we're going... Yeah, I think... prop. Best bet to go to as we need wood. Here and here? Yeah, sounds good to me. Okay. Oh, wood. Three wood. Yes. Okay, good. Three wood. Yes, oh, wood. there we go. Well done. Once boys. we actually told them what the search for. <laughs> <laughs> Skill. Yeah. Uh, pray tell, will you be gathering? <laughs> I'm just going to show this bit because it's starting to look very nice now on the board. <laughs> now that we're actually putting something in front Yeah, of I mean, visually, the game is the game is lovely. You know, I mean, it's all happening right here. You know, it's all <laughs> behind, behind the, the generator. Behind this tower right here is all the action that you can't see. There is a variant rule that says, don't play with the generator on the board. Move oh, the generator yeah. off by the side. But I'm sorry, right. I, Aesthetic, I aesthetically, I want this giant behemoth yeah, yeah. here. It does look good. Un the unlike the Cthulhu statue, <laughs> it's yeah. got a use. <laughs> right. Okay, well... We're definitely not building anything until we've gathered again, so mm -hmm. I'll send the kids out. 
Off you go. You now, go at geez. the moment, only okay. red and... Yeah, so we're going to have to put one coal in, otherwise they get sick. Things. So one coal to heat. One coal to heat, and now everything orange mm -hmm. and adjacent to the generator is heated. I mean, as much as we don't want sick kids, is that the only reason we're putting a coal in? Just for that one needle? It reduces more sickness. Yeah. Yeah, true. Right. And, and, we, and we're going to probably go gathering off a rat, so I think it's worth the Okay, coal. cool. I think we are. Yep, fine. See, normally when I play this game... Mm. It all goes well. No, the, the, fir <laughs> the first thing I do is build a gathering post. Yeah. Right. Because the gathering post is such a more efficient way of getting resources yeah. than just yeah. good two. But because we had so many so trees. many different options and a different setup, we, yeah. we've yeah. gone a different way. Well, we had loads of trees, didn't we, at the yeah. start? And that's, the it's trees a, aren't good for yeah. gathering. It's a shame it's that we found better text than the automaton one, though, because with three steam cores, we'd be laughing. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, right. right co. So my one, do we, right? Is that enough wood for us to do a construct for what we want? Well, if we want to build that care house care by house. enacting a law, then yes, we can then spend. We can act, enact the law, spend two wood to build the care house, which means we draw one out mm. of the bag and activate. Do we care. want to build anything else around? Um, like either another hunter's hut or the medical post or or, 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 or gathering or post or the or tent. Although or, or the beacon or gathering post, we, do, we yeah. do need the beacon. At some point, and the earlier we we send a scout out, mm. the better. Unfortunately, we need a double spot for a beacon, don't we? And we've not got a lot of options for that. And we won't be long before we. Have. <laughs> no, I mean no, that's very true. We'll be hoovering up amongst some. Us. Someone could gather the steam core, or we could just think, look, we don't need the steam core. Let's just build over the steam core. I think if we. I think but, if we build over a steam core. Yeah. I think we might have some people in the chat. Going down. Unsubscribing. Go going going no, I <laughs> Can we orchestrate a gathering post going here and start picking some stuff up? Maybe? That works. Yeah, gathering post here could start gathering from one, here. Yeah. And whatever else appears on the Or outside. a gathering post here. Yeah. Because a gathering post here will get that as well. Yeah. It will get that. And depending on what's here, it'll so get we, that. So we probably want a little bit more wood because then. We definitely need more wood. Because, mm. I, mean, I mean, we've only got three actions. Mm. Well, one to gather, one to construct, one to do the law. Yeah, I mean, we don't necessarily don't we need, need the law, but we, we do. We need to construct. We have to we construct our gathering posts or hunters or any of these three. I mean, it, so skip the law I this mean, turn. I don't know, I mean, that law, yeah, but that yeah. law is good for his dust guard if it comes yeah. out. I think having that law is still pretty good. If if we skip the law this turn, yeah, I can use the engineer to to reuse that building, which will. Move our development token back two spaces. The only thing is that technology is of no use. Yeah, to we us haven't got the saw until yet. which one are we do, which one are we doing on that? We're doing we're doing the wood door. processing, yeah. the one yeah. without the counter, which doesn't do anything for us unless we get a sawmill down yeah. area. <laughs> no, but I'm figuring we're going to do a sawmill next turn. Hopefully, because yeah. we are because once this has gone, this we've no wood. Yeah, yeah, we're, <laughs> no, we're no really sure. yeah. So I mean, unless we go here and start building the wall drill. Because we've got the steam, but we need the wood to build the wall drill. So could we, with How the three moves, could we... Five and a core. If wow, we went... So gathering is, post I think is... the drill just works on its own. Gathering yeah. post is one, isn't it? Gathering post is one. I mean, with the three wood, we could go gathering post. Hunter's hut, hunter's hut. Yeah, or yeah. or a tent. But then we've only got two people that aren't, and we're pretty good on the sickness. So yeah, I mean, I'm going to cure those three in some way. That's not, not too so yeah, bad. We, we could go gathering post hunter hunter, and then we could then use the gathering post, which means we can take away the steam core, which gives and us a two work spotter round, yeah. to build the beacon on next round. Or actually, we could even build it. We're not going to be building this round. No. That's going to happen. No, we need to. No, we're not. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the worry is the negative effect of that law if, if that dust card comes out. If it doesn't come out, then we're worrying for nothing. That is the thing. How many yeah. cards have we got in there? Three? Three. So it's only a one in uh, four. So it's only a one in four. That's better uh, than the odds And I'm sure none of the others will do something bad. No. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, well, yeah, but I mean, that one, not necessarily. Mm. I mean, it varies. Uh, Hunter sites would be useful for. Um, yeah, I mean, that's the thing. I mean, because we're going to need. Uh, 50 <laughs> I think it's probably worth getting a gathering post and two hunter's huts down. Yeah. I'm cool with that. Yeah. I mean, two hunter's huts, well, three hunter's huts down, one of which is upgraded. That's four passive food. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And Terrorist. we can spend extra food in the cookhouse to sort these out if we need to. Yeah. yeah that's and like true. I said, we, we, we can't really, really need at least another that. seven to not get any negative effects from there. So yeah. that's what I mean. We need to get more food. So I'm going to be building 
Construct. Constructing. Constructing. Yeah, although I think it's on me at the moment. <laughs> is that no? I think it was on me. Was it because I was going to do the law, wasn't I? Or has that been way, way, way ago? I don't want. What did I do then? I've lost track. We, we can work this out. How many meeples are down? One, two, three, four, four. There's four on the board. Actually, so no, you did Paul, say you, you did you, say you, yeah, you, you did say me. you were going to do a law. Oh, it's back to Paul, isn't it? I must have gathered. No, I think it's Andy. It can't be me. Sure. Well, if the six. Oh yeah, no, because that that we haven't actually done that move yet. No. But there's there's yeah. So it's one, two, three, four, five. five. So one, one two, two, three, four, five. So it's Andy. Andy. Yeah. Got Andy's go. Yeah. Did I not <laughs> just send the kids out to gather wood? We did, yeah. So chat who's turning it. Yeah. I'm, I'm sure I'd send the kids out to gather wood. You need a turn marker. Yeah. Well, no, we we can work it out. Well, we haven't it's done turn marker. Just counting. Yeah. yeah. Unless we've you know messed well, up. I mean, I was going to do that, and I didn't. I went and collected wood, and then Andy, you went there and you did that. They were the first two things. Yeah. I went to the hunter's hut together. You went yeah. to the hunter's hut. So yeah. who is this child? And then, oh, maybe maybe that went with all the talking. Ah, I wait, was initially going to yes, go. You were going to do the law, but you yeah. found that you needed at least two wood to build the care home, so you yeah. decided to get the wood first, first. before enacting the we, yeah. We've removed snow twice. That that We've definitely done oh, it twice, because yeah, no, you no, did I it and I did it. Yes. Yeah, sorry. So, it is on. so I think it's Luke. That's to be Luke's game. Yeah. yeah. There we go. Fair enough. Doesn't matter too much, does it? <laughs> we're all together yeah all right so well we don't so need... now we've figured out who's going who, i don't think you can't move all the time wasn't well i don't, I don't, I don't <laughs> pay attention to all so. um all right fine we'll get the construct out of the way then i guess yeah because <laughs> we're going to need those out so do we need a worker yeah it's yeah. a worker on there that's always heated yeah. spend three wood okay. heating <laughs> might be an issue but yeah. to some uh, buildings are we bothered where well where's the gathering, gathering place going? probably wants to go on the coal one doesn't yeah it? yeah so here and then the hunter's huts because we want to leave that for the yeah, beacon we don't want to leave the yeah, double well we the think the hunter's huts over here maybe yeah, like, i can't see over there so. yeah 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 and one next to the other one all the hunters yeah, all the hunters in place. one spot lovely how's that for city planning yeah. jubbly and you're gathering first cool. right like we said, all the action is happening here, where you can't see it. <laughs> so now I think I'm going to go to the gathering post. Mm -hmm. Is probably the best bet. We built it for a reason, didn't we? Yeah. <laughs> all do, the we do we need all the resources the off, off it this turn? We though. need coal. Otherwise, we well, can't start the generator. Yeah. Next and to turn. be fair, we need something. <laughs> well, we can go get coal at the start of next turn. I'm thinking if we use the hunter, so it's twice. There's not some. Well, I definitely don't think we should use the hunter. So that's twice. Okay. I don't know. So there's a, you, there's not some there's yeah, not the, a rule where you have to start the generator by nope. putting a coal in it nope. at the very start of the nope. turn. So if we don't put in it's, if it's there, there yeah, everything's yeah. cold. Right. I mean, okay. if, if the hunter's hunt to use twice, it gives us free excess food because we can send it. Cured all the hunger and fed every single. That person thing's only got three bits on it, so we can send a kid out okay. into the gathering well, I, next round. I definitely think then in that case, I definitely think we use the hunt hut. I'm agreeing definitely right. once. Well, we definitely need at least once. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, that is a given. And He's not happy about that. He's doing a handstand. My last action. I'm going to use that hunter hut. Yay! Four. Now that they are all adjacent to the generator. That's so point. they're nice and warm. That's a point. Yeah. One less because it's four, not five, that one. So, yeah. All right, so it's one excess food. Yeah. So is that right? We've got 16 food. Yeah, yeah, because I um, counted five, so it's only five for the upgraded one. So it's, yes. yeah, so one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, yeah. yeah. So we had we had eight. We had eight because mm -hmm. I used the hun the upgraded one early. Yeah. And you yeah. found two random, you found two cans of free dry Oh, we did, yeah, 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 yeah. Right, that's the action phase done. So we go to the dusk phase. We don't have any dusk phase effects. So, over to Alan to shuffle the dusk deck and see what we get. Coming <laughs> here to shuffle. Right, I'm going to shuffle and then pick the one off the top. I think. Well, I ain't picking it because I picked the social dispute last yeah, time. You want to pop it on there? I'm not getting blamed yeah. twice for it. See what card we get. <gasps> oh, worker strike. Right now, this is D061. So this is the card that we added to the deck because of the decision we made on the previous morning phase. Right. So if you want to I was going to say, not the child they brought, otherwise you no, wouldn't no, no. be off for that. <laughs> so, one of the factions is furious about the inequality in society. They said that they won't work until you provide them equal working conditions. Because we favoured the engineers. 
agree. Well, yeah, but if we didn't favour even, both yeah. of them would be striking. Yeah. Yeah. So one, agree to their terms only if you exhaust justice. We do not have justice, so we cannot choose that option. Force them to work, plus do discontent. Oh, I don't like that. Let no. them rest, minus one discontent. Place one spent worker token in the supply, then for each active anger... Which is not active. None. Place another spent worker. Well, I think it's, it's that one. It's got to be that yeah. one. 100%. So we're going mean, to choose... Get rid of a token and one spent worker. We can so we're going to choose option three. So it's minus one discontent, which is lose one discontent. Which is yep, great for our... get rid of this one. So we can either uh, exhaust the active one or lose one of the tokens. I, I think lose one because that the card is still in there. <laughs> but we place a spent worker token in the supply. So a spent worker token goes there. And then it's got the X on it, which means that's gone. That's fine. Yeah, oh, that's, that's, right. that's all right, that one. Okay, that well. that's the dusk, fa mm. dusk phase done. Hunger phase. So, Luke, we Look have... Look at all this scrumptious we, food. We have three hunger from the previous round. Now that we on the doors. Mm -hmm. So we have three <laughs> hunger from the previous round. We need to address that. <laughs> that's that done. Then the current round is engineers. So we have 12 engineers. So we need to feed all of the engineers. We've got one food. We have one spare can of beans. My God. Right. So we didn't need to do anything with the hunger. We fed the citizens. Easy. Right. right. <laughs> nice phase. So all of these go back. Yeah. <laughs> uh, now we don't need chopsticks. We need tweezers now. Unfortunately, we do only still have eight, eight homes for people. That, so yes. what happens here is that goes back, yep. the token disappears, but that, that stays there. Yeah. yeah. So it's two again, is it? Two that we leave out in in the cold. So. Well, uh, well, we already cured the engineers by way of morning card or whatever that was that triggered the cure too. Yeah. So I normally I say, do we go one engineer and one one child? I know I don't normally like moving the children up, but as they're both on zero... Yeah, one of each sounds good to me. I think, so, I think having a child on yeah. one is okay. So we're going to leave some engineers and some kids out in the cold to sleep. Yep. What? The only thing I'll say would... Oh, we haven't got an exhausted care anyway. Right, forget that. Yeah, not yeah. worried about the advice card. Okay, so that's <laughs> so the that's night phase. Done. They will come back. Done. Each citizen meeple without a warm place to sleep gets sick. Round three. The dawn phase. I will pass on my leadership marker. See, that right. half the way will move the round marker we'll move on the round one. Marker on one. It didn't reach anything exciting, so nothing happens there. Yeah, yeah but exciting happens. means death. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure one excitement. <laughs> uh, it is the, now the morning phase. Off we go. Winter has come. This sounds promising. <laughs> Ed, our best huntsman, stumbled upon a dead she-wolf in a cave. She managed to give birth to a litter of pups. Most of them survived. Ed took it as an omen since there were as many pups as he had children. Where have I seen this story? This, this sounds familiar, but you can actually turn this into a book. Yeah, this... <laughs> Should we allow him to keep the litter? Option one, let him keep the pups. His kids can help him raise the wolves. They may prove to be an asset in these stark times. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent writing. Yeah, I like it. I uh, like if we it. do that, we place one spent worker or engineer token in supply, mm -hmm. but increase hunger by four and add D056 to the dust deck. Because your wolves need feeding. Okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. Option two, he found them, but other citizens could benefit. Take them to our settlement and distribute them among the citizens. They need to learn to, how to live alongside humans. Um, we don't get to remove the spent engineer token in the supply, but we still increase hunger by four, and we get D057 to the dust deck. Third so one, any guesses what this will be? Third one. Yeah. Put them down and make good use of the meat. Gain four food, but yeah. plus one apathy. No, see, I, we I, don't I, want I think, the apathy. I think we've got plenty of food. If, if, well, if, it's to say, if, if it didn't have the apathy, I might have been tempted <laughs> on that, but just for the amount of hunger. Yeah. No, I, want, I, think, yeah. I think we're good for food. Um, so, I think... So one of them has a spent worker and the other one doesn't. Yeah. I And one of them... I want to go with option one for thematic reasons. What's that? Just let him keep them and hopefully yeah. get some sort of... Yeah. Sled dogs. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sled sheeples. I'm, I'm, I'm happy for option one as yeah, well. option one works for me. I mean, so, we've got a spent worker and we can do either or on this one, can't we? Yeah. So we so, could do a spent engineer to mix up, depending on what we need. Engineers can do everything that workers can Place do, can't they? Place a spent worker Place or engineer, engineer token. Yeah, yeah, exactly. We're having to feed all these except workers. For <laughs> yeah, 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 it's the most of spent. True. They strike and now we're giving them pups. <laughs> <laughs> So we're going with that? Yeah. Go yeah ahead. Okay, so place one spent engineer or, or what do we wait, think? worker I... or engineer token in the supply. I'm going to say worker. I'm just another worker. And then increase hunger by four. And, and we get D056. I mean, it's all good. We only need 26 food this round. <laughs> oh, no, sorry. 25. 
<laughs> yeah. the but then we can of beans, you know, we'll feed a kid somewhere. Yeah. But then you know, we, it only gets bad when the next round, doesn't it? Yeah, We've yeah, only yeah. got a small number of kids, so we can catch up on us. Yeah. D fifty six was it, Andy? Sorry. Yep. We've already got the child leader. Yeah, laws. This can pay removed from the game. Okay. There we go. Just check D fifty six. D fifty six is in. Okay. <laughs> so that's the morning phase done. Generator phase. Do we want to spend an extra coal to put the generator? We have no coal. Okay. I shall remind you of the form <laughs> Yeah, tell us that now. <laughs> so one engineer gets sick. Nah, no big deal. Uh, we are dropping three coal. Some definitely fell out. Mm, that sounded like a four. How many's in there? Four. Four. Five. Five. Oh, you Five did lost the other two. Well, that's good. Because that's a perfectly efficient uh, it is, uh, clean up. The move. engineer space. Yeah. So five cubes go on this stress track. And as I mentioned, if it fills up, is it is it when it fills up, it goes pop? Or when it fills it up, fills and up, there's one more? Builds up and one more was what you said yeah. in your video. Yeah, ten, 10 is okay. fine. But as soon as you've got to go on the overflow thing, which is yeah. this little square over there, yeah. then pop. Then pop. Which okay. is a massive understatement for a giant towering furnace so this, this, <laughs> rep this represents the stress that the generator is under and there is an action that we can take in the game to remove five cubes so as you say five five coming out was was perfect it's all in the, the risk all of, yeah, exactly uh drop coal from the bank done that done that place any cubes done that check for generator breakdown reset the heat marker done generator phase is finished weather phase <laughs> okay let's have a look at the weather card okay yeah, I like that. what's he saying he said we need to explore the uh, couple of tiles down here, whatever it is, then the smile, the symmetric. The, yeah, we will. <laughs> You'll notice when you zoom we out. <laughs> so we're advancing the cold by one, the yellow marker by one. This is actually quite good for us. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we're going to get three food because we got three. No, we get four. Four food. Yeah. Because with that, we got four of those symbols. Uh, none of that, but the storm marker moves two. Right. Okay. So first of all, cold marker goes up by one, yellow marker goes up by one. Four food. Sweet. We now just need storm uh... get two closer. <laughs> Weather phase two, is. Um, what Do about I... what about the exploring? There is no exploring. Yeah, two. <laughs> right, we need twenty-one food now. <laughs> Preparation phase. Who's going to be the advisor for this round? Does it matter? We can't use any. We can't. We can't let's use any. Let's let's go for that one just in case we build the care house. Well, no, because it's, no, it's now. now. Of course, it is. Yeah. Yes. So we so we don't need to do that. Any. Uh, resolve the sickness marker effects. Are any sickness markers on five or more? No. 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 Nope. Done. Even good care of our people. Action with, our, with our one nurse. So we need we need to adjust the number of meeples yeah. we have. Yeah. Which, yeah. which is fine. Because we've not gained any people. Not gained or lost. Nope. So we lose two workers this, this round. Yeah. People have scoffed at Dr. Kaufman's methods, but they're very effective. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> quick, 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 quick things before we start the action phase. So, yeah. Luke, how many food do we need this round, ideally? Well, min minimum four. Right, well, for safety, 21, <laughs> to avoid no ill effects, right? right? Yeah. We have got enough food to cover the hunger now. Right. So we're fine. Yeah. So it's a case of every food we get means uh, less sick people. And, 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 and the round, next round is kids. So that is only going up a small yeah. amount. So it's going to be easy to kind of... Okay. Yeah. So we don't need to worry about that. In yeah. terms of the generator, uh, one coal will heat the red buildings only. Mm -hmm. In order to heat the generator tile, we need two coal. And in order to heat the tiles adjacent to the generator, we actually need four coal. Mm. We currently have... No coal yeah. and no wood. Mm. Unless we're removing snow, in which case they're heated regardless. Snow, snow is heated regardless. Yeah. yeah. But using the gathering post is cold. Is cold. Yeah. Because it's a yellow building. So what we might want to do is do way. quite a lot of exploring around here and make a really efficient gathering post. And then the gathering post is right. basically. Maybe. It depends how many actions we're going to afford well, to lose. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Also... How are we enjoying the game so far? Oh, brilliant. Oh, loving it. I absolutely yeah. love it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's going completely differently from it's, how it's, I was thinking like I true, might It's like it. true Frostpunk. You start off nice and it all goes to pot. Yeah. <laughs> Indeed. Indeed. And you have to make sacrifices. The greater. No, what, yeah, what you're saying, and I, and I touched on this at the start, with there isn't that much variability in the setup, mm. but the variability that is in the setup massively yeah. changes how the game yeah. plays. Yes, definitely. You are not just going to play this game exactly the same every no, time you play no. it's going to be different we don't time. want one math mathematical way of 
breaking the game. Right. Not that. Okay, so who's going first? Andy, how many total actions have so we got? So we have got turn? two children, three engineers, and three workers. So we've got eight actions in total. Yeah. Now we What's gone... our overall objective for this round? Uh... Is, it, is it to build the beacon? We've got to build the beacon. Build really, a beacon. Yeah, yeah, definitely. It's because be otherwise, next round, it will advance and then the event yeah, will trigger. Yeah. Okay, so th we have to build it in round three. So we need three wood. Yeah. Now. Do we even have three I... wood in existence? Yeah, there's yeah, one three here. Two, and two gathers will do it. I have got a, a child card action. Oh, yeah. We've not been using you, our citizens yet. You've got well, well, two of my, well, two of my need the medical post out. That's yeah. the thing. <laughs> So you go this one, you go to the gathering post with a child, form the action as normal, or take three resources from one adjacent space. So we could go there, clear this out, mm -hmm. and that gives us a double space to build yeah. the beacon on. That's yeah. that's pretty good. That um, good, yeah. It does the, mean we don't have any coal, yeah. but yeah. Well, well, the, the citizens I've got are mostly about curing, which is not a big problem until mm -hmm. within a round or two later. So. I've also got Paolo. <laughs> Paolo's got his own chainsaw. So Paolo can chop a tree down in his own. Okay. How much would you okay. get from a tree? Two. I mean, do we think this turn that actually well, this we, one he gets two. we do the minimal number of actions possible we need, take the sickness from it, and then spend the rest of the actions kind of exploring, and and we just don't heat the, the generator this turn? That's going to get us very, very mm. sick. Well, it depends how many how many explore actions. Oh, you mean we, we do, do loads of explore all, yeah, because of the heated all, lines? Yeah, the, explore, yeah. the exploring will be heated. Yeah. So... So what we've done pretty well on the thickness so far. Thing, what's going to get sick? Well, because construction is always right. everything always except hot. constructing well, yeah. and exploring. And removing if, snow. With all of our actions that are explore. Yeah. Well, we've got, I was saying, we've we're got gonna, the bare minimum of food. I was going to say, the food's mm. going to be an issue if we don't get any food this round. Well, not this round it won't be. Next no. round it will be. The hunger will be an issue. Yeah. Not the same thing. Yeah, we won't get any ill effect from it. So we will get, obviously, which is not nice, two kids. And we'll also get the sickness. Yeah, that's what I was... Yeah, so two kids, a worker, an engineer, going sick from there. Mm. But, like I say, in the in the later game, mm. if we get that medical post out, I yeah. can do quite a decent amount of curing. Mm. Yeah, I mean, for when do we comes. want to build the beacon this round still, though? Yeah, because next, yes. yeah. <laughs> next round it's... Because yeah, if we're going to build the beacon, we, then... We want to get some scouts We out. need... We got one there. We're going to have two actions to get wood, or at least one that one. isn't heated. But yeah, so we could do one to get the wood, and then a build heated action. But it would be a very he's, inefficient. If he's got his card, I, if, yeah, I can get two system. wood, and it counts as heated. Oh, okay. Because right. as well as his personal chainsaw, yeah, he's got a very thick coat. We also want to think about enacting a law. That's the thing, yeah, because we didn't do that last round. Yeah, yeah, and that's yeah. not going to be heated at the moment. He's not going to be heated. No. We would only need one coal to heat that. Which you could wait until after you've done the gathering post? Because the platform is yellow. Ah, the platform is yellow, sorry. It's, it's, it would need, we'd need two coal yeah. to make sure the entire generator time is heated. Mm. But that might just be worth... Yeah, that might just be so, a I mean, sacrifice worth we, making. Or we take the sickness from doing a law when we're not heated. Yeah. Or, I suppose, you send a gathering action to there to get the two coal. Somebody gets sick, but then we put one of them into there. Yeah, or both of them. If we put both of them in, that puts all of these actions yeah. on this tile, which isn't going to be many. Yeah. None. Because we want to fix the generator yeah. as well, yeah. I think. Well, we don't need to do that this turn, because yeah. it's not true. We're not spending any more tokens. Yeah, yet. especially so, if we're yeah. ignoring the yeah. generator entirely, yeah. that that is empty. Mm. We, we literally just don't turn the generator we on for a day. just don't turn the generator on for a day. Take the sickness hit, because we're doing well on sickness. What's well, I say, we've done well on sickness already mm. okay, Calvin, well, and I'll say if we and then later on you get the medical post up with these yeah. cards we can cure a decent amount of them yeah so what you how many of the kids are we utilizing with actions this so round? I would utilize this kid yeah here so at least one at least and then one. I would probably do the card which would get the free wood and clear the space for a beacon for our beacon so we'd have end up with one kid that would be doing a cold gathering action as well yeah and then we would either choose to use the other kid for a gathering action if we can spare the sickness on it or we just not use him yeah and we've only got the one sickness then. yeah okay well i'll start by um digging some snow then digging some snow with a worker yeah oh far or near far we need to, to get some sawmills down so mm. it's gonna probably so are we gonna go... this one or this one what do you reckon fellas Get it out. Mm. I mean, we haven't got time to use the card that I had about. I'm not <laughs> <laughs> bring this one because yeah, it's, it's, it's near me, but it's nice. 
two trees. Two trees and three coal. Mm. Two trees, three coal. So that, that works out well for a sawmill. It does. If we well, clear. Apart, from, I was saying, apart from the trees, I mean, you can change all one of them. But... Well, yeah, well, no, I mean, we, uh... but once you clear the coal, you'll have space on the... You can put a normal sawmill, clear out the oh, trees. Oh, so you mean, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. the sawmill only takes up one space. Yeah. And you can put a normal one down, clear out the trees on that tile, and then upgrade it when nice. we need to. Sweet, yeah, we've got the perfect sawmill so occasion then. And you've got the trees as well. Oh, sorry, two trees, yes. Spiky trees. Uh, I would lean over, but that's it's probably. It's Christmas. Okay, right. So, that was that I shouldn't do. Yeah. So, that's a lot of coal there. And that's heated because of the heated lamps. Yeah. yeah. Yes. So, do we need to reveal any more, or should we get gathering? <laughs> I think if we're going to use my special gather action, we don't nest because that's going to just going to take all three from here. We don't need to find other tiles here yeah. this turn. But so. if we're not heating anything, we want to do a load of snow digging. I, I, yeah. I think so. Maybe I think maybe I'd like snow... to heat it one because then we can use the workshop without getting sick. We can use the generator building without getting sick. We can use the hunter's hut without getting sick. Oh, and the, the tents might be important as well. Oh god, yeah. <laughs> Well, we're not going to be in the oh, heat yeah, tent. Yeah, the tent is uh, something one I tent, thought two about. tents we'd, will. We'd need two coal to make sure these two mm. tents are heated. Yeah, no, that changes everything. Because without those heated tents, we get, we get sick loads people. of sickness. We're going to need at least two We coal. need at least two coal, don't Otherwise, we? Otherwise, we're getting right, well, Let's get gathering yeah. then. Yeah. Let's get gathering then. So... so do we think... Well, if you're going to gather, you might as well take coal from, from like here. Yeah, so we can build because then we can build a sawmill there. So... Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Come on, kiddies. And that's a sickness action. So the kids get sick. <laughs> yeah. Well, we might sort of chuck these away because they're going to go in the generator in the middle. Yeah, yeah. they're going, they going go straight in the generator. <laughs> okay. So everything that is red or on the generator tile is now heated. Okay. One more would heat the bunkhouse as well. I think. Yeah. Okay. So the question is so well, I'm going to. Are post to get the coal randomly? Yeah. yeah. Now, do I go to the gathering post now with a kid and use the special action to clear this out, which gives us all the wood we need and the space for the beacon? The beacon is a primary thing. So... Or do we use the gathering post with a kid and just mm. get that one, that one, and that, that one. one? Yeah. But then we got nowhere to build the beacon. There. Oh, yeah, that's we true. We wouldn't have yeah. enough wood, though. But, no, then, but then Paul, no, could then Paul go goes and chainsaws yeah. the tree. Yeah. Yeah. So that's the better option, yeah. I think. It is, yeah. If there's another space for it, agreed. And we, and we think the kids, because we're saving the kid the kid, from getting yeah, sick. Because the kids need that. Yeah. Yeah. We're already putting on the So board. the kids get sick again? The kids get yeah. sick again, <laughs> but it's not going to push them over. Which so the gathering good. post is one resource from each adjacent space. Yeah. But if it's a kid's, it's a maximum of three. three. Yeah. We've got a steam core. Yeah. yeah. Right. Okay. Can you even upgrade a beacon to it? Oh yeah, yeah. beacon upgraded can do something. So yeah, I mean, you allow, it allows you to have two expeditions out at once. So I can use Paolo. Good or bad. <laughs> or yeah. I could just go here and gather the two wood. Um, I think while you've got the card and it's heated, yeah, do the heated version. Okay. Yeah. So because I'm, uh, gather, I'm so guessing the other one wouldn't be heated. And do it over here maybe. Yep. So when I use Paolo to to perform the gather resources action. Yeah, just get so, so stick him over there. Yeah. Perform this action on an unoccupied space that has one or more trees. Remove one tree from that space. <laughs> gain two wood. Count this action as heated. And that is that citizen card used and done. Nobody was injured in the falling onto mm. the tree. Good old Paolo. So we've got <laughs> four moves left. Right. And we're if we build the beacon, that's all three of our wood. But we might want to gather some more wood if we want to do. Make so use of do the some other more building actions. Yeah. yeah. Like another bunkhouse. That would be another free wood. Yeah. yeah. Oh, would it? Oh, yeah. yes. Yeah. And at some point, we probably do want to get an infirmary out. Because, like I say, there's, well, it's useful anyway. And, and, and a toll pub. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Build a pub. So. No, the pub's not in this game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, like I say, the medical post, because I don't know what yours are. It's, was it cure free of one type of citizen and activate care or motivation are the two I've got that need a medical post? I'm going to go digging in the snow again. Digging in the snow with, yeah, a, with a worker. Yeah, well, let's it. have these two. Okay, see what we got. Two trees and three immediate food. Mm. Yes, every, little bit, every little bit of food helps. Two wood and one wood. 
It'd be nice if we enact that care law this turn as yeah, well. Yeah, I think I think we need we that care law. We've got a wonky drink. Even if we don't build the care home necessarily. Well, well we, we could gather two wood. Yeah. Build the care home and act the law. Yeah. So we've got three moves left. So we've got three moves left, and we're thinking uh, one of them to gather two wood. Yeah. yeah. One of them to build the, the beacon. And one of them to put a law in place. In place so yeah. we're not doing the workshop, we're not doing the hunter's hut. Yeah, that well that's that's one theory. Mm. Of course the other thing is if we build a beacon, we might want to send we have got room to send, send engineers on uh, scouting. It's gotta be workers. Uh, well should we well, should do we you want to just change the one thing that last yeah, 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 one that to give us a little bit of Yeah, yeah. It, it would be, would nice, be nice, nice if we build the beacon to send somebody out. So it's built construct, yeah, which builds the beacon, yeah, and then deploy scouts with the worker. So we've only have got one action left. Um yeah, and we're, if we do that, then we can't build the care home this turn. We could act the law, but we wouldn't get free build action. We wouldn't have the wood to do the build action on it. Is there another law worth enacting? Uh, well, I'm sure there is. Um, Other than the care home. I mean, there's obviously, there's the disc, there's the... Um, the one that minute. I mean, I like crowded quarters, like. but it's a big... It gives yeah, you a plus you anger. You don't want to take that hit, really. No. Um... You've then got um So what's new order? So Exhaust one discontent. You can actually send time. engineers and explosions, it's just risky as can they you? might ah, it's just risky as they might not come back. Uh, oh sorry, I'd i I'd, I'd, I'd missed that. Right. That is according to Raphael. Okay. Um, For some reason I thought it was only workers. However, the risk is the thing that we don't want anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean there's there's heated meals, which gives us a plus gives us hope. hope. And it says, whenever you perform an action with a citizen meeple, you may spend two food to count that action as heated. Mm. I'm sure we do that all the time. Yeah, well, I don't know how much food we're going to... You're, you're pretty much the, just doing that. The, the point market. is, it, it adds hope. So it can we be still have work. that one that removes the discontent. We do. The public council. That I quite could like be good. That. Whenever you increase hope or discontent and choose to draw a token, you may choose a specific hope or discontent. But the point token. is, it, it and gets, it gets rid, rid of, of one of those. Which puts us ahead if that social, if the yeah, social justice. And it's now one in three, so it might well do. I quite like that as a. Because we don't need any additional wood yeah. to a building or anything like that. Yeah. It puts us ahead on that. Beacon, right. council, gather. Deploy scouts. Yeah. Is that a separate action? Is it? Yes. Yeah. Right. yeah. Fine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's I do that then. Cool. Nice. Right. Plan. So, What's the worst that can happen? So we're going. Engineering, engineering, <laughs> construct. Sorry, yes, thank you. That's the wrong space. Right, if you could spend three wood. Yeah. And Luke, if you could pass me the beacon. This is my go, I think. Change gear. I, I believe. So the beacon, the is. beacon piece is very, very nice. Gear stick. Can you pass us the beacon building? Mm. This is a double building, so it goes on a double space. Yeah. Let's go in there. Uh, just as a quick note, since this is a tutorial video, there's a little red. X in the top left, this cannot be dismantled. So <laughs> certain buildings. Because we lose the game. <laughs> um, okay. So that's it. And we're not, we're, although we've got three sub actions, we've only used one of them. We could yeah. dismantle, but. And there's no additional bonus for the beacon coming into play. It just brings this in. We, we can now choose yeah. the deploy scouts action. What happens with dismantle? You get the wood back. You don't get anything back. Oh. You just remove the building from the board to make space for to put something oh, else. I forget that then. <laughs> so, there is a there is a technology I think that allow that allows you to get. <laughs> it was like if we had one too many hunters, I was like, no 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 just yeah. right. We got so, the beacon up, good. Right. So we're now saying let's send someone on ex expedition. Well, yeah, well, it's Andy's turn. It's Andy's turn. Which one do you want to do? Let's go on the expedition. All right. Right. Which so let's have a look at the expedition cards. These are the three expedition cards. Um, and basically, we can choose whichever one we go on. Mm -hmm. What we get out of the mission is shown in the top right. Uh, this. There will be people at the end of this. This we don't know. This we don't know. Uh, and this is the length mm. of the mission. So this one's shorter. Yeah. People or resources would probably be a, mm. a good thing in general. However, one being shorter is a good thing because we have started this quite late. Uh, Corin Moore is asking, do the double buildings have to be vertical or can they go horizontally between two tiles? They have to go vertically on one tile. I reckon we go with the shortest one. We might okay. complete that in a round. Yeah. So mm. that goes there. Brilliant. And then, and that's the deploy scouts action. Now, deploy scouts is also always heated. Yeah, and we don't really need nice. to shelter this person. And yeah, that is one less person living in our city tonight. Yeah, so we told him go live outside. Yeah, yeah. Now I guess we go go get the law then. Any match? Uh, that is not heated action. Um, 
Yes, it is because we're on. It's on the inside. Yeah, sorry, it is. It's it's on on the inside, yeah. Are, are yeah. we happy with this? This is where I think we'll probably put. Yeah, we'll we'll use the to... one coal to put it up so that it activates the bunk. The bunk house. house. Okay, should we do that now? Yeah, yeah. we're going to yeah. spend well, one coal to put it up there. Right, and which Laura are we bringing in? So we decided. Yeah. Oh, no, we're we'll going the public council. Yeah, means we're going to lose this one. Do you want to read the flavor text on it? Yes. We're here for the conspiracy. Public public eating of asparagus. <laughs> we form a public council to allow our most respected citizens to handle social affairs. When you increase hope or discontent and choose to draw a token, you may choose a specific hope and discontent token to draw. But when it comes into play, we lose a discontent. So we can either flip that one over or we can lose the lose. one. Yeah, and we're going to lose that. that. That's nice because that was looking yeah. quite bad a minute ago. Yeah. Well, we sort of we slightly hamstrung our gameplay to make that and the dust. To hope that whatever, whatever yeah. we get from that dust guard is yeah. good. Yeah. Hopefully, yeah. it's not just suffer no ill effects, nothing else. <laughs> right, that is the end of the action phase. I don't know. I, I'd take no ill effects from a dust card to be honest. <laughs> so, dust card. Do we have any dusk phase effects in play? No. Resolve and res uh, result. Uh, yeah, dusk card. Off we go. So we got how many cards? Um, three, four, four now. Oh, four more wins in. Okay, so give him a shuffle. Let's shuffle, see what shuffle, we get. Shuffle. Mm -hmm. How are you doing, random? Um, uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Parents' rights. Ooh. So this is. <laughs> how do you put my little Jimmy to work? <laughs> no, this, well, yeah, this is L zero one. This is a card that came in the game. Because we enacted or... child labor. Oh, it's, it's parents, not... look. <laughs> it's not even a get rid of one either, is it? So, if you have active anger... Hang on, flavor text first. Oh, sorry. Uh, parents won't allow their children to be endangered by working in such conditions. They organized a protest and shouted, Let them be kids! And don't hurt our children! <laughs> don't let them be if kids. If you have active anger... We do not we do have not. active anger. Excellent. Otherwise, place one spent worker slash engineer token and one spent child token in the support. That's fine. Now, the other thing with this card is notice there is no red X here. That means this card goes into the discard pile. So this card will come out at some point later on. But for now... If we live that long. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. For now, it's gone in the discard right. pile. And remember what I said earlier on, and you, you saw this on round one, is the discard pile only gets shuffled in when the social dispute card comes out, which mm. for us happened on round one, might never happen again. No, mm. we will see. Well done, parents. Yeah, I mean, but it, at least we didn't yeah. get any more of that. Yeah, let's That's let amazing. them be kids. Go out and play. Hunger play. That's <laughs> fun in the snow. Right. We have four hunger, so we need to deal with the four hunger. Four hunger is not a problem because as one comes near. Right. Okay. Next. No one follows. Uh, resolve and reset the hunger marker. We don't need to do that. No. Uh, feed citizens indicated by current round. So now we, have <laughs> we now need to feed the workers. There are 22 workers. We only have four food, so we food goes down to zero. We've got 18 hunger. <laughs> Not quite dang in a game, but yeah. Next round is the problem. Okay, the night phase. So we need to put these back. Now, what's heated? Oranges, um, red, yeah, so got two three. tents and a bunkhouse. And, and at this point, Paul, these and, go back and, on and um, these tokens go. Three tents yeah. and a bunkhouse? Oh, no, we haven't built the other tent. Yeah. So this is heated because it's on the generator yeah. tile. This is heated. Yeah, two tents and a bunkhouse. The bunkhouse, but the tent over there is no, not. No, it's very free. Yeah, so which tent isn't here? That one is that not, one heated. not heated. heated. Right. Yeah. So, so we've, we've got only got space for six. six. So what's close to going over? Uh, okay, we definitely don't want kids going up, but let's start. Blue going. is there, but yeah, we got. And then if we do. Let's go start with one of each. We went one of each, one of each. Yeah. One of each with any excess going to engineers and you're safe. Yeah. Um, okay. okay. So, so one, one worker is sick. Yeah. And one engineer is sick. Yeah. I'd say that's about right. Okay. Right. That's it. That's the night phase done. So now we go to the dawn phase. Uh, no. 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 We missed a worker. <laughs> oh. So, Paolo. Pablo. We actually want. Flip it with an engineer and we just move that. Well, yeah. Forward one. yeah. Let's move the engineer yeah. up. So it ended up like that. Right. Yeah. Okay. Got it. Seriously, one night you can't survive one night. <laughs> so I'll bring all them workers back. And <laughs> Breath was spotted as well. <laughs> Next round. How long you tried to hide behind a tree? Yeah. Yeah. Leadership marker, marker passes. On. Right. Move, move the round <laughs> Take marker. Take all the feast dry hey. and So it. we have hit an event marker, which means we need to refer to the scenario so card. Here we go. Round four. If the beacon is built, go to A. A. The beacon is built. The beacon shines bright. 
plus one hope or minus one disconnect discontent mm. then reveal and resolve I've forgotten that s02 it's I mean, awesome i think yeah. we can have an extra hope i think an we, extra hope we can choose we, can choose. we can choose because of the public council yeah. yeah. which hope would we like but uh, probably the one we don't have well the, it's yeah all well because then if we if, if we decide to enact the the faith when we activate the faith doesn't it do something what's the thing that activates one of each type isn't there one that activates all of you have the same yeah type? there is one yeah. that plays all you have the same type and there's also one on that flips all of the discontent i think mm. doubling up could be yeah. useful yeah. new faith activate one hope of each type so if what? we had one of each mm -hmm. okay that we're inactive and yeah. we decided let's... to go down the religious route yeah. let's do that they all get activated yeah that sounds like a fantastic so that's justice and the fact that we can choose them, it shouldn't matter too much. Okay, yeah. so then we re reveal and resolve S02, which I believe is this one. Finding Winter Home. The beacon's light guided refugees scattered across the frozen wasteland to our settlement. Amongst them were scouts from Winter Home. As it turns out, it is the nearest occupied settlement. However, the news they brought is alarming. They say no other beacons were lit, not even the one at Winter Home. What has happened to Winter Home? Place S05, white side up, in the expedition display. Choose A or B. Ooh, exciting. Mm. Uh, that's is that double-sided? Mm -hmm. A or B? That's white side up. Yeah, white yeah. side up. And now choose A or B. Choose A or B. Guy. Now, oh, this is interesting. Mm. Let the refugees enter our city, which gains us one hope, five, engineer, five workers, one engineer, and three children. Or we send them away and lose a hope i like taking I, them in i think we take them in taking them in probably because it gives us our hope tokens the only thing is but how many what were the numbers <laughs> yeah well, five workers one engineer three children so five workers puts us up into yeah, it's an extra uh, worker and an extra child uh one extra child no yeah yeah three children so that bumps yeah. us up by one yeah. child and, and one engineer, engineer. Yeah. Right, the engineer so, makes no difference, but we do get two get more actions. extra worker, extra child. We get, we get more and an extra hope. What's yeah. the name? We get another child meeple. We get another worker meeple. Yeah, that bit worries me. <laughs> more <laughs> mouths to feed. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But the extra worker could just. Yeah, I, I think but if then... we hadn't enacted the child labour, I'd be saying send them away. But the fact that it gives us another child <laughs> yeah. to to you know, and we don't have to feed the workers for a little while. Now, yes, we? we're yeah. gonna yeah. we're gonna allow them in, are we? I say we let them. Yeah. In. Okay. So this this is a remove. Yeah. So, so, we, so we add a hope. So are we going to add another? Is there yeah, another what, like, what one do we want to double up on? Well, is, is there any three types? Yes. In that yeah. case, may I recommend care? Yeah. Okay, that sounds good to <laughs> me. On the basis that we're going to be using a bit of that. So Luke, so we gain five workers, one engineer, and three children. And that card is gone. And then what do we do with the event token? We do something else with it, don't we? Um, so we do, 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 we have this on round eleven now. So the event token goes on round eleven. Yep. Okay. Um, S zero four goes in the scenario play. Display, and if is it S zero seven has not been revealed, uh, then we place number three in the scenario display. Also, S zero seven has not been revealed. This is probably the negative one. Right. So prepare for and survive the storm. Good luck with that. Oh my god. Right, let's have a look at uh, Prepare for the Storm. Uh, doomsayers shout, abandon all hope. Uh, observers from the beacon spot an apocalyptic snowstorm heading our way. We have days to prepare. This is the reason why we didn't have any contact with Winter Home. I mean, we must do whatever it takes to endure the storm. Exhaust all hope and then... My ah, sorry, no, hang on. We don't do that yet. Ah, okay. So, yeah. So, on round 11, we do that. Okay, so yeah. ignore those. So, now. no, so, yeah, ignore that. So, round it says round 11 is where we put the thing, and when we get to round 11, all right, okay, that's so that's that where we do that. So, thing. nothing yet, nothing yet, but on round 11, something's gonna happen. That's assuming we get that far, cool. That's assuming we get that far, right? Ah, uh, we're cruising. Morning phase, yeah, so we have right, no food. About the storm is one more, yeah, we have no food, no yeah, food, food is the worrying bit. Morning phase, okay, so we, we have a morning card. card. You find food, relentless rats, oh, food. Right. <laughs> but yes it can be rats how on earth do they breed so fast our settlement is overrun with swarms of vicious rats we can't let them roam option one time for some ratatouille we have to catch them all 
gain five food and add D054. Is that probably... literally what it says? Time yeah. for some ratatouille. Go ahead. It's <laughs> probably going to be some food poisoning there. Do you like ratatouille, Alan? Oh, love it. As a literal, rat, rat. literal ratatouille. <laughs> yeah. uh, so for your benefit, mm. we have uh, we have been overrun by rats. Oh. We have three options. Yeah. Number one, we catch them all, gain five food and get a new Dusk event. Number two, uh, put some poison out which is place a spent worker token in supply. Nope, or number three, those. does anyone have a small vicious dog? Rat catchers rejoice. There'll be a, re a reward for each rat tail, minus one discontent, and another dusk event. So what's what's the last one? Sorry? Uh, minus one discontent and a dusk event. I think we need the food. Yeah. <laughs> Just a bit. We're probably going to regret the... Well, eating the it's rats. a percentage chance of rat poison, <laughs> rat poison whatever. Okay, yeah. so yeah. we gain five we food. We need food. I don't care where it comes from. D054. We, did we not have one? No, we didn't, did we? No. no. One, zero. Okay, well, that's gone from the game. That's gone. Yeah. There we go. Zero, five. One more. One more. D054. Yeah. Okay, so that was the morning card. Generator phase. We have no coal. Rats are food, yes. <laughs> Rat uh, we, ha we have no coal, mm -hmm. so we cannot put any more into the generator. So we get one sick engineer and oh. one sick kid. Uh, the kid's not a problem, the engineer is. Right. Now I'm dropping three coal into here. And we know that there is no more <laughs> in there. I heard at least one come out. Come out, so we need to probably fix that yeah, room now. Well, there's, I mean, there's only one in there, isn't there? So there's one in more there. Yeah, it depends how we're, much we're probably going to put at least two in there. Well, so we yeah, no coal, it, that's the if we can get it to ten, then we've got a steam coal. We can wipe them yeah. all off. Done. Right, <laughs> weather phase. That could be actually our main uses for steam yeah. coal, okay. actually, just to wipe the generator clean. The weather's got worse, oh, so that's gone up. We had a that's gone up. That's gone up, and that's gone up. Oops! Stick the card in the middle. That's all right. <laughs> um, we, we, you, you've seen it, you know, if you know how this works now. Um, food. One per symbol. We have four symbols, yeah. so we gain four food. Right, so we've got four expedition points. Now, every oh, expedition point shame, it? moves it forward. Well, it isn't if we decide to continue. So what happens is we get to the end. Now, when we get to the end, we have two choices. We can either stop, lose our remaining movement points, explore this card and we flip it over and we see what it is or we could choose to skip this location and carry on at which point we can use our additional movement points i think i normally i see i quite want the resources from it because we're sure well, we don't know resources. if it's resources yeah, no. if it's people yeah. then we got a problem <laughs> but i i think potentially with two spare movement points we, we yeah. head on yeah i want to keep going with yeah, yeah. if we get more expenses. people that could actually be so if we decide to move on, this is A. What we need to do is we need to take top card from the B. Yeah. Which we know is people. We need to know. overlay it onto there. We start off on the bottom space, and then we use our additional two movement points to move further. So it's not quite at the end. Is there any other way to advance that? Food? No. No. That's a shame, because yeah. it's going to be wasted next turn, or we skip it as yeah. well. Oh, I meant, sorry, can we do a, a bit of a backtrack? Yeah, yeah. I completely forgot. Obviously, what when we, we played that guy, I would have played Dave... Uh, Dave Taddle. What does that do? Uh, perform this action as normal um, and then place two well, below was it, the Was it you that did the action? Uh, yes, it was, because I accidentally put an engineer there. Well, actually, I think and it was then... me that did it because I did oh, okay. the action, but I do Fine. have one we could have put down as well. Oh, so we okay. So we're cards. slightly <laughs> undoing from last turn because yeah. yeah. we forgot to play a card. So it was Caroline O'Hare. Yeah. When we deploy scouts, perform this action as normal and then place two coal below the chosen expedition. Okay, so when that scout returns home, yeah. They found an extra two coal. Yeah. Okay, right. Yeah. Let's so, put it at the top. And then the storm then marker. Storm marker moves zero. That's so good. I like that for our tents. That's very yeah, good. That's good. Right. Preparation phase. Choose advisor. We can't use any. No. No. Yeah, it makes no yes. odds. Okay. And now something we've not seen yet. We are resolving the sickness markers. Mm. So we actually have the engineer marker is in that second section. So we have to flip it over. So one of the engineers has now become gravely Agnes. ill <laughs> and and might die. Yeah, might. Might die. <laughs> yes. 
Now, am I right in thinking that when you cure them, you literally just move the token back? There's no way to... I, I think, can't you can't you flip? Oh, there was treating. Yeah, yeah, treating allows you to flip a sickness. So there is a certain building, skull. I think. Yeah, because normally when you flip it over again, they die. But if you treat, you flip it over and without how do you the treat? effect. Uh, an effect, a treat icon. Which we haven't seen yet. Uh, not unless the you infirmary? the infirmary. So he's in the infirmary. The infirmary allows you to tr treat yeah, two patients. Yeah, the, good luck up. trying to uh, fill that. Right, so we are in the action phase. So at the start of the action phase, adjust the meeples. Now, yeah. it's going to change. So Luke, yeah. you need to tell Andy, sorry, Alan, how many meeples? Three engineers. Yeah. Three, pe three children. Oh, three double like children. Picture. Yep, and six workers. Ooh, so that's one more worker. However, and then we move one and one. Then. I spent one, and I spent one. We got the extra kid, but they were yeah. exhausted yeah. from their journey. Yeah. Right. Now, I before we start, I have a plan to take care of our hunger. Oh. I have a child action here, which allows us to spend 12 food to reduce hunger by 18. Oh, nice. Which conveniently is exactly Ooh, what we need oh, to nice. do. When doing which action? Uh, I have to use the cookhouse. Mm. So if we can orchestrate it so that I have a spare child and 12 foods so and use the cookhouse at some point. That's very good. That, yeah, yeah. good. That's we need to go to the, inf the hunter's hut once and then the cookhouse, basically. Good, that yeah. bread thief from earlier is pain pen. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that is a very good. So thing. we literally just need to visit our hunters up randomly. So yeah. yeah, right. Do we have other plans for this turn? Um, Not unless you build a no. I feel like we're going to need some coal. I need a, I was going to say oh, I could use a, here. I could use a child if we got a spare one to go here and use the special action to take three off of one space, and Which I can take three coal yeah. off of there. Definitely. So I think that might be a good. Uh, are we sawmilling? Is is it time? We are really struggling for wood. We need some wood to build a sawmill. Yeah, yeah. we? We do. But the sawmill only needs two wood. Oh, I see. We, we don't have any wood. No. So we can't build the sawmill because we haven't got any wood. No, yeah, no. We, we need to get have, the wood and then go get the, the sawmill. But it's just, if we don't build the sawmill soon, we're never going to have any wood. <laughs> so we, I think maybe we could use the first we, one to go there. How's the technology trend? I think, oh, it's still the It's four right. away. Yeah. yeah. If we used the workshop twice, which... Could do. I mean, it's only one extra wood, so it's not. Yeah. It's not. De it's not desperate to speed that up mm. on the basis we got a lot of trees. Yeah, yeah. I mean, but we... having a sawmill in place, given that we're yeah. constantly we scrounging for wood. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I think. I mean, I suppose it doesn't matter. If, I mean, do we think we go here, then at least we've got the coal and we can start heating? I mean, I'm thinking this might be a good place for another gathering post. Yeah. There's a gathering post there. It gets that, 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 and potentially whatever this is. Yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. So, but we need the wood to build the gathering need, post. Yeah. And oh, we need a sawmill yeah. first. I mean, if we're, if we're going collecting wood, we sort of want them to be heated. The free coal from here will give us enough to make the... No, not quite, will it? No. <laughs> no, we need five coal. We need five coal to make everything... On this ring heated. Yeah. Ow. Yeah. Yeah, which is where. So, I mean, we could go kid. We could go kid there, take those, heat it. That makes the inner ring heated. Then we use another gather action here to take two coal from there, use the two coal to make everything else heated. And from that point, we're doing heated actions. How are we doing with the curing? We're not. We're not doing we don't it. have a medical facility. Not without a medical facility. No. If we can get one of them up, then great. <laughs> then I can do cures and cures. You know, multiple cures. I mean, we've got the steam core. We we could be building, you know, a hot house or an infirmary. But, but, need but we need the wood. Hmm. I I think we definitely need a sawmill at this turn, yeah, or we, we're we going to just slowly build, hinder ourselves we're with no wood. wood. So we build the sawmill, and then we use the sawmill, and that destroys an adjacent tree and gets three wood. So it destroys a tree on the tile yeah. and gets three wood. If it's upgraded... Or, do we need steam port upgrade sawmill? Or no. 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 We need to use its own wood that it harvests. Which is fine. Yeah. But, but we, we don't can need do to that yet. If we build because, the sawmill yeah. here. Yeah. Oh, because that's where the sawmill was going. Yeah. Not the gathering post. Yeah. Yeah. And then for the next two turns, those trees, then we upgrade it and then it can start taking these. Yeah. Yeah. I still don't think that's going to be enough wood. Three wood a turn yeah. is... And then it's better than two wood an action. Mm -hmm. I mean, the alternative, I suppose, is to 
put it down and then try and get this technology on and then that that's gives it. us four I, I could get that take this too but then that's just going to be one extra wood and and then i suppose we're yeah gonna, one wood are we going to take a chance on what comes out of there the stress where cubes. are you pointing the stress cubes oh that? yeah yeah there's that as well because well that depends how much you're going to heat the generator how, there's, there is, how much is in there at the minute one one there's one in there. so if we put only two in you're fine. We're safe for another turn, and then we can use a steam core to whack out the whole lot next turn. But we are going to get a lot of sickness. Because mm -hmm. putting only two in will not heat any of our heads. We need to put three in. That's the concern. And if we put three in, we might then just cross our fingers and hope that only three of the four come out. Yeah. Mm. I, I mean, some of the, I mean, it's only the engineer that's got a chance of dying here because the other two haven't yet gone into this bracket for flipping it to a gravely ill. No. What's the process? And if, if we dies? manage to get one of those out, we can sort that problem. So if, if somebody dies, yeah. the sickness marker goes down by one. The population yeah. marker goes down by one. Yeah. And a corpse marker. We, corpse the marker. corpse marker goes up by one. We all then have an opportunity to play uh, any card from hand or yeah, one I... matching. Oh, and that's a match. good question. I, I think know. it's matching because I think it's matching because earlier on I was thinking, oh, it had to be the same. But yeah. no, I think it's matching. For and if this. you play a matching card from hand, you get the death effect of it. If nobody plays a card, we get a random it, citizen it, and we get a random death. It effect. must be any card from hand, mustn't it? Because otherwise they wouldn't have the three different options on the bottom. True, logically. All right. Yeah. Oh yeah, it just depends which one's going. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, because it can be revealed randomly. Oh, of okay, course, well, yes, good shout. Yeah, yeah I, I thought it had to match because you might be because right. originally I was thinking it had to match for you to play the special action, but that was not the case. That's so I know I read it somewhere. Better if it matches. She's saying that it's not on my thing. All right, here we go. Uh, da, da, da. Yeah, it should be on your thing. Hopefully. When the citizen dies, do this. Draw a citizen. Draw a citizen. Of the same type as the citizen who just died. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It has to match. So it will probably end up drawing yeah. one random. Instead of drawing a citizen guard, any player may discard a card matching that type. Yeah. Right. So if not, we draw one randomly, and it's normally something like lose, exhaust, care, exhaust justice, exhaust motivation. Yeah. I think the sickness is starting to become a problem. The sickness so is probably a problem. I'm tempted. I mean, if, I mean, if we're able to flip those things, we, the we health can... advisor can cure a couple there. Yeah. And the building can heal. That can cure three of one type. That can even activate so, care again. One of the so, things that I <laughs> mentioned last round is if we enact new faith as a law, mm. then as soon as it does, we activate one of each type of hope. And when it comes in, we unlock all of the faith buildings. Mm. And we can start building the field kitchen, the cemetery, the temple and the faith keepers. But the point is, when it comes into play, yeah, get we get three the... hope that we can then start using. Definitely worth doing. Mm. We have what? Well, for next round, for yeah, and... all sorts of things next yeah. round. Oh yeah, I mean, I'm definitely up for getting the faith law in this round at some point. Yeah, because that's already passed. And we get a free field kitchen. Did I see? Do we mm, get a free field? Is it free or places you can build it? Uh, they are free to build. Free to build. Yeah, field okay. kitchens are free to build. And what does a field kitchen? A field do? kitchen uh, is built on a tile. Mm -hmm. It cannot be built on the generator tile, and it means any action on that tile counts as heated. Oh yeah, and if there's a shelter next to it, it's auto the shelter. I think the shelter counts as being heated as well. Which might have you, I mean the fact that it's free to build would make if we're intending to build one of these at some point mm. more do we do because you can say, right, we've only got enough wood to build one of them. Well, it's so exciting. I'm kitchen. gonna have to take a short break. I'll let I'll let you uh who's whose go is it first? It's Luke's go. So feel free to start oh, without great. me. <laughs> I kind of, I almost think part of the main decision is is how much coal are we going to get and what are we going to try and yeah. get up here? And if so, are we going to take a risk on the generator or are we going to fix the generator? <laughs> what happens when the generator blows up the first time? Uh, the first time it overheats and I think like the cold marker goes up again and bits like that. But yeah. it's when it blows up the second, second time that yeah. you're screwed. I think we probably should fix the generator. Yeah. I mean, yeah. we don't desperately need the infirmary. Because it takes a lot of wood and a whole steam core. A medical post is not bad by itself, even though it's not heated well. Although it could be upgraded to be four and one. So as near as makes no difference to a normal infirmary. Mm. And the medical post infirmary makes no difference for these cards. Yeah. So if it's easier to build the medical post along with whatever else we're building, like sawmills and stuff like that, mm -hmm. perhaps use the steam core then, therefore, to clear the generator. Mm. Because then we wouldn't need it for anyone else. But if we're if we're planning on using coal, 
We might as well well go get to some gathering fun. first. Yes, it's just whether yeah, you're doing yeah. it by a post or using your funky card or whatever. So yeah, I probably and it'll make the, it'll move the kids up to the sick, which isn't great, but I still think probably the best option is to go here. Yeah, the likelihood of these two not yeah. entering this category yeah. is pretty low unless we get a medical so that. So <laughs> going to pick us up. And I'm, I'm going to use this for the gathering yeah. post form this action is on or, or take up to three resources from one adjacent space. So right. I'm going to clear that out. Okay. We right. might as well chuck those and generate those away. Free so, yeah. coal into the generator. Yeah. Yeah. The, the, and that is discarded. Yeah, the, the potential suggestion is forget infirmary and consider medical boats instead, because an upgraded medical boat can treat one person mm. as and the infirmary is two, but also requires half the wood and no steam core, which okay. then frees your steam core to wipe your generator clean. So was that Luke's first action? Effectively, yes. Yeah, oh, yeah. It was sort of <laughs> sort of Right. Group oh, discussion, oh, oh, but yeah. Oh, hang on, no, it couldn't have been Luke's action. Okay, oh, you're saying you it has to be mine. Action, my action yes. is the card. What's okay, it? all right, right. So, first yeah. things so first. rather than rather than. So that didn't happen first. No, okay. I mean it will happen next. I think. Okay. So maybe yeah. we don't take it all back. We just remember so this before action. Before that, Luke is Luke's first going first. where nothing is heated. I mean, if nothing is heated, you might as well grab some wood because we're desperate for it. Yeah, maybe use it just a worker to go here something and grab that yeah. wood yeah with this wood we need it so a worker goes there gets sick yeah i mean they're, they're gonna be in this box regardless yeah. that's gets not the, gonna happen the two unless ones. unless we get the medical piece, just thinking, some, it's because gonna now that we've got the coal oh yeah that's we haven't used enough, it yet, yeah. yeah so and, that is, yeah. is that all the coal got yeah yeah well, so that got... three coal was literally just to, to put it to get yeah. us here okay yeah which is, yeah. Be which is better than two now. more from there oh actually yeah no instead because that's that the center tile is heated yeah, but he can't do that because it was his go first. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah I remember that. Yeah. yeah. So, so I'm not comfortable with putting three cubes in there. Although three cubes in there, are we saying that there's one in there? Yes. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm, I'm well, not comfortable. Well, that was why we were thinking... Because if that blows up, you'll blame me. Well, that's... Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So but, I mean, that's to... why we were I mean, thinking if we're doing that rather than that, it saves the steam core to wipe your generator clean. So three... Or I just go here and clear five. Yeah, if you like. If you've got the spare work. That's what I want to do. Okay. Okay. So I'm doing it. Engineer, is it? Engineer on there. Yeah. It's heated because it's red. Mm -hmm. Remove five cubes. We're safe. Done. <laughs> I've already drunk it. Um, what do you think? This I know. How many friendly. more actions have we got left? Uh, so we have got one child, two engineer, and three workers. Okay. So remember that we need to make sure that child is available mm -hmm. with the correct amount of food when it's my next turn. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Um, so for this turn, I will enact a law. Go ahead. So engineer uh, on the generator tile, so yeah. it's heated. It's heated. Yeah. And are we doing the new faith? Yeah, I think we have to. Okay. Yeah, we need to read the flavour. Okay, new faith. So activate one hope of each type. Yay. Go All that hope. Right, where's that social Here's where card? the game turns around for us. With the introduction of the new faith, all who voice doubts will be branded enemies of the faith. <laughs> Everyone must be devoted to the survival of our cause. All those who do not follow will be swept aside. <laughs> Unlock all faith buildings. So we can now build the field kitchen for nothing, the cemetery for one wood, temple for three wood, and faith keepers for three wood. Okay. Now there's several food kitchens down. Yeah, just stick them all there. You, oh wow, so we can yeah. have lots of food. Kitchens. Yeah. I mean, they don't do much, but it's all. So good. field kitchens are free. <laughs> Cemetery. Yeah, do you want to put them in order? Cemeteries are one wood. And then temples and faith keepers are three wood. How about these somewhere else? You wouldn't. So sorry, Paul. Cemeteries are. Cemeteries are three. The yeah. faith keepers are three. Slightly awkward. Yeah. Uh, cemeteries are one. So cemeteries are one and temples are... Sorry, temples are three. Yeah. Right. There you go. Right. Okay. Yeah, and do we know what they all do? Uh, well, field kitchen, as you said, heats the tile that's on or something. Yeah. Um, the cemetery, one to two corpse marker and... Move nine. the corpse marker backwards one to two spaces on the corpse track. If you do, increase hope. Okay. So is that as it's built? No, when, when, when you, you use oh, it. Oh, when you use it. Right. Temple, activate. Activate all ones. hope tokens of one type. Oh, yeah, okay. that's, yeah, but one type. And so, faith keepers yeah. is reveal three dusk cards. You may choose one to place on the dusk discard pile without carrying out its effect. Place the other two dusk cards back in the dusk mm -hmm. deck and shuffle the dusk deck. Mm -hmm. 
None of them are particularly essential right now, but if you've got spare actions on the construct, then sticking field kitchens that could be, yeah, could be yeah, field yeah. kitchens. Any any action or building yeah. on the same tile uh, as the field kitchen is considered heated. Mm -hmm. Also, any building that provides shelter on the same tile is considered yeah. heated. If we're spending wood, it's medical or sawmill, yeah. or both. <laughs> one way or the other. Right, who goes up? Uh, so that was Andy's. That was Andy's. Yeah. yeah. And, and one of us has to do a hunter's hut action before it gets back yeah, around. Because you yeah. need how much family food, Andy? I need just three more. So okay. activate the big one that's heated already, the yeah. red one or something. You've got five yeah, more. Yeah, red one is heated. So, so right. one of us that's just needs... Easy. Well, I'll tell you what, let me just do that one nice and easy then. Yep. Because yeah. if you've got until, no card to use, then you Until you build well. a medical facility, no. Sorry. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so, so work around the hunter's hut, get five mm. food. Do, right, easy. Well, one, two, three, four, five. You have your... <laughs> you you have here enough to incentivize a child. Right. I'll tell you what, because that's going to be the big thing. That's my turn. So, I could go and build now. We've got enough for a sawmill. Um, and then we could put some food kitchens down. I could do a gather action to get some more wood. And then what you're thinking, Paul could put a sawmill and a gathering post down. Or yeah. Something? Well, is there a good place for a gathering post? Or right? a sawmill and an infirmary. Or, uh, sorry, a medical post. Because we've got lots of cards which yes. use medical posts which cure. If sawmill and medical yeah. post, that would be great. So that's what I'm... So I think if I go with this guy here and clear out this space... Uh, that is cold. Oh, okay. I think it might be worth it anyway. Um, yeah, because if, if, if Paul's going to build the medical post... Uh, we're going to be able to use it with his bonus cards. Yeah, I mean, we won't be able to this turn, so we're going to take a bit well, of a hit. We've got three turn. other actions left, so Paul, me, and then we have one left. So he yeah, will okay, be able to play, so it will come back round to him, yeah. yeah. Yes. Yeah, okay. So I think I think it's maybe worth getting the... There's nowhere else I can get two wood, and yeah. I think it's worth getting the sickness to take the second wood to allow okay. us to build. So we get a sick worker. And we're saying then on my go, yeah, I use the worker to construct. Yeah, unless what what do we need to leave spare for him to do? Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, he would like a worker to use a building a medical post or infirmary to cure three of one type of citizen. I guess. Okay. So I use the engineer. So you use the engineer. Engineer yeah. to construct. What does the medical post do normally? Is it a cure? Cure three. three. Cure three. Yeah. Pop it on the construct action. Yeah, how is that any different? So isn't that the same? A oh, medical post does it normally need an engineer then, or something? Uh, yeah, medical post normally needs an engineer. Oh, okay. So, so it's not a make any benefit no. of having that. So, so the... we might as well use the worker. Yeah. Yeah. And, and then just use the engineer to use the medical post yeah. normally. So it's, yeah. it's 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 fine going forward. Save the car. Yeah, it makes yeah. yeah. So you're using build action. Yeah. So what we've got four wood. Yeah. And we're thinking. We're medical post for two, sawmill for two, sawmill medical for two. post for two, and potentially a field kitchen. Oh, because I get three, I get three actions, don't I? Yes, yeah, yeah. We might as well. What? So how much of wood have we got? Uh, we've got four. Four wood. So where, where am I going to put the field kitchen? Um. Well, so the sawmill is definitely going here, isn't it? We can put sawmills going there. That's that's two wood out of the way. Uh, where was that tent? Oh, no, I can't see. We don't no. really have a good spot for the field kitchen, do we? No, I mean, I suppose potentially... Um, we could build on an empty space. If, 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 if there's going to be something else added here yeah, later, yeah. then yes. We might as well just put the field kitchen. Yeah, we might as well. Yeah, I think... Or do we put the field... Oh, no, because this is... This gathering post is now useless. Yeah. Yeah. I can't dismantle it because it's been used this turn. Yeah. But... It might become not useless if we expand right yeah. here. Yeah, but... Right. Or unless, yeah, do we put it there, and then if we're thinking it's useless, we do a dismantle. Do a dismantle. We probably won't have anything there. Okay. Three builds anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Put there, and then the medical post uh, here. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's as good a spot as any, isn't yeah. it? Okay. Unless you want to stick the field kitchen here and wipe out that wood. Just mm -hmm. that the medical post can be used. Yeah, so it doesn't say. So it's and then we could use it this round without getting. Okay. Yeah. 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 One so scrap that wood. Yeah. Because one wood isn't. Field 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 field. So that's dead. Oh, sweet. So we need some new buildings. Uh, oh. The field kitchen is on the side. This thing. Nope. There's, there's four of them. Me, yeah. They say on the bottom. Pit. <laughs> I've been said. Didn't we? Field kitchen. Okay. We need a medical post. 
Aye. And we need a sawmill. Oh, we've got all, both of them. Happy days. We had enough wood. That's... Right, enough that wood? was the three. Well, that was the three. Yeah. yeah, so that used the other two wood. Yes. Same so the peel kitchen's are approved. Right. Yeah. So I will send Monty yeah, yeah, yeah. Ozone off to the cookhouse where he will spend 12 to name to mm -hmm. by 18 points. Excellent. So we spend 12 food. Hunger goes down by 18. Nice. You are now forgiven for your <laughs> bread misdealings. <laughs> Very nice. Okay. Okay. Next. And uh, we're. Oh. We so while you were gone, Luke, we got an engineer and yeah. we've got the medical post. Yeah, so we, yeah, we were thinking, yeah. so you could use that, but also we got a sawmill. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Although it's not heated. Is Although it? we don't no. need the wood the second, and yeah. if it's with our last meeple, that wood doesn't really. Whereas do the anything. medical post is heated because yeah. of the field kitchen. Yeah, yeah, and it's neat. <laughs> Although are you were about to tell me that all we've got is a engineer. an engineer. Yeah. yeah. Oh wait, no, it doesn't have to match. No, it does. Yeah, it does. Yeah, but your, we we had a quick look, and your worker one just is basically the same action, but it can be done with a worker rather than yeah. uh, an engineer. Oh yeah, yeah. 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 So cure three. Right, who's going to get sick then? Uh, so I <laughs> think, don't, we... does it have to be the same type? I don't no, think no, it does. No. So with your card, it does. With the card, it does. But yeah. I'm curious who's getting well, sick. You, you want to move that engineer? Oh yeah. We're... I the engineer's got to go, go, the engineer's yeah. got to go back for one period, but like and, I say, I want to, no, I and, want to and, know, yeah. so, I don't want to do it piecemeal. Well, we'll they're all going to go up by one, so yeah. you need to... Engineer back by two if we want yeah, to avoid it flipping and two. dying. Yeah. Child back by one, I yeah. think. Yeah. That's as good as we're going to get, yeah. We either, yeah, we either save an engineer... Oh, wait, no, it doesn't yeah. work yeah. Or we let an engineer die and stop a child going gravely ill. Is Better that to option? have a sick child, I think. Yeah, what a great yeah. Leal child. Yeah. Yeah. It's fine, buddy. It's it. That sickness is starting to... Yeah. Starting to starting creep in. But so we, we've finally got a... We've got that now. Yeah. We, we have that now. We've got, we got cure we icons. Have care. And we can start upgrading these things. Yeah. yeah. We have care. So we have these. Have does, the, does the medical post let you do spend any hope? Or is it the other one? No. no it's the other one. No. It's the care home. Yeah. It's the care home. But an upgraded medical post will let you do four cure or... Treat. Or that, treat. And your your advisor lets you do things. What does the care house cost to build? Two wood. two wood. But it needs the law. But it needs, yeah, it needs yeah. the law. Um, yeah, health advisor can cure two. This can reactivate care. This can cure three of another type. So, I mean, yeah, now that you've got the medical post facility out, I can actually focus on the sickness part of things. Yeah. Action phase done? Hmm. Yes. Dusk phase. No dusk effects in play. So we shuffle nope. the dusk deck. Yet. <laughs> see what we get. Go on, bring that social dispute card out. Yeah. Not, that, not that I want to see parents' yeah. rights. We come need, out again, we need but... a nice one this time, and I'll let Andy do it. He hasn't picked ooh, yet. Ooh, let's mm. go for number three. That's not social. Dispute. The inevitable. Right. So <laughs> that's a sad. Yeah. On there. <laughs> this. Oh. This is this is the card which is your initial card. This this is the card which starts off your dusk deck in every game you play. Uh oh. And it will happen <laughs> now and again. Um, and it will get shuffled. It will then go to the discard pile. Mm. So, every day mm. we fight a bitter struggle against hunger, cold, and disease. There will be losses. Flip every <laughs> sickness marker on its skull side to its syringe side. For each corpse, you gain one sick citizen. So, so we tried right. to save him, but no. So, first thing is, flip every sickness marker on its yeah. skull side to the syringe side. The which means that engineer flips from the skull side to the syringe side. So, we have our yeah. first death. Mm. So what happens is, uh, yeah, yeah. We, that sickness marker moves back one because that citizen yeah. who was sick has yeah. now died, which, which means thing. the population marker moves back one. Mm -hmm. And then which thankfully doesn't make too much difference players to have the part. opportunity, if they want to, to discard a card from their hand that matches the citizen that just mm -hmm. died. So I have one, mm -hmm. and if I discard this, we will lose one hope. Was this? I the... don't think it matters too much. Was this the one where I had to match? I think it does because if we draw one at random, we're going to get an exhaust one of these and lose a hope. Oh, okay. and this is the card oh, okay. I keep looking oh, at and not using. Yeah, so we so okay. do want to use one. Then in that case, so yeah. And if we don't do this, we it's a random yeah. card, and then yeah. you get the death effect. So I'm just going to show you this. This this is the card that I've got, and you can see down at the bottom these are the death effects. So because an engineer has died, I can choose to discard this card because it is an engineer and we get this death effect here 
That is that is quite good though. You could Which use is a, minus you could one use hope. A sawmill twice. That would solve our wood problem. Just throwing it out there. Yes. Yeah, okay, so you're but suggesting I don't. We, so what that. what happens if we don't discard? We get a random. It, is it literally? It's just, it's just a random. It's just a random, random and it just happens to be whatever yeah. on the thing. If it's not yeah. an engineer, it's probably going to have exhaust one of these and lose a hope. Yeah. Yes, because uh, the right. charts I've got activate stuff and lose a hope and yeah. the, the worker exhausts care of minus one hope. They're all okay. minus one hope. So it's so it might be okay. So what do we yeah. think? Um, I mean, we've managed to get a lot of our buildings out. Well, we got the, we? well getting the medical boats and the sawmill out was a big deal. Yeah, a double use on that sawmill could be really, really hard. Yeah, okay. Espe especially I'm going to keep the card. Especially if we get that tech up. I want to get that tech up this round. In that case, that could be like a gamble. Then I guess. So Should we, we get a gamble? random citizen card. What's printed on the bottom? Please be an engineer. It's not. Oh, you got rid of that, didn't we? Um, it is minus one hope as always, but activate apathy, which is long gone. Oh, that's, that's good. Okay. Oh. And if we can't activate apathy, we don't. Yeah. No. Yeah. So which hope would we like to no. lose? Well, the one that's exhausted, yeah. <laughs> as much as I hate losing care, it's exhausted. I mean, but, but we wouldn't lose the token, would we? We would just flip it. Yeah, yeah. if we lose, yeah. we'd flip the other one. Yeah, if, we could flip it rather than... But I think that's probably uh, better. So we, okay. I don't think we have anything it's, that It's probably better. I mean, I've got one. I've got something that can activate care or motivation, but I mean... That's fine. I'm, I'm, you're going to lose one anyway. Yeah. And I'd rather use care then activate the same care with the yeah. card and then just jump okay. one token. so that was the first effect of the inevitable which was flip every sickness marker oh, sorry. that was yeah. on its skull side yeah. to its strange side there was only the one yeah. only but one. now for each corpse you have gain a six oh yeah and we gain a corpse yeah. so we now gain two six citizens of our choice yeah i think i think well the engineer can stand to have another one at least yeah. well the, the so workers is going to flip anyway so I'm I'm thinking one engineer and one worker. Yeah, I'm in agreement. Yeah, I don't want the kid to move yet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Right. So that yeah. is the dusk phase yeah. done, mm -hmm. and that inevitable card is in the discard pile. Yeah. Yeah. Death, yeah. Death has solved the engineer grave ill problem. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God right. Damn it. <laughs> we need, we need to sort out the hunger. There is no hunger. By some weird means, don't yeah. ask me what the bread kid did. But <laughs> eight citizens for the current round. We have to feed the kids. There's eleven kids. Yeah. There's eleven kids. There is two food. Two so food. we'd. Spend the food and we've got nine hunger. It's not too bad. Well, it's better than 18 hunger. <laughs> so. Right. Night phase. So, Meeple's come home. Eh. Now, what's heated? Eh. Not a lot. Not much. Okay. These two tents are heated. And that's it. Not even the bunkhouse. No. no. The bunkhouse is orange. We needed one more coal. Ah, but then the bunkhouse is on the general. Oh no, I'm thinking the cookhouse. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh dear. So, was well, a good thing we got a medical person. <laughs> well, okay, saying no. Now. Wait, someone else died. I don't think they did. I think that was only one person died. Okay. Yeah. Um. So unfortunately, oh, it's, it's because you were originally going to put in your character, and we had a different character from here. That's what he's doing. <laughs> right. So only space for four people. Yeah. Warm beds for four people. Yeah. So the sickness um, is going to rock it. Blanket. Do we want to <laughs> let? Do we start? What happens if we do that? Well, free workers will. We uh, we, we want yeah. spent worker and flip. Yeah, no, 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 no. I'm talking about guys. I'm talking about heating these guys. Oh, heating these guys. Well, we can afford so to we have wanna, two. We want to have at least care. one of them well, heated. But we still got this to resolve as well. Oh Christ! Uh, yeah. So what? Yeah. Does that does that happen? Yeah, we and then first. we look at the. Uh, no, the sickness. Ha um, yes. So that happens first. Then we look at what happens. Yep. Right. Okay. So it's one each regardless. So it's going to be one of each because of this. Yeah. One, Nothing we can two, do about that. Three. Right. Yeah. Okay. But don't, no, don't do that yet. <laughs> That's what I was getting at. <laughs> so we, we could save the engineers then if we really wanted to. Because they're going to go up by one, but they don't have to go up that, by two. That, that's an unused... Uh, spent work, spent work, spent work. Spent work. Yeah. Okay. So that's that's not the end of. So the give world. the engineers somewhere to. Well, we need all the workers we can get. I think at this point. So if we we could do all three engineers, and then nothing happens to them. And but then if we do one of these, because they'll they still that. they're still going to lose so the action. Well a kid. So we could do a kid. Right. That's one way of doing it. The alternative is. I feel like we need every single. Man on to do, do. Yeah, if we want to save a worker, we need to. You do all three workers, no, two workers, and yeah, two kids, and then that means 
Which I mean, means you're you're everyone's in that middle one where they get flipped. But then the Cure yeah. 3 can flip all of them back, can't it? No, no. no. Cure can't flip. One. Cure doesn't flip, yeah, but, but it will, flip. yeah, but it will get them back down to here. What, so they what the, there is a building of some sort that can Yeah, so the, the upgraded treat. medical perm can treat one. Treat one. one. Okay. And the infirmary two. But yeah. like I say, treating's not easy. Yeah. People well, die. That's why there's a 10 on the Do we think that to flip a load and keep our actions? Yes. Yeah. So three seconds. I've got a bad thing. We're just going to have to let people die. Uh oh. Why do you keep missing people? <laughs> oh, right. No, it's, it's my people. job. It's my job to put them back, so it's my fault. Okay. <laughs> you keep so leaving people out. I think in that case, do we save the engineers? Yeah, <laughs> save the and engineers. The How many workers were there? Five. So if we go one, two, three, four. Yeah, now we're five. like, just screw the crew. Well, if we save four workers, we'd still, we'd still be okay. Well, okay. I mean, that's no. a big bracket for them to be. One in. worker would go up, and then one worker. So if we say it from that. four workers, we yeah. a lot of those, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay, yeah, and that keeps all our actions. So one, three, yeah. and three. three. And then you fix your thing, or do I flip Not yet, not yet. Mm -hmm. So that's the night phase done. Yeah. We <laughs> don't have enough homes for these people. Right, next round. Dawn and phase. There's a storm coming. <laughs> Dawn. Alan, you are the leader. Okay, so we move the round marker on one. You get the leadership marker, pass the round marker, resolve development and scenario trigger tokens. None have occurred. But the storm, the storm is almost here. Yeah, which means we lose our temp. Joy. Oh, right. Morning phase. <laughs> yeah. But it's okay because we support Kaboon. <laughs> <laughs> wooden toys. It was sporadic at first, but now everyone has noticed. A lot of children have wooden toys carved by an elderly man who isn't able to work anymore. It could be seen as a waste of wood, but it is heartwarming to see them smile again. Option number one. This man is really talented. We should give him more wood and ask him to prepare more toys and decorations for our citizens. Mm. Yeah. 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 We, are, we have no wood. Yeah. If we think about something else. We place this card in the event display, add D053 to the dusk deck, and every time we perform this action, take one or more wood from the supply and place it on this card. So there's a special action on yeah. the card. Uh, we can neither afford the action nor the wood. No. Yeah. Option number two. Children can guy. play with their toys, but we need to talk to this man about wasting wood. Plus yes. one discontent. Option number three. I think you'd like this one. Mm -hmm. Confiscate the toys <laughs> and the wood. This is survival, not fun. <laughs> plus one apathy, which we can manipulate so that we can only get a token. And plus two wood. Mm. Kids, we got to survive. Because we've got the public council. Like, yeah, I'm tempted yeah. to do that one. I, I say we go with that. And does that not add a card in either? Nope. I think, um, I think that's the, the thing one. The thing is, it says when you increase hope and discontent, you can choose. But mm. what if it gives you one specific? Then you'd pick a random one first, which yeah. is the part we choose. And then yeah. we would activate one of that type if yeah. it's available. However, we probably will choose not to pick one of that type. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Agreed. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I think so. So this is one of the while we're touching on this, um, this is one of the slightly confusing things in the game is that whenever you gain a particular type of hope or discontent, what you do is you still draw a random one out of the bag, and then if you have an exhausted token of that type, it then activates. So it actually counts. You might not get it. So for example, this says plus one apathy. What we would do is we would take a token out of the bag at random, put it on the track. And then if we have an exhausted apathy, we would then activate an apathy. As it is, because we've got the public council, we can choose to take a token out of the bag. And we choose not to take apathy, which means it doesn't activate. So, yeah, we just get what we have in anger or greed. Greed or anger? What do you fancy? We've already, got, got, we've already got greed. Yeah. Got got a bit of greed. Is it good I, or bad? I, I, I think stacking greed. I like the sound of stacking the same. We have, we have greedy. That, greed, that really that greed. One, one event that, yeah, yeah hopefully it, no we, it, it, greed. It, it, the distrust um thing it could come out as a bad one but it's not the one in there at the moment yeah. so i think okay, we go with stack let's stack the greed and, and we gain two wood um, the card is discarded we've confiscated his toys <laughs> it's like look at the kids playing with their toy uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> stupid toys we need the ones. <laughs> right see there's a little tray <laughs> in the generator it goes <laughs> so that's the morning phase generator oh, phase fuel I'm generator <laughs> The toys were heartwarming, but we're more worried about actual warming. Yeah, I was say, they were very warming. So, <laughs> generator phase. Yeah. Fuel the generator. No, gain six citizens. So we get one of each type. Even with those toys. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm then going to put three coal in. So one, two, three go in. 
sounded like a lot for me. Three, you come out. Mm. Ready for fixing again. Highly efficient. Okay. Yeah, not for a bit yet. Um, right, weather phase. Okay, so we have cold moves up by one. Yellow marker moves up by one. We gain food for the hunter's huts. So that's four. We gain two movement points. Ooh. I'm tempted to say we stop this time. I think so. Let's just have a look at this. The only downside of that is, do we need more people? <laughs> well, I, I, I'm I mean, just going to get sick. I, I'm tempted <laughs> to stop it, too. It, 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 we get the coal. the coal and whatever is. I mean, so it's more. Oh, people, we get the coal as well. Right? So yeah. we're going to choose to explore that. I think so. Yeah. It'll yeah. replace our people. So what we do going. is we set the <laughs> scale to one <laughs> side. Yeah. We take the card, yeah. we flip it over. We I suppose that means we could then stick some dude on this one. Yeah. And get going on it. Yeah. Okay, so we take the card, we flip it over. Yeah. Do you want to read the flavour? Uh, oh, that is a lot of flavour. Right, a lot of flavour. Campsite, white lies. Three men were quickly walking away from a snow hut settlement. They said they knew how to build and repair steam engines and that they'd love to join us if we'd have them. When asked about the village below, they said we would only find illness and the ramblings of old people. Three men said their family name was Dalton. Should we leave the people in the village to an uncertain fate? So we have choices. Now, the icons here, there's two different types of icons. You can either see an arrow like that, which is the return icon, mm -hmm. or there can be an arrow, which is, I think, a blue arrow pointing right, which is the continue. So whichever choice we choose, we are returning home afterwards. Yeah. So our two choices are we gain three engineers, which gets us another engineer, mm -hmm. or who trust a Dalton, <laughs> help them all, we gain one hope, we gain five engineers, but we gain one sick mm. engineer and increase hunger by three. Having, I mean, there's already enough sickness as it is. Mm. Also, if we don't increase hunger anymore, one trip to that uh, hunter's hut feeds us this round. Mm. But then, oh, oh, get, sorry, gets us up to the hunter marker. Who are we feeding this round? Uh, engineers. We're then going to need another 12 on top. So the, the extra engineers doesn't get us a bonus engineer, but it does protect us against, you know, if we take three, mm. we get a bonus one, but then we could easily lose a meter. Which we we'll probably will lose, because then we'd have yeah. to feed three more of them. Um, or five more of them, even. I, mean. I suppose the question is, do we want the extra hope? That's, that's what it, it would be nice to. if there was a reason that I, we had this much hope in the first place, other than just your card that I, hasn't come out I kind of think free hunger for the sake of a... a plus one hope is good. I think so. Yeah, I think so. I, I, I think we take all the five engineers, one sick engineer. Yeah. So we're going to we're gonna help them three. all. We're going to bring the whole village back with us. We're going to say, yeah. screw you, Dalton. Yeah. So all right, get, cool. gain all one hope, which sure. again, would, would, would normally be random, but we can choose. What should we have? Care. 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 Yeah, care, care. We gain we five care. engineers, oh, one no. sick engineer, Long. and increase hunger by three. So, am I right in thinking that, that we return, Yeah. but then what happens with these cards? Uh, so they both stay there, is that right? I believe so. I will run through the check process. Your yeah. Yeah. So if it's got a return icon on it... If B or C is shown below the arrow, yeah. the chosen return option, follow these steps. Take an expedition card from the deck that corresponds to the letter depicted. So C, yeah. Come on. Um, yeah, white side up. Flip all cards in the expedition stack back to their white side yeah. and stack them so the first space of each card is visible. Place the set-aside card so that it covers most of the previous expedition card, yep. leaving the first space visible. Yep. And that's our new... But this now comes home. Yes, yep. And we get it along with the two coal. The two coal that we got as the so bonus. So we've got that. So basically, this is now further away. Yeah. So yeah, you start on holiday. We never want to yeah. be doing this proper one anyway. We don't. Don't we, so. So it's all well and good. You've come back. That's another person that um, he can forget. And the to storm bring marker the <laughs> moves two spaces towards us. Ooh, if the storm marker is on or before our space, the storm hits. Ooh, okay, so we have a specific storm card for this particular scenario. A storm card, a new home, and here we go. So storm. If it is round seven or earlier, it is. Go to one. We are hit by heavy snowfall. Flip all tents to their ruin side either on the map or on the buildings board. And then we place the storm marker on round 12. And then when the second storm hits, something else happens. So these are now ruins. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to remove these. Mm -hmm. 
just because they are yeah. no longer they're no longer tents. Um, yeah, so we, we can't use those. No. Unless there is a specific law in place that allows us to use them. So suddenly we've got one bunkhouse is the only place where people can sleep. Yeah. yeah. Just in case we need a fourth law that yeah. might involve sleeping in ruins. Yeah. Or uh, one. Yes. Oh, we do. Yeah. Oh, okay. Is that, one, is that one of the double ones, or is that a there's a sleeping in ruins one? and there's a crowded shelter one, both of which might be worth considering. Uh, uh, so we have crowded quarters. If we choose to implement that, we gain an anger, but we which can manipulate. We can huh? manipulate, and that gives each heated shelter one additional sleeping slot. So that could be a quick way to get our sleeping capacity up. It should be that we do something like spam wood and build houses or something. Yeah. yeah. And then well, can we build more tents now? Or are they, you know, no, they no, it's their flick on the board yeah, as well. Even that one is Even yeah, that one's yeah. true. Tents just become So useless. we need to build some, probably some houses or bunk houses. Yeah. Or yeah. makeshift shelters. Um, each of your ruins counts as a shelter. If heated, it provides one sleeping slot. Which is one. not much, but it's, if heated, yeah. it's better than nothing. And obviously, it, it's they're having up, to dismantle. To up to, yeah. yeah. So that's the weather phase done. <laughs> Next is the preparation phase. We choose an advisor. Now, at this point, we actually have all of yeah, the uh, yeah, we've got lots things. Of from. So we mine have... can remove three stress cubes if we exhaust any of them. Yeah. Uh, mine can allow me to um, manipulate the dust cards. We choose one to go on the discard pile and put the other two back on the dust deck. Mm, I, I think remember those. Well, I mean, we really yeah. want the social. We we kind of spent a lot of time building a nice-ish one, and then all the rubbish ones have come out. Mm. Um, well, at least that means we're there for good stuff. Health advice, a cure too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We I need think... the cure because I can reactivate care as well. Yeah, so I think that's. <laughs> I think we go Take health, health advisor. advisor. So health yeah. advisor, and you get to use your ability to cure two. Kids, I think. Lot. Yeah, kids. Yeah. It's more painful if they die. Yeah. Right. Is that okay. in game or are you just saying yeah. that? <laughs> and now we resolve the sickness marker effect. So from left to right, mm -hmm. we flip the kids. So one of the kids is gravely ill, one of the engineers is gravely ill, and one of the workers is gravely ill. Yeah. So we want that. We want dead, those dead, kids dead. Back. <laughs> Yeah, well, I'll work on that. <laughs> Action phase. So we need to adjust the number of meeples that we have. So. Oh, yes, true. We now have four blues. Oh, excellent. We still have six browns. Yep. And three kids. Perfect. And we got no spent tokens. Spent, spent so we have a lot of people, so we've a lot got, of nurses. We got oh, that, that's, that's <laughs> that's 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 We need to build a lot of shelters. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Now, so, uh, do you have the capability of spamming that sawmill? Instantly heat. Two. I think we're going to have to do it at some point, aren't we? Yeah. yeah. So, what's our overall plan for this turn? Um, Me cure lots. <laughs> cure and build shit. Sawmill. I think you need to use that double up card. I, I on can the use the sawmill mill. twice as long as you yeah. don't use the platform. Ah, okay, that's a platform action, yeah. is it? It's use a, use the platform to reuse. A a so I put the engineer ah, there. Okay. So well, we, we need to decide whether we're doubling up on the sawmill, or whether we're going to enact use the platform to enact an action, uh, a law. Sorry. Um, well, if you only use the saw, how much do you get from the sawmill? Three. 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 Unless, of course, Four. we put an engineer in the workshop and. Well, it yeah. would have to be workshop twice. Oh. We okay. do have a lot of workers this round, though. But we, well, we, there is a second workshop. You can build two workshops. It's probably a bit, mm, bit much, much to go for one can extra put, wood. Yeah. 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 I think if we could get it down this turn, that would be worth so, it. So maybe this turn, if we oh. can get the wood elsewhere, we save your double up sawmill action to when it's. Well, you advanced. say get the wood elsewhere. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah there's no, one I'm... over there and one over there. There's one here. Yeah. And, and there's one there. there. Mm. And they're both uh, pretty it's poor a bit action. Tricky. Yeah. And yeah. if you want to build any house, I mean, not even houses, you just want mm. bunk houses, which will probably destroy I mean, them. If we, the is that the sawmill or the wall drill? So, the, yeah, but we need the What can we do with the steam core? You might not get it. We've still got the steam core. I mean, we've got the hot house, we've got the infirmary. The infirmary would be awesome. Well, no, we've got that, but. Oh, I see what you mean, yeah. I think we're all right for coal. We, we've got quite a lot of yeah, coal. But the thing here. is, we don't now, have enough do wood we... to spend on those and build shelters. Yeah. So no. is shelters our objective for this time? Because otherwise we're going to get otherwise yeah. twelve places. Doesn't matter how many people like here, they're all going to die. <laughs> I mean, yeah. what? What? Um, I think we. Yeah. I think we need, and I think we need to make a decision whether we think right. Do we go for the crowded shelters or? I think our last law has probably got to be well, either well, the well, crowded don't shelters do the law, or the room. Yeah. He's doubling up on the sawmill. You can only have four laws. Maximum the entire I, game. I think we skip the law because if we can get enough wood from this double up thing, we can build a decent amount of shelters anyway. Can we really? 
at least two. So if we if he doubled up on his his sawmill, how that's thick this wood. wood. That's two bunk houses. All right, two, ha- two would houses. Would you be able, would you be able to get the technology out before you did the double up? No, no. That's that was why I was thinking we could yeah. save it for one turn, and then get the technology, get it out next that's turn, and do the double yeah. up. If if this turn we used the workshop, mm. then that would move this mm. there to there. Then in round six, the technology comes in. Then we use the thing. Yeah, but, but, we've just but seen, then we've got a whole yeah, round. We've of, just seen the after effect of what happens when you don't house the, people. The sleep in the ruins. That would Lord. be the. That would be our fourth. Does Lord. that does that do anything other than just sleep in the ruins? Is that giving us no, a hope think, or a discontent or putting a uh, possibly? Uh... Yeah, can I have a quick look at that sleep in ruins? Yeah. Me? So. Makeshift shelter. Each of your ruins counts as a shelter, and if heater provides one yeah, sleeping but slot. it does nothing to the markers. No, it doesn't move any markers. So basically, you're getting three extra slots if you heat the ruins with a law in place. Yeah, and we get two out of that if we heat up to the first spot. Yeah. Three if we heat. And two is up. the same as building a bunkhouse. Uh, sorry, two is the same as, well, a bunkhouse or a house. Mm-hmm. So enacting that law... Yeah, okay, it's a bit annoying because it uses the last of our laws, but it does get us the same amount as one of these, which would cost four wood to do. So it's a it it, it sort of are we certain it's going to be These two are already heated. On oh, uh, no, no, we need one coal to heat. We need one coal Probably to heat the generator type. Right yeah. now, the only thing that's heated because is that's the, the bit. Because that's the thing. Are we going to be able to heat that ruin? Because otherwise, we're only getting no. two slots. No, no, no. We all oh, well. Probably not, but we will be getting two sauce, which is still the same as a house. I mean, we're going to need to build more than one house. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Can we get two houses down this round? Well, only if we... I think only if if we we do do the law. If we don't do the law, you can, yes. And that gets us in the net same position. But then the houses will stick around. How does the law make a difference to whether we're... Because Paul needs to use the platform to activate his man to double use his... his But then the thing is, not only do you need to use the platform on there, you also need to get extra coal in order to heat the generator up high enough so that you can actually do the room. Yeah, I mean, the coal's not too much. There's a a good stack there. Uh, Or, you know, one out further on if... Or the two there to clear, actually, if we're going to be thick anyway. And then if we don't need to generate as much... Oh, we're going to need a coal thumper at some point, yeah. or a wall drill of some sort. <laughs> you won't wish you're going to need the sawmill to get going. <laughs> mm-hmm. I think we're a bit behind the curve. Yeah, <laughs> we, it's, I mean, we've got lots of actions this turn, but yeah, we are a little bit... We have been pushed a little bit behind. I think we're going to have to go through a round or two of pain, mm. where we get even more sickness, <laughs> loads of people die, but we need to get back on the curve. Because we are slowly yeah. falling behind in terms of how many wood. people have we got there? Uh, so we've got so many six workers, four engineers, three children, thirteen actions potentially this round. Okay. And four of them are engineers. So that I mean, that's medical post. And whose turn is it? Your so yours, mine. We want like four houses worth of insulation. Yeah. Elsewhere. I mean, I could, I could. I mean, we're going to send some people out, aren't we? We are going to. Deploy, I, I could yes. start off by using a child to do cure two. Now it does use the medical post, and it is a less efficient cure. Yeah, but it uses a child. Oh, rather than an engineer. Rather than a rather than an engineer. Um, we got four engineers. Do we really need to? Yeah, I don't know. No. Because the child, well, yeah, the child in the building activates care. So the worker in the building cures free of a type of citizen. Yeah. So I suppose for the engineer, we will go fix the generator. Enact a law slash do Paul's special thing. Uh, workshop. Medical post workshop. Do yeah. we need so to fix the generator? I mean, I'm talking worst case scenarios. Oh, right. so, Possibly yeah. not. So I think the four engineers is fine, so we don't need to use this card right. Yeah. to start with. Um, I mean, that is that is heated anyway, and we know we're definitely going to do it. As I've got oh, no special because cards, of the field kitchen. Yeah. yeah okay. Do I just go here? Yep. Medical post. So cure three. Cure three. Um, the kids. Yeah, I think so. All the kids. I I think all the kids because we're likely to have at least one kid yeah. getting sick over there. So I think all the kids. Who's eating the uh, engineers again? <laughs> right. And that's heated because there's a field kitchen there. Yeah. Right. 
That's the only nine pin you're going to use at once. So I'm going to go to the workshop. So I'm going to push that back twice. And then next I... round we'll get it. Yeah. Or could we, if we waited a round to do that, and we did it next round, we would we get it anyway? No, because we need to get it when this moves. Yeah. Yeah. Right, okay, gotcha. No, no, we would. Yeah. Or oh, do you? I, I don't think oh, did we get that wrong earlier? No, no I, th I think. I think as soon no, no, as they... Be right. Yeah, as soon as yeah, they I think, touch, I think they as long as they no, touch, you get touch, it. Yeah. So you're right, we don't need to do that this yeah, round. Yeah, yeah, we could, potentially we could do that next round. Yeah. I think... I but think... I'm thinking, what else are we going to do yeah. this round? Mm. We might... Because we've got all of them workers. Pick up some coal, explore in the snow. I mean, we, yeah. need, we need to find I, I some think, more I think somewhere. we don't need to do it now, is my okay. thought process. Okay. Maybe we well, save it till, you know, potentially do it this term, but yeah. save a bit it later on. a bit later on. All right. So food. food. I definitely need food. So yeah. I mean, hot house. or do we and do we, we send someone out to get two coal so that we can heat past... I mean, if we go here, this is a nice place to pick up some coal. Yeah, but then I was thinking we're well, that... still getting sick from there and we can clear yeah. somewhere off from that, can't we? Yeah. So we send a worker over yeah. here. The worker gets sick. That's yeah. Like one sick worker. We go there. <laughs> yeah. We take the two coal. And we plop it. One of it goes in the generator. Yeah. The other one goes in the generator. So orange buildings are now heated. As well as... Which is the sawmill, the bunkhouse, and any other bunkhouses that we build. As well yeah. as the generator tower. Okay. And well, the generator tower. I'll just send someone to the, the hunter's house because we need to do that. So a worker to the hunter's house. Hunter's mm -hmm. hut. Hunter's hut. This one. Hut, 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 hut. The red one, yeah. So what's left? <laughs> yeah. So now I suppose, do we want to try it's and explore to one, find yeah. some better? I suppose I think now we need to make the decision, don't we, about Where's what the we're going to. On... Storm mill is here. So yeah. shall I go explore the far tower next door to it? Yeah, can do. It's heated. Yeah, might as well. It's heated, and you wanted to have trees nearby. I mean, to be fair. We've got enough trees here True, for the next yeah. six rounds. Yeah. So we don't actually need so anything what, what, How many near tiles are we going to get? Put, one more do we want a second we? sawmill? Maybe one of these two? Uh, we're lucky or enough or to have... go down yeah, here I think we need to start to heading the coal. the deposits. Yeah, we're lucky enough to have one sawmill. Yeah, <laughs> let's 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 go near that coal area because we're going to go here soon. Um, does it matter what's on the tile? No. In that case, don't worry about the tile. All right, cool. Yeah, flip. Who's going? When we're fair, we don't. Yeah. Not, so it not goes kid. on the. Sorry, I should have done that. Is it? So you go in here? Yep. Oh. Got two food oh. and three coal. Go, right. Well, we're only one food off the hunger marker. So. Right. Now, I, I think. Do we need to get? We need to get a guy into here. Yes, yes. Yeah. I think <laughs> that's a universe. Deploy yeah. scouts, which is always needed. Oh, we'll do it with Dave Tattle. Oh, Dave. Oh, my mate Dave. Yeah, he'll go down there. How are you doing, Dave? And we can put two wood, two wood, two wood, two wood with him. Wood, wood. wood. Yeah, he's two on the chosen expedition. Nice. Okay, so he finds two wood as soon as he leaves. Yeah. <laughs> now. Right. Okay. Sawmill. Mm hmm Yay. So chop down three, gain three wood. So we now got five wood. So are we aiming to get eight wood this round before building? Try and get some houses down. Not yeah. unless not unless not unless you want to go to nine and get bunk houses or they're gonna be the next thing to die. Yeah, well they, they go on the next storm. Joy. Um, and I almost think when you when you're looking at two up to three, I don't know that seems two uh, three up to four. Yeah. I think it's kind of worth thinking the houses. Houses, yeah. yeah. Is there anything that will upgrade bunk houses to houses? No, no, no. no it's houses and, and the houses are so usually one of the big differences between this and the computer game. In the computer game, you can um, so we, we get resources back for deconstructing a bunk house. Nope. 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 Oh, that sucks. So we kind of I think our two choices are we either. Engineer it so that it gets back round to Paul so that he can use his man on the platform to work the sawmill again. And then the person after Paul yeah, yeah. does the build action. Or the person, we go on the platform and we enact the ruins. So we got... 
I could probably yeah. put it there. Yeah. It'd be nice to just get some houses yeah. down. I they're, think that's more gonna, of a permanent easy, solution. Easy, exactly. They're easy you, to heat. You know what happens when the next storm hits? Uh, I'm guessing the bunk, bunk houses yeah. go. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> if the tents have gone in one yeah. storm, I would imagine the storm goes up the next yeah. level. So. Yeah. Well, apparently Dave has left the settlement to go and find a bed. He's never coming back. He's ne- no, I don't blame <laughs> him. He's, he's, he's I got my, two, I got my two wooden planks, I'm good. Oh, and I you could go like, we need another sawmill somewhere. We were looking to, to get one sawmill. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, now do I build one there or... now? Or do we explore that and look at it? Because mm-hmm. it's going to take a while to get through all those anyway. I'm thinking some more exploring here might be a good thing so we can build a gathering post or here. Do we want to do this one? I know what's there. Yeah. I think this but, was a good idea. Without yeah. this, yeah. Let's, but, let's go. But then yeah. if we reveal well, that, so who's uh, who's exploring? What are you hoping to build there if you do for the bit? Well, if a sawmill there wouldn't be bad if it's got mm-hmm. trees on it and it connects to that one and potentially that one as well, because you know that one's still potentially got that space as well. If you, so, might work. Worker or engineer? Uh, we don't need three engineers, do we? I think so. Um, no. Possibly. No, no, I, I don't know. Is there any reason we would not use a worker? No, I mean, no, because we've got someone out there, yeah. Unless anyone's got a card with a worker that they really yeah. want to use, no, because no, so you've got, got a medical yeah. post. Yeah. 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 Let's see what we get. We've got three more trees and, and, and three spot. food. That was about as good as it gets because yeah. that means I don't have to care about the hunger. Three trees, and that gives us a perfect spot for a sawmill, yeah. yeah. And that was a that was a person exploring, and that's yeah. that is beautiful. Three trees and three food. Yeah, that was about the purpose. Yeah, yeah. Right, three. Do you we want to go... play that metal bit? Yeah. yeah. But we don't want the constructors just because we need a few more. Well, because it's only the sawmill you want to build. Don't you? Well, no, well, we haven't got enough. How many? What is it to build a sawmill? Two. Two. Well, we, four, we could build so. two sawmills. <laughs> All right, look. No, Calm down with the sawmill bit. <laughs> Solve our wood problems forever. So we get yeah, as we all die of starvation. No, but do we yeah, want to do you think build sawmill uh, use that sawmill as well? Yeah, but the we've only got three. We've actions. only got. Well, I mean, we I, we'd end up constructing. Can, that's the only thing we would construct. I can build construct. a sawmill with a child. Oh, okay. And it, and it, is that with reason? <laughs> and what action is that? The con- construct action. Yes. So that would be heated. So that might mm. be a good use for a child. So well, can, the only well, um, maybe a good use for a child. But I'm wondering if he gather just um. Even just one more of these woods or that to get us up to six, then the next person who does construct will be able to do two wood for a sawmill, four wood for a house, mm. and still do a field kitchen, which we'll probably want to put on said sawmill in order to make certain. Oh no, we can't, we can't. can't fit. But I can do two constructs with this child. So if one of you is able to get the sixth wood out, I can build a house and a sawmill. Yeah, that might be the way to go. I don't, yeah, I don't know if that's the most efficient and, way of doing things. Yeah, but it's, it's an option. It's essentially, a, well, unless you want the field kitchen anywhere in particular, because that's the one we will be losing if we do your version. I think it's Luke's go, isn't it? It's Luke's go, yeah. yeah. Only, but it's, oh yeah, that, and we'd have to wait for you first. Do we need more coal this round? Mm. Mm. I mean, we, uh, could, we, if, we could send a kid there to clear that. Mm. that but it's just... If if we do his, we're not doing another fill kitchen. If we do it the way I've done, you will have a fill kitchen. Is there any spot a fill kitchen would be useful? If not, who cares? Yeah, not overly, I don't think, because that gathering post is next to useless. And if we clear that, that gives us a spot there, which yeah, like, isn't a good as a fill kitchen, we but we normally heat that ring anyway, don't we? I mean, if we got rid of that ruins, it wouldn't be too bad to have a fill kitchen there, so yeah. we can do the hunting. But you would need a... So we can dismantle you, these. You yeah. would need to dis- We just, just can't. Yeah, you, you would need to dissemble anyway. So right. So probably your action's fine then. We're just foregoing the field kitchen. In which case, free actions before we get around to him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, that law. Do we need your platform? Uh, if we do the law from the platform, we can't use Paul's extra sword. Is that the intention on your turn to double up the sword? I think so. Yeah. Okay. So we just need to figure out how to do that. So yeah. <laughs> Which could be, oh. as you said, that wood. I mean, I'll go clear, that clear the wood. Mm. It's heated. Yeah. It's, it's been sat there for the last <laughs> seven it days. Is it worth an action to get rid of that when we can just build on top of it? Well, it it, it gets us. It's one wood, wood, yeah. It gets we got, us the we got lots of wood that you need. Yeah. yeah. And it is, and it can be done with but a Paul's going to get three. Three. drill for wood on his go. Three. Three. So that will get you that is true, yeah. eight. Which will get you. Which means I, which could, gets you a, well, gets I you could build two, two houses instead of a 
house in a sawmill. Mm. Yeah, you could wait for the other sawmill. Or you could do a normal action and build house. Mm. Uh, it'd still just be house and sawmill. Wouldn't I it? mean, the more wood we've got, we could start doing more upgrading. That's the other thing. We could go to the workshop and do two upgrades. Although I, I, I still want to move that back too. Mm. But you're right. We could we could use the workshop this turn, do two upgrades. That could upgrade if the we... other two hunters' huts. That's generating us six passive food a turn. Well, I mean, how many do you get? You get three, don't you? Oh, yeah, two upgrades and move the thing back. No, no, no. The workshop is two workshop actions. Oh, two, two. Which is either move the development token back or do an upgrade. We certainly want that back. So what would we do with the kids then? We've got Andy's potential two build Gather. action. That's all they can do. Yeah, so but Andy can do a two build action. Right. With it. So yeah, go and, and gather this gold. We can gather that coal. And this wood. And then it's a case of whether that last one, we could either start to take the coal off of there, or we can clear that wood. We've got to get that one wood up. Yeah, start, start clearing this, because then we can build the... I mean, it does make it, the give us, but then it will give us a thick child, which will push us over to the child getting flipped, which we don't want. So I think that's out of the question for a kid. No, unless we do that. Mm, or that here. That that means we don't get a sin. No, but it does put one couldn't... more coal in one more coal in the no, generator. Does, yeah. So uh, Right, well, we need to make a decision. <laughs> yeah. What's the Well it's loose go. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, so you're gonna go choppy, 95 choppy anyway. options we've given yeah, you. Yeah, you're going to go choppy choppy I'd, anyway. I'd say the easy one, if you're struggling, is yeah, a kid to get there. The kids there, get too cold, we it's need, heated. We need yeah. the cold anyway. So then yeah. we need the cold. So that's, that's the easy one. Easy, right. Two, yeah. Are we chugging it straight in the thing? I think no, put it I there for now. I, think, right. I don't think we need to at this point. All right, so your one. Excellent. Right, now it's put the pressure on to me, isn't it? <laughs> um... So Paul is double using that. Yeah, he's double using the sawmill and he's yeah. doing and the... And he wants a kid. And I'm double using the sawmill to give us the wood so that we can build... So we've got eight Lots to either that. build a sawmill... Or two houses. Or two houses, yeah. Because, yeah. I mean, we could build a sawmill and two bunk houses, but that just seems very... The, the, the bunk houses no are... Point. At this point... I mean, if we build two houses and then apply crowded quarters, we could... Crowded quarters is good. Yeah, I, I think that, at this stage, because that, we took on the extra piece, we're not using four Yeah, we can't do that this turn. We could do crowded oh, houses we, next we turn. We could. We just mean that someone else has to do a sawmill action, uh, um, you know, a, a build a sawmill. And then we use the sawmill. And then we'd have to use it. Well, yeah, but so how many, it would cost, cost, cost us two wood to build the yeah, sawmill. Yeah, that would only cost How much wood do we have? Because it's only a plus five. The sawmill is two. No, so we'd need to do with two wood short. Yeah, so it's not going to work. No. Um, no, I mean, we get the houses up and running first, yeah. then we could do your crowded quarters yeah. and the route. Yeah, we did to go do it in baby okay, steps. Yeah, I think yeah. we have to take that. I think that's, okay. that's the case. Oh. So, yeah, so we get in there. So, Paul will use that. So this one should be we cool. that. Yeah, we can't. Where's the yeah. eagle sound effect? Oh, yeah. Wake him up. So, I think I'm just going to use this kid yeah. Yeah. Wood on yeah. <laughs> here. It's yeah, a bit rubbish, but it's heated. Yeah. It doesn't it make is. him sick. It gets a wood, it clears that space out. Okay. Right, I am going to send an engineer to the platform, but instead of using the platform, I'm going to play Paul Uncle Stone. Yeah. Yeah. So I could have an engineer, put them on the platform, which is heated because of that, uh, to reuse a building. So yeah. reusing a building basically means pick a building that's been used yeah. and use it again. Sawmill. So sawmill, chop down tree, gain three wood. Is up to eight wood? Uh, nine wood. Nine no. wood, is it? Yeah. We've never had a sea change. Wood, which means we could build another little thing. Nine wood. In which case, I might be better off taking a normal action rather than a no, trial no, build no, action. What we but then what we're going to do with the extra child? But don't forget, we can always build a field kitchen with no wood. Or, if we're going to do crowded quarters, you might want to use your spare actions to take one to of these ruins those out. Way. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, three up a tile, and then we can build on those. Um, yeah. But... Because Although the houses are red insulation. The houses are red yeah. Good, good I mean, anyway. but yeah, and the kid, the kid, we if you don't use the kid for this action, there is nothing it can do because it, well, it, it can gather here. Yeah, 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 and, the and then it will get um, thick, and we don't want it that to happen. It could do that. What's that do? It's the remove so we reveal three fire tiles and then decide whether they're going on top or bottom. So if you're planning to do okay. any more exploring, the kid could at least tailor the deck. That mm. is, if you really have no more use for this kid. Yeah. Yeah, so it's either your action, Andy, 
your action or nothing. So it's not nothing, so, so it's we, better than a nothing action. I yeah. don't think we've got anything that we really want to build with the one wood. No, nothing, nothing we desperately need. I think we'd just be building. Unless we do want to go for... No, unless you build the gallery oh, post down the south, that's nothing else. Unless or we do want to put sort. down two sawmills and a... One extra mm, food, I mean... I, I like the idea of one sawmill, two... Oh, no, I like the idea of two... We could if do... we do build a sawmill here, Luke uses his ability to scout the deck. We could guarantee that there's another. Yeah, yeah. But we've already I mean, got I don't, a spot. That's yeah, the, yeah. I don't know the tile mix. I yeah. just know we've got a lot of. Yeah, we've already got. Like, you there might be no the more. Yeah. Do we want to go two houses, or are we going to go house and sawmill and? I mean, you could go. You could go exploring with the engineer to pick that one wood up, mm. and then we won't be able to do Paul's techie uppy thing. But then that would give us ten. And this person could build with this engineer to do a sawmill and two houses. And then this kid could do the, the swappy roundy tarly action. It just depends if we think having another sawmill is worth wasting a, a whole engineer go not. and getting the engineer no. sick. I think get, no. getting the engineer to remove five cubes is yeah probably better. I mean, if we, I mean, if we take an action to take that, it's cold at the moment, but we could heat it. Uh, we could. Yeah, and, and I suppose that, I would save it. It. that would save us it's a thickness not, on the not, kids and a sickness on the worker. I don't know if I think it's worth it to use the one meeple to get the one wood again. I mean, we already had a hard time doing I mean, it with one kid. I think we're <laughs> going to need the coal for next round. Yes. Yeah. Coal's going to be the next problem. Yeah, as if sickness isn't already a problem. And we are in danger of it going pop, aren't we? Okay, well, there's no we're point not this round, we're not. taking I, I building it. The sawmill, we're I don't think we need to build it if we're not really actually going to use no, it this no. round. So, I think so let's just houses. do this and build yeah. two houses. Yeah. Get the two houses. So <laughs> use, use a child to do the construct action. So the child goes yeah. on there and you perform two construct sub actions instead of three. Yeah, two yeah. houses. As well, far away like from the generator as possible because red is red. Oh, no, because we want to save that the whole one. That's a sawmill there. There. Yeah. Well, that one wants to be a sawmill. Oh, that's going to be a sawmill. There's one there. Yeah. And then another um, as far away as possible. I mean, here, do you have any sure. use for that? Not uh, really. Only, only a potential gathering post. Possibly. But... Well, what about here? I mean, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, that's good. Do you want to pass us two houses, Luke? Mm hmm. Junk. <laughs> You'd think people could squeeze in this make that huge mm -hmm. easily. No, only two. Lane. <laughs> Yeah. Just room two. <laughs> Which is actually like ten. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah, well ten people got into a ten. Yeah. How so, about forty people true. in there then? Luke's Go. two engineers left. So we've got the techie action in the workshop. Yeah. Yes. I, don't I, forget to spend the wood. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, we probably should. Yeah, don't get don't like get it. too attached to that wood. Yeah. I, I would suggest fixing the generator. Yeah, it needs to happen at some point. I mean, my votes would be fixing the generator and using the workshop, neither of which are going to give us an immediate benefit, but yeah, they will long term, at the yeah. start of next turn. Yeah, and no, I think it's better than any other action we've got available. Right. Right. Techie house, then. So we do have a wood left, so we could just do one movement on there and, and the one upgrade. The other thing we might want to consider is that we don't have enough wood to build a sawmill anymore. We don't have a sawmill in range of trees oh, anymore. we need to upgrade the sawmill. Yes. Uh, can you upgrade a building which has been used that turn? I'm not sure I if you don't can. see why not. Let's just check. It'd be harsh. Mm -hmm. um, upgrading. Upgrade a building by paying its cost. Upgrade it, flip it to the side. Upgraded building cannot be upgraded further. You cannot upgrade a building with a meeple on it. Although you can upgrade a building and then use it. So no, you cannot upgrade the sawmill. We'd have to do that next round. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and the upgrade cost for that is what? One I mean, we, it's annoying. If, we, if, if we'd have known that, we could have done the upgrade. At uh, first, then we might not have the know exactly stuff. Yeah, so exactly. Game, so. Yeah, we don't, it's, not a, it's not an error in play, is what yeah. I'm So I mean, just go there and just do the techie action then. Yeah, I think so. so Those two spaces. Okay. Sorry, I'm doing that. Yeah, we're going to want it. All right, and then the last engineer to. Whatever the other one was. Fix the generator? Yep. Yeah. They're both red, red actions. So. Oh. Okay, we're done. Right. Action phase is over. Whew. Dusk phase. We'll reveal a dusk card. So shuffle the deck. We have all the hope in the world. Oh, come it's on. Be good. Stupid card. take the top one this time. Burr and Fang. Oh, the dogs. 
Is that the one? Uh, what did we, we were quite nice with it. That is D56. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we... From primal instincts, we have achieved what our ancestors did thousands of years ago, domesticated Hello? the common wolf. The question is, do we train them as pets or as hunters? So, one. With their warm fur and undeniable cuteness, the pups will provide comfort to those in need. Exhaust all apathy. Which has no effect whatsoever. Uh, uh. Two, the yeah. dog might be a man's best friend, but the wolf is a hunter's best companion. Gain seven food. Gain seven oh, food. Nice. That was the right decision. I mean, they're still cute and cuddly. They just might bite you. Yeah. That's all. And that had a discard on. I can't on, did it? Good. Sadly, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I feel like they should be going out hunting for us regularly. Regularly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. indeed. Yeah. So we gain so much food. to hunt. Yeah. <laughs> so we've got 21 food. Right, so that's mm. the dusk phase done. We've got to remember hunger we can phase. use it. To... So we've got 12 hunger. If you want to deal with the 12 hunger? Not a problem. Uh, 12. Arr. Resolve and reset hunger marker. Done. Feed citizens. We need to feed the engineers. We have 17 engineers. We have nine food. <laughs> so, eight. eight hunger. It's an easy hunger. So we haven't actually suffered any hunger in No, it. we've done, nope. done at well. all. Yeah. Almost overdone that. What is, what is this first? Uh, discontent. We haven't suffered yeah, all yeah, the effects of that. Yeah. And to be honest, that has been mainly because of two very pro cards. Yeah. <laughs> and and some fl fluky flipping of okay. tiles. <laughs> Night phase, return spent citizen tokens, work out how many can have heated shelters, then realise you've left some on the board, pick them up and recalculate. <laughs> yes. yes. Yep, indeed. Have yeah. you got <laughs> the board yet? Yeah. Right, except for your scout. Obviously. Did we heat the bunkhouse this round? We did. We did. Yeah. Fantastic. So, number of available shelters. Need Everything red. that's red yeah. and orange. Is that everybody? Yeah, is that, that everyone? Is that two six? Houses, bunk house, I think. Yeah, so we have that's six it. six places for people to sleep. Right. And how many people have we got? Uh, <laughs> thanks to the refugees. <laughs> you. Yep. And, he, right. and he clogged up the way that we have. So we have a 200% chance we want that next round. Yeah. So, do we start off with the kitty winks? Yeah. Yes. And yeah. The, because then they don't die. Yeah. That stops there is always the option of putting a coal in if we need to save one space. Yeah. Well, one kid sick is fine. Yes. That's yeah. So. Yeah. But obviously, if we put a coal in, we could have two kids. Yeah. No. Sick. So. Generator says no. Yeah. Fine. So. <laughs> don't want your coal. I mean, I mean, we're, we're screwed on the worker one anyway. That's for the bin anyways. But one, two, three. As, four, is, as is the engineer. We're going to lose two people. Yeah. But yeah. four. Four doesn't put you in a different category for the worker. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So three doesn't put you in another category. Then. Yeah. So two okay. more workers. Two more workers. And then the engineer, and engineer just goes. And then an engineer. Yeah. So who gets sick? Three workers and three engineers get sick. One, two, three. One, two, three. Ouch. Next round. Dawn phase. Pass the leadership marker. We Steal the leadership leader. marker. We demand right. a new leader. Move the round marker. We have reached a development Yay. token. So we have got wood processing. We have better sawmill. Mm -hmm. uh, which technology would we now like to start working on? Uh, is it relevant at this point? <laughs> yeah. Might be. Um, well, I, I don't think we're going to be doing much on the carrier sledge, so it's probably the automatons, really. Are we really going to use the carrier sledge? I mean... Well, we're chopping trees not. down or drilling into the wall. And we've left to gather. And we've... Uh, yeah, and we've got... Steam cores. A few steam so cores knocking around. So we're going to start yeah. developing I, I, five ahead. I don't, okay. as you say, I, I can't see it being too relevant either. We're probably, way, not, we're probably not going to accelerate it, but it's yeah. there. Yeah. <laughs> uh, resolve demo of development of the scenario triggers. Morning phase. Okay. Morning. Yeah. Ouch, the sickness. Yeah, well, I can only heal so much, especially when somebody stole my medical yeah. post. <laughs> Desperation spreads like a sickness. Someone stole supplies. I thought that bread thief again. If you have fewer than two resources in supply, plus one apathy and removal resources supply. Oh, look at that. We don't. No, we yeah. don't. Uh, otherwise, place this card in the event display. Take two resources from display supply and put them on this card. For each act of greed, of which we have one, take another two resources from oh, display and put wow. them on this card. Um, we then have the option of how to deal with this greed. <laughs> <laughs> death to the king <laughs> so either ignore it and keep the theft a secret plus one greed which is pretty nasty because we definitely Bad, yeah. it. Mm. Uh, expose and investigate which is minus one hope we can afford uh, one spent worker or engineer and event d001 or keep it a secret and investigate 
which is place one spent worker or engineer and supply and event D002. So the same, but without the loss yeah. of hope. Yeah. I mean, we've got spare hope. Yeah. I think we can afford to lose a hope. Yeah. I, I think we flip one. So we're going to announce the theft and investigate. I don't know. Is it, don't we have one that somewhere that's going to require active ones? No, so I think the one we've currently got in here, it's which there is only two cards, is, is whatever's the most tokens. Most number tokens. Do yeah. we have any reason to... But, do we want to save any of these for our advisor bonuses? Uh, no, I mean, this one is placed one near tile, and that's motivation. Yeah. Yeah. Or... It's really just care. I mean, I can yeah. activate motivation instead of care, but I'd rather get care. I, mean, I can exhaust possible. justice to manipulate the dusk cards, potentially. I mean, we've only got two in there. That doesn't really mm -hmm. matter if we've only got two. All you're going to do is I'd imagine, so what is it? One is, one, is the, one is the rats, which I'd imagine will be nasty. Yeah. And, the and the one is be... this. Yeah. yeah. But I think at this point, we need to take a few gambles, don't we, maybe? Hmm. Should we ditch the motivation then, I guess? Mm -hmm. There's a motivation. I've got so we're choosing yeah. option two? Option number two, yeah. We expose and investigate. Uh, so both. this doesn't... Yeah. Actually, both cares? Remove the card. Were both cares exhausted? If only one was. Hmm. So it says put this in the display. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, so if we ignored it and kept the theft of secret, it yeah. would go and it we'd would lose go, the we'd resources. Lose the right. okay. At some point, we might yeah. get these back. So place the card in the event display, take two resources from the supply, but for each guarantee of greed, yeah. take another two resources and put them on the card. Right, okay. So all of that stuff has been stolen. Yeah. yeah. I didn't realize we exhausted both cares. And we add, uh, which one is it? D001. Uh, is that one of Alan's? Yes. That's in the event display. Okay, so that's the morning phase done. Generator phase. Uh, that that's a shame. We should have spent the coal. Because oh. <laughs> if we'd have spent the coal, no. Uh, yeah. Anyway, right. So one of each well, gets thick. Well, we knew the kid was getting second hand, yeah. and it hasn't changed anything on um, the track. And now I'm dropping three. In. And three came out. Okay, next. Weather phase. Okay, everything's moving. So that one, that one, that one, and that one. Food from hunting huts. We get four. Three expedition point movement things. Zero on the storm. Ooh, some relief. Uh, I forgot to set. Always doing that. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's that done. Preparation phase. Choose advisor and resolve sickness marker effects. So are we using an advisor this round? How many dust cards have we got there? Uh, we've we got three now. Well, well I can. You're the only one who can use them anyway. Yeah. Discard one. What I think that's definitely. Too bad. What definitely. happens if you discard a social? Social dispute. Uh, I cannot discard a card with the dust guard pile symbol, which probably right. Okay, which is yeah. Social so so I, mean, I could probably get rid of what the nasty yeah. effect in the rats. Well, you're, you're and, the it, and it allows us to have a look at what they are, yeah. presumably. You're, yeah, you're the only one. Should we, can, we put anyway. them in the, the display? No, no, no. Just let me yeah, have a look at them. Yeah. I'm just going to put them. I mean, we already know the social one. disputes now, so there's no point reading that one. It's no. the other two. Yeah, social dispute is one we want. I'd imagine the one entitled typhoid is probably not good. What's that one called? Yeah, the ones. Yeah, yeah, that would be the brats. Yeah, yeah. Unless the other one is worse than typhoid, yeah. which I want a suitable explanation as to what's worse than typhoid. <laughs> <laughs> so obviously, the the, the other one gets our resources back, mm. uh, and I think that's our main priority. So a bit of typhoid. So I'm going to discard the typhoid. Yeah, I like that. And I'm going to put the other two back on the deck. Now, is that discarded into the discard pile? Yeah, so yes. it goes back in at some it point. It will happen at some yeah. point. We're just delaying the typhoid. Yeah. This doesn't specify what order the cards go back in, so I assume that means I'm going to choose. No, but you yeah, shuffle but the you deck every time anyway. you do it. So. Oh, yeah, but course, they're both yeah. going to be good. One yeah. will be our oh, justice one will be bonus, resources and one will be yeah, your resources. Resource. So we, we know, hopefully, it's the getting the resource back, then we'll probably yeah. have two. Uh, yeah. Well, yeah. it depends how good the other one is. Yeah. <laughs> so that was the um, so advisor phase yeah. done. Uh, so that moves us on to action phase. Who's go first? Who's got leadership? Paul. Typical Paul. Excellent. <laughs> well, well we, can, we can discuss. What does Paul want to discuss? Um, we need more houses. And we need more wood. Yeah. 
Now, now we, 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 the go problem is, we've got the sawmill over, and we and we desperately need to upgrade that sawmill because it's currently useless. But we got no wood because it got stolen. Yeah, yeah, we're dead. Um, we've got no coal. We've got no wood. Yeah. Get to so, winter home. Get to winter home in. Uh, probably doesn't even. End we the literally. Game. We unfortunately, and this is so inefficient. I actually. I think we'll need to send someone. Well, we either need to explore and hope that we find a better wood thing to explore, or we need to take that one wood so that we can yeah, upgrade sure. the sawmill. Because mm. that was so, that that one wood was kind of our out, so that we could upgrade the sawmill. And we need a lot of coal. Yeah. Everything is no cold. gathering bows will get us anything decent. It's you to go first, thought, and we're screwed. Yeah. Well, why? What's happened? Well, without those resources, <laughs> we got no coal and no wood. Mm. Yeah, losing those resources could be the death nail, unfortunately. Yeah. Who stole them? The bread thief again. Mm, yeah. We should so, send them deeper into the closet. Basically, we've gone that the the problem. Have we kept the meeples are correct. Uh, oh. Six uh, four three. Six four three. Yeah, yeah. So the problem is we completely, almost completely, run out of wood on the board, and that sawmill is useless because it's not upgraded yet, and because our wood got stolen, we can't upgrade it without getting wood. So we either... it costs one wood to upgrade. Yeah, there's one wood here. Yeah, yeah, that's the thing. <laughs> so we either take a hideously oh inefficient gather God. action with a inefficient workshop action, although at least we can always move that back one, uh, or we do an explore. Hope to God we find some wood on it. And then gather that wood. Wow. Mm. <laughs> Scout, can you go back early and then go back? So early? it's yeah. even going to take two actions to gather enough coal to heat the red up. I think yeah. if you look on page ninety-four of the new rule book that I've just written, um, <laughs> there's an option for me to pass it. Yeah. The game, <laughs> like, <laughs> it's called the passing the book action. Yeah. No. Um, I'll go downstairs. I'll come you back and. Uh, it, yeah. the <laughs> <laughs> it it would be, it would be funny, and I don't mean funny as in the definition of the word funny. Mm. If <laughs> such a little thing like that has actually completely and utterly messed up yeah. everything we had planned. I mean, it, it's kind of well. That's kind of how it happens. <laughs> yeah. It's and funny. I mean, we've got because of what Andy did. If we can survive this turn, we've got two good things. So ty- it was typhoid, was it? Typhoid and he chose Typhoid it. was the worst one. Yeah, that was the other The other two are good. So the yeah. other two are good. We'll either so... get a bonus for the... So next round we're fine. Yeah. yeah. Well, Hopefully. Oh, no, the, no the, the Dusk phase The dusk phase is going to be good. And I'm yeah. hoping the next weather card is going to be three. Yeah. And we get to winter home and we come back and yeah. we've got that. So next yeah. round is good. Yeah. It's well, just... We need you need, well, you need the wood, period. So, look, we're just going to have to do it. I mean, I'm... Is, is, the, is, is that it? We have no other source of wood on the board. Yeah. Not without gambling on an exploration. Yeah. So, so we, we have to do it. The yeah. thing is, even if you explore and, and find you could more do wood, it with a child, be... get the child sick, but then we can cure the, cure the child in the medical post to bring it back. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Send the kids there. Kids get sick. Yeah. We've got a wood. Right. Yeah. So how do we get this back? Uh, that, that'll be that event. 50% chance 50, 50, for a dusk 50, yeah. It's either the good... At the moment, the way that is, we'll either get the good card, one yeah. of the social dispute. Okay, so card D0001 is we get yeah. we get the stuff back. We found the thief. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Give we him a prolonged the toy typhoid so that we can get a good dust card. <laughs> yeah. Okay, right. Yeah. It's just a case of, look, we're just going to have to do what we can this round. So, so I think that's all right. So we got the wood. Yeah. So, Andy's go. So, kind of got to upgrade the sawmill, I think. Yeah. Or go exploring and see we if we also... get any more. But we even also if you have no coal, so everything we do is going to be freezing until we get. Yeah. This is horrible. Yeah. Other than the medical post, because it's next to a super kitchen. Mm. Yeah. Or a field kitchen. Uh, I'm Paul, doing it. Leave for five minutes and everything messed up. Uh, Raphael says resolve sickness before preparation phase. Resolve. Have we not resolved the sickness? Oh yes, I don't. Have, think have we, we missed something? Oh, we did the we did the Finney advisor. But thank you, thank you very much for spotting that. Yeah, thank we you. didn't resolve yeah. the sickness. Oh, yeah. so there's a lot of dead people. Yeah, I uh, know because that would have been the that's e- not e- there yet. Yeah, he wasn't... yeah, so he's fine. He, he... so nothing changes with that he's one. He's fine. Ah, yeah. oh, but then you've got the spec ah, worker yeah. and engineer. Yeah. So so right, let's do, so we do the engineer first. So it flips over. Yeah, yeah. dies. 
moves to there, engineer moves back. We're going to do a dead citizen in a minute, but move the corpse marker up mm-hmm. yeah. to three. three. Yeah. And we also get a spent engineered token. Yeah. Token. Because of the what's printed below the thing, uh, yeah, and then the same with the worker. Same with the worker. And this guy should have gone on. Should have gone on. So this is this is back in the preparation phase. Yeah. So that goes down. That goes down. Spent that, and now we need to resolve an engineer and another corpse. Who should have done it? Uh, I think I did. Yeah. So now we need to resolve an engineer death and a worker death. Yeah. Be nice to get that symmetry. I I can do the worker death and just lose one hope. Oh, good because I mean Let's this, that, this worker is off. But we do the engineer first. I haven't got an engineer. So we get a random engineer death. Random engineer is uh, minus one hope. That's it. And then minus one hope from me. Oh. Ooh. Oh, there goes your discard. <laughs> so we we almost we probably want to try and go to the cookhouse at some point as well. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much. So we sorted that out. Now it's the action phase. Yeah. We then go on here. We gather the wood, and now we get a sick kid. Yeah. Right. Fixed. Mm-hmm. Right. So you did that, Piz. Yeah, and he's good. Oh my god. Um, he's got to be cold, hasn't it? Yeah, it has to be. I mean, it's going to be cold no matter what I do, so let's collect two from over there. With, With a, a kid? Or... Yeah. <laughs> Is it going straight in here? Might as well. It, it has not going to do no anything. effect whatsoever yeah. at the moment. I can cure free kids if I go to. The thing anyway, whether it's with a worker or a engineer, and I can actually pick either or so. Fine. Um so is that another kid? That is another kid sick. It's another kid sick. Mm-hmm. So I can do it by free, so yeah. Um so it's your go. I mean do you want to do that? Yeah. <laughs> We need to get more coal. We need so. to get more coal. Yeah. yeah. But the medical post is... Um, medical, the yes. medical, medical post is heated. Oh, because it's heated because yeah. the field are And do, are you saving your engineers or...? Yeah, I think we'll save the engineers because the only thing you specifically really need workers for, I think, is going out there and there's a guy out there already. So I think you might as well use your card. Fine. In that case, we uh, we'll use the worker instead of an engineer. So Three engineers might be enough. Well, yeah. Yeah, but so... Okay, so I suppose so we could we'll have... use the card then, we might as well. Yeah. Okay. So we'll use a worker. You use the card. So use a worker, worker on the Worker goes codes. in there. It's heated. Cure free of one type of citizen. Is that going to be free kids? Yeah. yeah. Right. And then it's all the adults are getting sick for you, kids. Aren't you? <laughs> Why are you stealing our bread and all those supplies? <laughs> so I can go and get some more coal. Yep. Now there is a I can do it with the kids. Yeah. But that moves them up there. And then if we if that's the oh, only oh, coal we get, is, that gives us a sick. sick. It's gonna go anyway. We're gonna have to spend another three coal. We're gonna have to get up to here. Yeah. Because oh, okay. otherwise everything is. So let's go right out there. I reckon. So they'll go there. Straight in. Straight in. Right, so more now... More sickness, yeah. yeah. We have the generator ring and the red. Yeah, the generator ring and the red buildings are now heated. Which Woo-hoo! is basically nothing. That was worth it. Yeah. Was the houses? And no. the workshop? No, no the, and the, tent, the tents are turned over. No, houses, not tents. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah no, the that's houses. true, yes. Yeah, true. Right. My go. Oops. Yeah. We're so dead. Yeah. So, I use the workshop. Okay. Yeah. With an engineer, which is red, so it's heated. Yeah. Yeah. The first workshop action I'm going to do is to spend a wood to upgrade the sawmill. Right. Because mm-hmm. the sawmill is one wood to upgrade. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Okay. That now now be well, which yeah. Is good. Cool. And then. And then the second one I can't do an upgrade. Yeah, just move that thing by one. No, I can do an upgrade. No, I can't do it. No, yeah, you can't upgrade. No, upgrade. no, we lost our. Uh... No, I can. I can upgrade the beacon. No, we lost our steam. We'll, oh, we we'll lost the steam. Yeah. You just so I'll, I'll move the, I'll move yeah. the token back. Yeah, that's me. Um, I will go to the uh, the hunting house, the red one. Right, solve the hunger issue, other than whoever we're feeding this round. Well, uh, yeah, workers, 20, oh. 26 of them. <laughs> oh, if the hunger ever ends up at 25 after we've yeah, had you chance, die, yeah. you die. <laughs> and if any of the sickness markers end up on 26 or higher, you die. Yeah, overwhelming sickness. Yeah, it's, it's, it's like, yeah, everything's, there's a lot of skull and crossbones on this board. Uh, I mean, we're going to do that. It gives us one spare food. Yeah, if we don't get any extra food, we die. <laughs> so, <laughs> so Kylie's asking, are you not required to use an engineer at the medical post? Yeah, good spot, Kyle. But uh, Luke used a citizen card. 
to do it. And if you use a citizen card, that overwrites the rules. So the citizen card is a worker that allows you to use the medical post yeah. or the infirmary. I mean, would you want that person helping you out a scene? Because he really does look like... <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. that is basically Eamon from House of... Yeah, House of Rome without his eye patch. <laughs> I would not want him treating me, so... <laughs> right, who goes it? Uh, and he's just gone through, doesn't he? Yes. So I think it's Luke's go. Yeah. Sawmill is available. He did red. Yeah. Get in there. <laughs> yeah, with a worker. Worker going this way. Might as well be. Bit of worker. And with the bonus. Yeah. Four, forward. Forward. Yeah. Uh, in the <laughs> Forward. We upgraded the sawmills. So that means we could build another house. Yeah. Now I'm going to put. With our food. We need okay. food. So at the minute, though. Well, at the minute, we don't need yeah. food. And at, well, no, we... at the moment, we do. Because because as soon as. Because once that goes down, you've got the one food left. We then die because 26 minus 1 is 25, which shoves all the way back up here. Um, well, we don't die immediately. We no, have no, a chance to resolve yeah, that. It's only if the hunger is there later. Yeah. The mm. problem is, I don't want us to get the discontent. Mm. Yeah. Um, the other thing is, though, currently, if this comes out, yeah. we're tied. Which means? Which I don't know. Which means we really want the other one. I think they both activate. Yeah, I think they both activate. So okay. we could, I mean, I don't, we could. Cook out. Cook out. Also means we then... can't afford to trigger this anymore because that will put us another token down and then it'll be three. Yeah. So. Which means we're. Just unless, just unless we're stuck. thinking yeah. we need to take some the gamble. The good thing is. Let's go with 50 The cook house yeah. gives us the hope yeah then the dusk phase is resolved then the hunger phase so right. in other words that we will have three hope when yeah. the dusk card is resolved yeah before then we get yeah. the third yeah. discontent so it might it the cook house is worth considering this term with one of our actions i suppose i think it's pretty up. solid because i think i'd um, like to see what happens with that social dispute yeah. keys off with two i mean it's, it's only 50 50 isn't it it's only 50 50, 50 50 but this will give us two additional places to sleep and three if we have another house mm. Or and possibly four, four if, if we, we get have another cult heated, yeah. And that's that's a lot of heated places. It is. Mm. Yeah, I quite like that idea better. But then you're get, but then you're going to be over on discontent, aren't you? So that icon we might just is have to take that hit. anger. Gain the anger, yeah. which means we pick one that isn't anger. That isn't anger, and then anger wouldn't activate. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Of course, the other thing is. Yeah, so we could do a build action. We could even put a field kitchen next to the bunkhouse, and then that way that's heated. Ooh, without having to yes to actually put build any more coal we can in. Build us a house and a field kitchen there. House and a yeah. field kitchen, and then maybe dismantle one of these tents because they're just doesn't the field kitchen doesn't the field kitchen simply heat the the tile building when you use it? Oh, the tile that's yeah. right. And, and, and we've up. already got a spare inner ring building space there. Yeah. Mm. So the ruins would be nice to get rid of them, but not. Mm. No, but I mean, we, we we will have a spare. I like the idea of a house. I like the idea of a house in the field kitchen. Yeah, I mean, sorting out yeah. the bunkhouse would be very nice. I mean, we do also need enough sort mill at some point because otherwise we're reliant on that, which is getting us four wood a turn, which is. Or well, you can stick down good. a bunkhouse and two field kitchens. Yeah, because the storm's a bit away, but yeah, it's probably not very efficient. I don't think, to do yeah. That way. Um. Another saw sawmill would be really nice, but I just don't really see... do need one. Yeah, I mean, if you build a sawmill, you could build we two. still have. Well, we could, well no, if we you build really two, we're not going to get a house down. Yeah, if we're we not... build a sawmill, we can still activate it and then do another construct. Then do another build. Yeah, we'd have five wood then. I mean, that would be all three of our actions. Yeah, which means we won't get to enact that law or do the soup kitchen thing. Yeah, so I, I think we need this law out. So that law will but if we do out. that law, then we'll have three. I, we might just have to take that hit. I think it's probably going to be worth it for having three or four extra people heated. There is a because if we're going to have three, that's assuming you comes out ready. Mm. That's going to be eight, and well, it's going to give us four more. Let, let's do the law and the cook house and get three of each. Yeah. Yeah. So so we should. Well, I'll do. It's my turn, isn't it? Shall I? Sh are we all agree we probably want to do the law. Yeah. So yeah. law, cook house, yeah. and build a house. Here's another question: Does that add a nasty card in or anything? No. No. Okay. Oh no. uh, yes, it does. Every time you do a law. Oh okay. Oh yeah. I yeah. think we may have forgotten to do that. I I think we've forgotten to do a few of these laws. Apologies to everybody watching, but right. every time a new law comes in, 
we yeah, are supposed yeah, to add more competitive. Well, know, I mean, if we add a law, do we add in? I mean, it's so we should have added in public council L fifteen. Yeah. And L08. Yeah, we just had him in now and you yeah. just don't, you didn't pick those. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And apologies if anybody in the chat said that and we and we forgot and it. Then, well, yes. nobody was shouting like crazy. So. Mm -hmm. so, okay, let's enact a law. I thought we would get uh, some rule wrong. Yeah. Uh, and we might as well do five as well, because we're going to have that. If, if five is coming in. Yeah. yeah. Um, Shall we go all out on the, the greed? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, what the world? What, what else could they steal? They first started with bread, then all the supplies. They're going to steal the generator. I'm sure we're right. <laughs> so we need to pick one of those two at random. A random L5. Uh, you can pick one of those at random. And I'll pick one of these at random. There's your random, and there's your there not getting. Okay. Right. Well, we're certainly hoping that Scout gets to his destination and comes back with two wooden normal. Mm. Yeah. So it's now not a 50 50 chance that we'll get these goods back it's now but it is a less, it is a less chance that we'll get all right so you've you know, done that so you've yeah. done that so is cookhouse next um, would you return it? if, if, if indeed great... we need to now we're probably not a priority now no probably not we're but certainly we need to build to get a house yeah, we need a build well, that's what i mean we got one build and one we need a build house. action even though yeah food wise we'll yeah, have that we, we need we need the build action definitely yeah we'll, we'll do the build then mm -hmm. So you get three construct sub actions. Yeah. So one of which is a house. One house. And one then it's field kitchen for certain. Yeah. And then it's just when we want another field kitchen or to dismantle or something. So is yeah. the other field kitchen going here? Yeah, I think it's going yes. to yeah. warm that there. bunk yeah. house. There's only one on there. Yeah. Right, where do you want the house? Uh, yeah, it could go there. like down here. Yeah. As far away as possible. Yeah. And then and maybe over here if you want to leave a double slot open there's nothing else yeah. you're going to need put yeah. there are you because that's red already yeah sort of although it's getting harder and harder to heat red so i don't know if you want a filled kitchen on that slot <laughs> wow Just red the... red is the easiest thing to heat yeah if we're not we heating red, red we're in problem yeah, yeah. <laughs> red is can you pass us a miniature for a um so, and a field so kitchen. is there red anywhere else for a field, field kitchen? kitchen i mean I suppose we could put one there to preempt something, or we could just dismantle a ruin that so probably does the same thing. Yeah. I mean, I'm inclined to say dismantle a ruin. Yeah. I'm dismantle the ruin on the basis that we're not enacting the uh, yeah. Yeah. other ones. So. Agreed. Okay. Right. Right, so we've got one more action then. And the available actions are... Um, I've lost track of whose go it is, but... It's mine. Okay. okay. Is a gather one coal, uh, or use the cookhouse. I don't know what that does to us food wise. Or doesn't get us any food, does it? I mean, I could use a hunter's hut and get sick. If you're gonna get yeah, sick, you might as well we, collect. I, all... I dismantled this ruin. Should we dismantle that ruin? Because then next time we do a build yeah. action, we could put field kitchen on it. Uh, I know it's yeah okay yeah yeah yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 That's so, doesn't help for now, like but I, I think that's well, probably the better. Yeah, with no other influx of food, that will get paid off. But yeah. then with the amount of workers we got, that hunger will then shoot up to there. Yeah, and we'll sort that out, my friend. Yeah. All right, so if you're not getting it, I'd say the cookhouse. I mean, could it could have been? The cookhouse yeah, means I mean, we'll, go, we'll get a discontent. I mean, we're going to have to oh, pick right. up that coal next round anyway, aren't we? Because we need three coals to even get the reds activated. Yeah, so we, we might just, even need four. You thinking of taking it this turn? So I could do I could do two coal and not get oh sorry I could do one coal and not get sick or two coal and get sick. We've got three gaps on there. How many engineers? One over there. We could probably spare one engineer getting sick. And we're 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 heating a lot of people. Well, the thing is, time. if we take that coal now, we can do it without getting sick. If we have to take that coal next round, we're getting sick. Yeah. Yeah. Sure, get it. <laughs> Get that coal. This is horribly oh. inefficient. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sending an engineer yeah. to get one coal. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Can, can you put it in our supplies? We're keeping it. Oh, that's <laughs> why we've been yeah. doing so badly. I've just yeah, been putting well, them just, just think of how many fewer workers we yeah, have. Right. We didn't in that Action phase is done. <laughs> dusk phase. Oh, right, come on, yeah. dusk phase. Uh, do we have any dusk effects? No, we don't. Right, here we go. Please, so, something good. Right. <laughs> well, how many of these were good? Bad? Good. Turn good. Around, that yeah. is a good card. Yeah. I think we've got two good and th uh, three good and mm. two bad. I think. All right. Okay. Have a center. Let's have a look at what card we've got. Overcrowded. <laughs> ah, that's that's bad. Uh, that's a bad one. Yeah, we could okay. be in trouble. Now. And we did. Want to read it? Oh dear. Oh, 
Oh dear. Everyone wants a spec. Oh my god. Oh, no. <laughs> Remember the coals have robbed our people of this. Oh. They have to endure both the coal and lack of this essential comfort they will protest. Place this card on the crowded quarters of the card. Lord. Ignore the crowded quarters of the card. Dead. While this card is covering it. Night phase. At the end of night phase, if there are any citizens of oh, evil yes, man, so discontent, in either case, place this card in the discard pile. So yeah, that we that's that's, that's completely killed us. Yeah, so what that's saying is for this turn. We cannot use the Crowded Quarters card. Is that yeah. what it's saying? Which was yeah. one save, you're to stop everybody getting And sick. for every turn, we cannot use it until... Well, in either case, yeah. place this card on the Dusk yeah. Well, yeah. well afterwards, in the yeah. night phase. Yeah, so it's a one-time okay. thing, but yeah. it's still it's the one time that's we don't harsh. want. <laughs> yeah, that's harsh. That's the Dusk phase done. Hunger phase. <laughs> we spend our eight food to pay off yesterday's hunger. Uh, we then resolve and reset hunger. None. <laughs> and then we feed... 26. 26. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, yeah. literally, yeah. yeah, one food and then it goes up to 25. Yeah. <laughs> but it's 26, isn't it? No, well, we, had, oh, we, we had, had the one food. Yeah, the one, one food spare, food, yeah. Because <laughs> I think the marker flips over to a plus 25 on the other side. Does it? Oh, Christ. Because yeah, you might no, no. know. It's 25, yeah. <laughs> right, night phase. As if that's the least of our concerns. <laughs> uh, so, take Citizen Dorak. I don't know, let's just leave them out there to freeze. This is about as good as it's going to get. Yeah. Right? <laughs> Especially you, Brent, you've ruined everything. We did say at the start this was going to be yeah. difficult and challenging. <laughs> and morally objectionable. Yeah. <laughs> have we uh, Have we got all of the... Oh, Parker right. Dave? Yeah. Who's, who's, you know, living his best life out on the trail. So, out how, many, how many spaces do we have for people? Uh, orange is not heated. heated. But... However, there's a field kitchen there. Yeah. So we have yeah, two, two, four, six, eight. Yeah. Which, not too bad. Which could have been 12. Could have been 12. But, but probably not game. Right. Either. So. How many people have we Right. Have? Save the kids. Well, oh, the kids, no, are, the kids are going. Unless we spend that coal, which I don't think we want to do, the no, kids the are getting kids, ill. Kids anyway. anyway. One kid's dying. One kid is oh. dying. Well, yeah. Is it worth a coal to save a kid's life? That could make quite a bit of difference. It's not going it's to not matter. Because one coal is oh, still going to get two kids. Kids are dying, kids are dying yeah. anyway, and then you've got free spare on a kid front. So, um, so leave them. Workers, yeah. workers, you've only got one, and it's going to go away. So you don't want to put any workers um, outside if you can help it. Yeah. Um, but we have spare room uh, for How two got more engineer. Yeah, so for two, five workers, three engineers. Okay, so three kids get sick. One, one two, engineer three, gets it's sick. It's a shame if we'd had that. Mm. But you can't protect kids forever. We hadn't had that nasty card. And then, okay. yeah. at the end of the night phase, if there are any citizen meeples without a warm place to sleep, plus one discontent. Oh, and we would have we would have housed them all if it wasn't for that card. Yeah, I, I guess if it wasn't for you pesky angered, dusk. <laughs> unless you want to activate agreed. I, I, yeah. I yeah, agree. Yeah. Anyway, agree. Because why not? Because I don't blame the public. Now. In either case, <laughs> we're getting a lot of things coming out of the bag. That over. goes on the discard pile and might come out again. Yeah. Right, that is the night well, phase yeah, done. No, it won't come out again. So, the, fi the, the, <laughs> the final round is, yeah. is what we're saying. I'm surprised we got past this round. Do we, do we think? I, I think it's because of that, that yeah. Move the leadership that. marker on. You've got it. It's not, it's not me. Yay! So we blame, it's like, we blame, um, we blame on the leader at the it's time. Like, uh, yeah. It's like past the ticking bomb, isn't it? Yeah. It's, it's, no, it's like, yeah. we'll die on his leadership. <laughs> if matey boy makes it here, we might have half a chance. Okay, right. Move the round marker. Done. Yep. Anything trigger? No. no. Morning phase. It could get worse. Okay. Because yeah. <laughs> when's it ever got one here? Mysterious shadows. Mm. And <laughs> and late at night, some shapes were spotted creeping around at the edge of our set. Yeah, sorry about that. Mm -hmm. Option one, organise a night watch only if you exhaust justice. So, no, nope. cannot do. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Option number two, send trusted men to take care of the subject, lose three workers, and add D04 to the dust deck. Or, option three, <laughs> It's nothing to worry about. Yeah. Add D041. Add the card. We, yeah, we, we need I the think, workers. Add the card. I, I, yeah, I think. nothing to so worry about. So it's lose three workers. Yeah, it's not good. lose three meeples. No. Yeah, lose three it's workers. lose so three workers. Going, oh. And we'd lose. We'd lose a meeple permanently. We'd though. lose one meeple. Yeah. I think we're at the point where we need to start hoping 
stick, yeah. stick a card in a pile and we need to start hoping that some of the good ones we got in there come out. Because yeah, none of the I good agree. ones have well, come out. Well, a card's so, going regardless. Yeah, but we might as well put the... the I'll, I'll leave it up to the leaders to decide. I say we lose, we, ah, we, go, ah. we don't lose any workers. It's nothing to worry about. Yeah. And we don't worry about it. We, we, we'll be praying for Cthulhu to show him. Especially as we've just fed the workers as well. If that had happened a yeah. turn ago, well, yeah. we might have saved yeah, ourselves I mean, free <laughs> food from it or something. So, but... D041. So what did we do? We chose it's nothing to worry about. Well, la 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 la. <laughs> I'm sure it will be fine. Yeah, it's like, ooh, with these tentacles on the ass. <laughs> right. Next generator phase. Did we want to do anything more? We didn't, did we? Mm. So we gain two sick kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One sick engineer, one sick worker. Yeah. Uh, I am dropping three coal in. Sounded like one. Yeah. Boop. And then it blows up because what else can you throw? No, it might get sorted. <laughs> Not blown up. <laughs> Weather phase. Uh, that's that. That's that. That's that. That moves back. Weather phase. Scout okay, three. So Come on, scout. that one moves one. Scout thing. That one moves one. We gain four food. It's only two oh. movement. Oh. 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 Too slow, scout. And the storm gets too closer. That's that's excellent. <laughs> that's just what I was looking for. Preparation phase. We don't need to choose an advisor, so now we resolve the sickness. Here we go. Right. So, so first of all, Grave the ill, grave the ill. Um, well, those two, well, those two are just flipped. Okay. No, and, and, and we get and a spent a spent token. Yeah. Spent token for each. Yeah, those two are the easy bits right now. The kid flips, Flip, dies, die. move to the left. Yeah. Anybody got the child card I'm, they want to get I'm, rid of? I've got a minus two yeah. hope. Uh, Weak losers of the game. Oh. Yeah. Oh. This well, is why I was thinking all, all we're not going to survive. Yeah, yeah. yeah, both of these are minus two hope. Yeah, every I don't see any better so result. A kid, a kid has died. Yeah. None of us want to put in a card because that yeah. will cause us to yeah. lose the game. So, so we reveal really the card. So the person who has died is Derek Aldi. Oh, it's Derek. Derek's in the chat. <laughs> Sorry, Derek. So we killed Derek. Derek's dead. And then because we killed Derek, exhaust Karen minus two hope. So yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, and we lose the game. <laughs> So I, when I popped downstairs 15 minutes ago, I said to Vicky, we're going to be hours. No. <laughs> Go on and make dinner without me because we are going to be here all night. And then I come upstairs yeah. and uh, we had we spent a lot of time kind of making this deck good and, and nothing got, nothing came out of it. And we didn't put the good cards in when we remember that. that yeah. We got unlucky with it. Now, before people are watching, some of them have probably switched off already. Before you switch off, there's a few things I want to say. The first thing is, this is not a short game. It was made longer because we were, I mean, we discussed this beforehand, before we started, before, um, while we were downstairs, one of the criticisms that some people have put against this game is that it's a solo game and there is no point playing it multiplayer. So when I was downstairs, before we started, I said, look, guys, I want a bit of round the table to discussion, around the table to mm -hmm. discussion, and I don't want us all agreeing with each other all of the time so that it actually shows off the multiplayer aspect of the game. That did make it a bit longer because yeah. we were we were discussing a few things. But fundamentally, I believe that this game played with four players was an awesome experience. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And even if that means it's a bit longer, it, it's, it's a bit it. It, it's a bit longer. So, yes, it's it's a long game. Um, what else did I want to say? Longer if you win. Uh, yeah. Longer if you win. Yeah. We, we did make it to round seven. Johnny's only made yeah. it to round six before. Yeah. So, you know, we did yeah, make it, it to round seven. I'm not sure how yeah. many rounds more. Yeah. Well, I mean, where I does this scenario I go? I Is suspect that, I well, have a feeling the card triggers the act. Yeah. I think something happens when you get to winter home, doesn't it? Probably, yeah. Yeah, I would so that's what I mean. I would imagine that the scenario end is triggered by a card, not right. just round 11, around we the get the storm comes out. And we have to prepare for the storm. Yeah. And then you have to gather supplies and you have to weather the storm. And so and go, then you win. So yeah. I, I think that's the same as the base version of the computer game. There's so, yeah, a massive if, storm. If you survive round twelve, you win. You win. Yeah. 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 So if you rounds out though. So yeah, round, round twelve is one storm. So <laughs> we haven't got the second one yet. <laughs> when when a storm hits in round twelve, instead of playing a normal round, you lose half your food, remove all the scouts. Generate yeah. phase as normal. The storms hit. Hunger is two per citizen. You gain five food for every food ration that you've stocked up on <laughs> the scenario win card. Yeah, winnable, was it? Yeah. Uh, and then you resolve the hunger. 
you have frostbite where you gain 12 six citizens of each type but that's reduced by the number of coal you've got right stocked up here so you're stockpiling you, coal you put the stockpile here i should explain that first but we'll... all shelters count as heated uh, for each citizen without somewhere to sleep you get three more sickness then you resolve the sickness if you survive that you win right for the stockpiling um so this will trigger on round 11 you exhaust all hope you lose a hope uh, and then in the action phase every time you use this special prepare action you spend an amount of food and or coal um, to place corresponding side to track food rations which is one for every three food or coal stocks which is one for every two coal right so you need to have a big stack of food and coal here okay it's survive. winnable oh, but, God but ultimately happen. it's like round 11 when yeah. all yeah. of that happens so, and you yeah. get survive so round, round 11 12. you'll reveal the storm and then round you've got basically that round to stockpile before yeah. the storm hits. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah, so it would have gone on quite a bit longer. Yeah. Uh, it's also a complex game. You know, we, we mm. played, you know, we were teaching the rules as we went along, but I yeah. did want to show the setup to show, you know, all of the yeah. variability and mm. the things that we did. Well, so it was quite a while before we actually Yeah, I mean, you still the only one who's played this. This well, thing. Not, not yeah, yeah, you yeah. played it a few times on yeah. Tabletop Simulator and I, yeah. Yeah. That's to say, a couple of us are like a brand new. You're, this, you're completely brand new to this. To, you, to this not one. I've not played a prototype at all. So yeah. it's four four of us. Lots of discussion, which happens. Yeah. Yeah. It's a combat game. I mean, this is Spirit Island levels of variables of, of, of well, what actions do we do in what order yeah. or something like that. Uh, plenty enough steps in general. And you're teaching it as you're going along, yeah. <laughs> which yeah. takes longer to do on yeah, video yeah. than it does in real life. Of course, it's long. <laughs> so the big, the big question with long games is, is it worth it? Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm really saying you've really played it a couple of times. Yeah, well, you get that, through it half the yeah, yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. Yeah. If, if you're not playing this in teaching tutorial, mode, if we were yeah, to play so this fine. again, we would get to where we were now in probably two and a half, three hours. Yeah, yeah. and that'd be fun. Yeah. For for a game that you know is this thematic, this much discussion, this involved, and you know what you're doing. Yeah, I mean, I, I, yeah, time doesn't bother me with a game like this. Nope. Like, as long as I've got the afternoon or the evening, I yeah. can sit there and play yeah. it for as long as it takes. To be honest, the discussion's fun. Mm. So did the game uh, live up to the hype that a few of us around this table have mm. been building up in Arsenal yeah. for a yeah. long time? Two of us have been like, ah. for, for me, that, 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 that question was answered when I played my practice game. When I played my practice game on Friday afternoon, I was absolutely loving it. Yeah. Uh, mm. And I just, I just couldn't wait for it. What about you, it, Alan? Yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, you've you played this four or five times on TTS yeah, as over the last year or so. And I'm not a solo gamer. Right normally at all but yeah i played this like say four or five times on it and enjoyed yeah. it every time and i really enjoyed it I, obviously yeah. more so as a <laughs> as a physical and as a physical and, and as a co-op yeah what exactly. about you andy did you play it much on tts i played it a bit on that but i've also played the video game an awful lot yeah. and not only is this the best video game to board game conversion I've okay played, mm -hmm. but it's well up there with mage knight in my best you know solo or co-op games as yeah. well yeah i'd so go I'd, fantastic. I'd say for that as well yeah yeah, 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 yeah. It, it, it's it's tricky when a new game comes out for me to well it's not tricky it's just it's rare for a new game to come out and straight away me go this is in my top five of all time yeah <laughs> yeah, yeah um but it's it's fantastic <laughs> so luke the only person who hasn't played this before you went into this with high expectations yes because i have played the Frostbank and this war of mine and i've got the board game this war of mine which i was going to compare this one to so you went into this deal. with high expectations because you've played the computer game yeah and you knew this was of a similar feel to this war of mine and yep. you've played the board game of and that. i have this war of mine yeah right <laughs> and did it live up to your expectations yes <laughs> now you don't like long games if long game long game no it's not if it's just long for the sake of being long it's if it's long and i feel like i'm engaged for that length of time right now you know yes you know Forget the tutorial part. That would have been shortened anyway. Yeah. If we got to this sort of stage in two and a half to three hours, that would still be good because a, a game of Spirit Island will do that. Yeah. And you're constantly discussing and involved. It's not like you're just sat back doing nothing. Yeah. You know, it's different from a Euro game being three to three and a half hours long where you're getting right. 16 actions in the game and most of your time is waiting for the other players to take their turn. Right. That's okay. a different story for long games taking too long. But right. co-op games being long doesn't bother me because a good co-op game will have you engaged. Because you're engaged. Yeah, but this has got the theme of Frostbank. It feel it is a bit like another This War of Mine because This War of Mine I love for you know the gritty, the survivalist, the atmosphere. The I mean that one's got more of a narrative than this one because there's a few cards, whereas that one's got the whole book. Yeah, but Hang on, both Hang on, still on. have the bearable paths, the different ways that could go. I mean we could have done any sort of combination of this, yeah, the setup and that, but it's still 
like I say, this War of Minor Board game is a brilliant port from the video game. This is another port that's faithful to yeah, very faithful. Thing. And it's yeah, the it's designers, rare we get that these days. The designers and the developers have done a fantastic job with capturing the feel of the game. Absolutely. Yeah, we got and multiple yeah, scenarios, you, and we we could have completely different text. Th this is just the first yeah. scenario. Yeah, yeah there's, there's there's multiple. And I'm not scenarios. sure we can win it. Although Raffle said he's been on survival. This, <laughs> oh, yeah, this was standard difficulty. This right? was the standard so there's difficulty. There's an easier difficulty, is it? No, 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 no. Oh, so this is the easiest. This is the easiest one. Wow. I, I think. <laughs> I think this is the easiest one. I'm not quite sure. Because <laughs> when it says standard, usually there's a baby step one. But yeah, in terms of the in terms of the text, you're right. You know, there's a big deck of tech cards. I can't remember how many there is. You shuffle them and pick four. Yeah. We which four we had changed our game. This heating lamps was good. totally yeah. changed the way that because normally you yeah. go out and you're getting sick a lot. We were able to remove snow. Without, and without you start with sick. a bunch of trees, which means you go on the sawmill mission, particularly with that. The, the type of laws that you introduce will also change. The oh, next time yeah. I play, I'm not going to introduce child labor because I've introduced this in the last two or three times I've played. I'm going to do something different. It's going to be, it, yeah, because they were sort of saying on that one, uh, yeah, would you rate it as the best game of the year so far? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Tribes of the Wind blew me away, but this one is it's, even better than it, that It's one, tricky so. because as far as Euro games go, Carnegie is probably my favorite game of the year, but this is, this is different. Mm. Yeah. Right? Carnegie is a solid, medium to heavy Euro played in about two hours and he's just a euro and that's great yeah this is a completely different experience it's a different yeah it's a different experience there. i mean I, 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 to be honest i don't have any favorite euro yet because so nobody if you're asking me one which one yet, but... did i enjoy the most which one would i play right now this person yeah. absolutely no question whatsoever yeah this this game and people can quote on this this has made me reduce my collection by 100 games which really? was well overdue anyway. <laughs> what, because of the because, money? No, <laughs> right, because no. having games like this in my collection has yeah. made me realise that a quarter of my collection I don't ever want to play again. Yeah. Because this is so good and so enjoyable. Why They're good games, but yeah. I'm not going to play them anymore. Yeah. yeah. Well, so, this one, this, this one doesn't this. replace this exactly. War of Mine because they do feel different enough. Yeah. The settings are different. Certainly this War of Mine can get done a lot quicker. I've got that campaign expansion for it, which helps. But it's also that's more of a story narrative game, proper story game, yeah. as opposed to this one, which has the great theme and the story cards, but it's not like the journal of yeah. book stuff. <laughs> so they are different enough, not yeah. to mention one's considerably easier to get all of them and cheaper than the other. <laughs> yeah, um, I'd play, I'd play, if I had time, I'd play this again now. No, ma no matter how yeah, no, brain intensive it was, I think did whatever. Well, the question again, is whether you're going to go home and play it on TTS tonight. Again, if I had no, I would. But then at the moment, it's like, uh, please, yes, copy now. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I'll wait. Because you know, once you get used to it, I mean, yeah, I can see Solo being a a brain burner and that, but I could manage it. <laughs> yeah, good, and, and when I did my practice game on Friday, after, was a, after, after I was a few rounds in, mm. I was like, yep. Yeah, I'm fine. So you can yeah, play this you solo. Get, you get I know your rhythm enough, of it. You yeah, get your I rhythm. Know, I know enough you know people who would, would play this with me if I said, right, we've got a whole evening at Dice. We're going to need a good four to five hours or something because I'm yeah. teaching you it. But is there three of you that want to play this? Yeah, great. Yeah. And for those of you watching that are going to be at GridCon in a couple of weeks' time, uh, this game is going to be at GridCon and it is going to get played. There's at least two games of it being planned. Mm. Whether they'll get those games finished or not, I don't know. <laughs> I very much doubt it. Doubt it, because they couldn't even finish Ark Nova. But, they were those, but it, yeah. will be, it will be good for them to, to get it, see it, play it, try it, and everything else. And yes, we're playing again. That's exactly yeah, that's what I'm saying. I would have to say. Yeah. I'm just saying, yeah, next time we play, we'll have different tech options, yeah. different lore options, different morning yeah. events to deal yeah. with. And, and you can deliberately choose mm -hmm. different things. So it's nice, it's nice that the year is picking up now. <laughs> It's like I've had Splendor Jewel, Tribes of the Wind, and this in a row, which have all been like distinction level games. I've been waiting all whole year for a distinction level game to come out. <laughs> there we are. Hasn't been one yet. We are all done. Um, thank you to everybody for watching. And as I mentioned mm. at the start, although this is a sponsored video uh, from Glass Cannon Unplugged, um, I do rely on the financial support of the Patreon campaign to help keep the channel going. So if you've enjoyed the video, obviously give it a thumbs up, uh, give it a like, and please leave me a comment if you're watching this back afterwards. And yeah, if you like the content that I create and you want to support the channel patreon.com forward slash gaming rules i think that's it yeah. i think that oh. is everything done no, but they said that yeah the orchestral music i'm playing the song i'm playing the <laughs> oh sound, yeah I'm absolutely the soundtrack from the game put the soundtrack <laughs> for the game on if you, if you <laughs> so, we would have had that running today but copyright. youtube would have probably copyrighted me <laughs> and taken the video down instantly um but yeah we're done take yeah. care everybody thank you very much for watching thank you for sticking with us all day and we'll see you next time for the next stream cheers guys, yeah, guys. see you later